Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, the best zombies map of all time. Get yourself strapped in chat. This is about to be the longest video you've ever watched of all time, and it's going to be the best zombie terribly map of all time. boring. So chat, Keynote or Toten Black Ops. GG. If you're Three in here time. from start to finish, I have to give you a sub straight up. This is disastrous, ladies and gentlemen. Seven hours of lore. Let's begin. <laughs> Seven hours of this fucking For shit. over a decade, the Call of Duty franchise has always managed to dominate the gaming market. I While mean, the he's multiplayer spitting. is so iconic, it practically defines I mean, the shooting spitting. genre. There is an equally iconic game mode the best that has built up all time. its own reputation. I mean, I mean, no one would have expected such a simple concept to blossom into something so meaningful. Adapting the gameplay as well as the story as it grew in both popularity and passion was Call of Duty Zombies. I mean, it's true, chat. I buy Call of Duty exclusively for zombies. Is anybody else in the chat like that? One in the chat are like that. The complete timeline. I can't believe this video exists. In times to understand Next video, please. Time time line, Liam, it is I was donated over $300 to watch this fucking video. I can't pause. Chat. If I pause, it's, it's longer. I can't pause. Told through a I can't pause. Perspective. Call of Duty Zombies. I can't fucking pause. Can easily get very confusing and difficult I'm to pause, follow through over. this method alone. To best I'm deliver the cry. most coherent possible series of events. Wait, do I'm they go through the of both chronological no. and sequential stories? Don't tell me he goes to through the, everything the as chronological as timeline. To follow. Please no. With that said, I present no, you the complete unabridged timeline no. of Call of Duty Zombies. He's gonna do it from the start of the timeline. Like most stories, everything starts at the beginning. No. Literally in this case. No. The first first beings to ever exist in the universe <laughs> were known as Keepers. No! They existed within the ether. The ether is simply the name which chat, one of the, chat the entire to remember universe all of this. as a whole. The Keepers the were unearthly time. creatures, but their intelligence and power was astounding. The Ukrainian the very first stream Keeper will be soon, to ever please. exist simply referred the to as map of the time. first one created Keynote Wow, Treyarch is so Treyarch is This so single device is the voice. oldest artifact in they all of know. creation and allowed the Keepers to manipulate the Aether. With it, they created Agartha, a physical manifestation of the Aether itself. This place would go by many names. Paradise, How long do we have house, lost? <laughs> place above creation. No, but dude. despite what it was referred this to, it was a location so which exists outside of all known and unknown universes How and simply exists it? within its own pocket. This would be the home of the keepers. The first one also used I mean, the summoning key to yet. send life across all other dimensions. This Each is dimension longer than any movie I've court. ever watched in but my entire life. life goes on, with all creation, there is destruction. The ether didn't come to exist without its complete opposite also being birthed. The dark ether served <laughs> as the hell to the, the ether's dark, heaven. Sonic. It is a realm shadow. of pure evil, capable of corrupting anything. I mean, chat. Black Ops Three the made the storyline seven hours long, so you know what? I'm gonna blame Black like Ops most Three. Intelligent beings, it was their Black own Ops curiosity and self greed. This is all Black Ops Three trying to fix the game, man. The best of them. Could have just Here been a enter two very important figures into the timeline: Doctor Monty and the Shadow Man. Both of Elf. them are keepers, however, significantly Elf. more important than the others. The, the Shadow Man sought Get to from. use the Dark Eater's power for Ops. his own self benefit, and so he ventured into it. Being his best friend, Dr. Monty attempted to stop him, however, was unsuccessful. The Dark Ether corrupted the Shadow Man and all Chat, of the Shadow Man. if you need to explain the zombie storyline to the someone, just send them this video. To become morphed, Please. Changing That'd their so appearance funny. and becoming an entire known as Apothecons. <laughs> Unlike the Keepers, I'm about the Apothecons to fall asleep. were given new purpose what due do I to do? their corruption. Their sole motivation became to wreak havoc across all of creation. Like, chat, is it bad that we're only three the minutes best into this video? Time. I'm already lost. I have Black no Oscar. idea what's going on. The Ether Pyramid, a device which could harness the power of the Dark I don't know Ether what's going and on. control the Ether entirely. Boy, Seeing the, danger, the Pyramid the on the posed, Moon, boy. The, the best were map forced of all to take time. action and fight against them. This Oscar. led to a war between the corrupted being led by the Shadow Man and the uncorrupted being led by Dr. Monty. I mean, shit, this yeah, you corrupted or uncorrupted was. As the War of Agartha. When all the smoke settled, it was the Keepers who came out victorious. 
Seeing their inevitable defeat, please. the Apothecons hid away their Aether Pyramid on the moon in one of the newly formed universes. All of the Apothecons were then banished <laughs> Why am to the I dark watching ether, this video? where it was to remain Somebody's their prison. From me. here, Dr. Monty, as well as all this. of the other Keepers, vowed to be the protectors of all up, universes, please? guardians of the multiverse, never allowing the Apothecons' corruption to spread. As time passed, What's the Apothecons slowly, somehow, Complete managed to worm timeline. its way out of imprisonment and into creation once more. And with it, they attacked humanity and Earth. In this universe, the Apothecons attacked Chat, are you humanity gonna hate and zombies keeping or true love to zombies promise, more the Keepers once video. again descended upon Earth to fight remember. them off. I this time, off. the Keepers were <laughs> aided me. by humanity. There was a group of warriors in particular, which when Yo, banded together, they were able to put they a stop to the, the Apothecons. This event F would go down guys. in this universe's history as the Great War. With that, the Keepers yet again sealed the Apothecons away. But similar to last time, the Apothecons still had a method of tampering with the multiverses. While they themselves were not able to cross back into creation, they were I capable of sending a no specific idea. element. This element would widely be known as Element 115. Boys, they said all the, the thing. chaos and evil of the Apothecons. With enough exposure to it, by simply being in its vicinity, it could create what we know I as mean, Chad, a zombie. I mean, when this shit happened to Shinonuma, it was not a to all of the dimensions, okay. they were hoping that it would cause enough chaos somewhere to shatter creation itself. And by doing so, it would inevitably set them free from their prison once more. It is important to note that neither the Keepers nor the Apothecons can intervene directly with the free will of humanity. Anything they want them to do, they must decide according to their own volition. The reason this is relevant is due to a device known as the Agarthan device. The lamp this boys is yet love another a lamp, artifact dude. which holds unspeakable power. The Agarthan Chad, device if I make is it to the end of this, of can I get the most drinks the in the chat I've ever had? Into reality, like a genie in a bottle. It was even capable of putting an end real. to the conflict between Keepers <laughs> and Apothecons altogether. This all is why both strange, the Keepers man. and Apothecons sought this out. However, unlike the summoning key, which existed since the beginning, the Agarthan device needs to be crafted. It required three things. Wait, the blood of an Apothecon Elder God, talking? an elemental shard which can only be obtained by binding four souls to the oh, ether unless through that's a the piece Dr. of Tony Element 115, That's why it and make sense. a vessel for everything to contain it. That's and why all it of make that sense, leads Chad. us to Earth in the original timeline. Where the we hit Earth at seven minutes in. That's how much bullshit Treyarch managed to come up. That's fucking. The con sent Divinium meteors to seven different dimensions. In, in this timeline, Earth. it was first uncovered seven by the minutes. small mining town of Purgatory That's a whole Point in the year 1885. Video this story we start follows off in a man named Jebediah Brown. Yeah. He was only ten the best when his map mother time. moved to Purgatory Point, seeking a new life. Up. The two settled in quite Burry. well, both getting jobs in the local shops. For over 40 years, there never quite seemed to be anything of note. But one day, the miners uncovered a mysterious blue rock. They this uncovered was Liam element Winter. 115. Liam Winter Due to the frequent and direct exposure to it, the rock corrupted I mean, Chad, a miner this video's named high Clive quality, Farnsworth, dude. who was turned into a zombie. How many hours he did it take to, to make this seven-hour video? He killed Jebediah's mother, viciously ripping out her know. throat. Clive was promptly killed Wait, by Dark, their name. I just said this video is so well done, I've watched it a few times. So if you've watched this video three times, you have watched this video for an entire day of your life. This guy's reading in size 32 font, that's why this shit's seven hours. Badaya <laughs> buried his mother. The days, the four days. No! <laughs> Not the one with text, chat. You can't even see it with my webcam. The day I will hold dear no. to my No, <laughs> Liam, why were you right, dude? <laughs> I have no. done and spent 30 years of my life in Purgatory Point. Jebediah Mom Brown is the first part of the zombie storyline in 1885. She hoped to give us a chance at a the new year life. Best map of all time. 
They're good he folk here. Like I mean, you're not wrong with you. Sure, sometimes. Why are you doing this to yourself? Rowdy. Because I'm forcing you. Maybe we stray too far from Heaven's Gaze. But I mean, we stray too far from Heaven's Gaze when a COD Zombie storyline video is seven hours long. Something happened to one of the miners. Clive Farnsworth, a Clive good man. Clive Farnsworth, came by boys, the one in the chat time. if you know that guy. Clive, dude. Anyway, he went down into that mine. He stayed down there for stayed 10 down days. There for 10 days. That's my homie Clive, dude. When he came back up, oh, he was, he was changed. <gasps> changed. They say he was like a feral animal. Rabid and carnivorous. Oh, so his I'm mind was gone. His Today's flesh all second. sallow and bloody. His eyes are blazing. Up, a like, still had a red light. <laughs> First hole we stumbled me, upon was me and Mars. I was at the shop. Can you read a little bit faster, Ma Radio? Ma went out to meet him and Clive. He. Doc oh, said have quick. jumped on her throat. Clive jumped on her. Ripped her Ripped throat. throat. Boys, Pog, you. Oh, Bill Best ran over map of all the tooth through Clive's skull. Shot him dead. Toten, Black Ops. Damn. Like a Pog, you. But Ma. Do I know it doesn't play video at two times speed? It wouldn't she'll even make sense. She'll rise up to heaven. And bless her soul, she'll be greeted with open arms. Should that I put mine. it at 1.5 speed chat? For that blue or 1.25? Some folk. Wait, let me try 1.5. Thank God for YouTube.com, dude. Let's go. Say you stare too long, you'll find the devil in it. I need answers. I need to understand what happened. Okay, I'll brother. head down to that mine tomorrow. He knew something was wrong, as word had spread about this blue rock. And so why does it sound in why does it sound in normal speed now? When we're at 1.5 speed. Two times speed is still three and a half hours. Are you fucking joking? No, literally, chat, listen, 1.5 speed literally sounds like normal speed. Listen to this. He went searching for answers himself. He visited the Element 115 video, and upon his interaction with no, it... No, I'm not. Shut up. The best you don't want to watch this in 0.5 speed, man. Tell Black Ops 1. This is too fast? I mean, he's talking at a regular pace, man. Okay, let's try 1.25. It forever changed him. The corruption had touched him, and thus connected him to the ether. That night, upon his return, he had visions from what- Wait a second. If this is 1.25 speed, it sounds practically normal. What is normal? He perceived as angels. In reality- I swear, he's talking slower in normal than- Like, 1.25 speed is regular. These were the Keepers. I can't believe this. They had warned him to prepare for what was coming- Wait, the Keepers and were also buried? testing the limits over how much influence That's they the can have over humans. I ever heard. Their first real test was getting him to create a machine that could upgrade any weapon put inside of it. This was the creation of the very first Pack-A-Punch machine. What?! They guided him in constructing the blueprints, buried and despite not being much pack? of a blacksmith, he was successful in the Pack-A-Punch's creation. Damn. Days of 19th of they made a Pack-A-Punch- in 1885, chat. Drake's in the chapel. Somehow. I don't know how it's possible. Last I recall, I was headed into the mine. I don't know. I swear, I, know, I, I was only down there for a few hours. What's going on with Jebediah? I come back up. Townsfolk say I've been missing for five days. <laughs> chat, this guy night. went on some drugs. When I slept. I had a vision. He's on drugs. Two angels came down to me from heaven. Angels in heaven. They told me eyes. I needed to be ready to prepare for what was coming. And what was yeah. coming, they would not tell me. But That's how to prepare? Thing. You're crazy for making this video. I actually want to know how long it took you. you great power. I've been paid money to watch your video. This machine was complex. That's all these map of all time. Mechanical skill I did not have. Pino de Toten Black. I told them such, but they said not to worry. They would guide my hands. The way they described That's it. That's kind of fucking like strange. Oven, Why would they guide the best your hands? Map you of stick all your time. rifle stick inside. Your he knows they're toting black. Come ones. back out. <laughs> well, let's just say that rifle would pack a serious I can't believe punch. this is lore. This machine garnered the attention of many locals and visitors alike. But most importantly, it proved to the keepers that humans could be of use. The Yo, keepers yet again visited Jebediah, drink. only this time hoping that he could craft the Agarthan device. This proved troublesome, as he had no means of getting Elder God blood, nor for <laughs> what souls. The fuck? What he was I mean, capable yeah. of, however, was crafting the vessel for which it would be held, and that's really? exactly what he did. So it was made in Buried? Wow, chat, the lore. 
We're learning. My invention is the talk of the town. People been coming from far the and wide. The town, brother. Yeehaw! Cake on it, brother. Revolver We're rifle. Revolver the rifle. Sticking in the time. pack Come punch. Off. Stick it in the... You know they're toting black ops. I pray every night. Yeah. Thanking the heavens for sending them two angels. I couldn't have done this without their guiding hand. I couldn't have done that down they there with that guiding hand. Oh, the angels they told are... Me there was the another keepers. machine they wished me to build. Oh, they see. called it... The Agarthan device. device. Said it had the power to grant that Damn, which so one this truly all the way desires. Back in no way. I told them I was their servant. Show me the path, the path I will walk. Servant. They said I needed three things. Three things the blood bro. of an blood elder of an god. Elder god brother. An elemental shard. Cold War for that one. And a metallic vessel an to harness and shard. carry both. Okay, brother. To find the blood, they instructed me to travel to the bottom of the ocean. What? I told them this I could not do, for I would perish. <laughs> to craft an elemental shard, they instructed the me to fuck? forge four souls with a blue rock from our mind. I would perish, I bro. told them this I could not do, for I do not have the means to well, siphon a blue soul bro. to an element. But a metal vessel? Well, I'm I a am a blacksmith. That. Dang, so buried is where we do be vesseling, boys. Any Over vessel time, the town would fall into ruin due shot. to its close proximity to element 115. The residents became delusional, paranoid, and even Jebediah Wait, suffered really? some side effects as well. He became overcome with grief about the loss of his mother, and for whatever reason, perhaps the simple madness of losing one's mind, he dug up his mother's corpse and put it into the Pack-a-Punch machine. This what? created an unforeseen result. Her body did not disappear from the machine as any normal gun would. Instead, an apparition of her appeared in their old house. Although it Wait, was a much Liam, younger you version of when... Wait, so this is the result of when you pack a punch someone, they become a fucking ghost that steals your fucking money? Liam literally wasn't even lying? That's actually storyline? Chat, I'm suing Treyarch. We're 15 minutes into this video and this is an utter nonsense. She died. Her ghost what would continue fuck? to be bound to the house for the foreseeable future. The day's the 21st of July. Me, fam? The year of our and it's Lord, his mom too? I have a, the fuck? a confession. I'm never going, I'm never playing Buried sin. again, man. I fear I am the architect of my own damnation. I mean, you... This town. Yeah. This town is cursed. The devil himself has possessed our people. Folk I like how they mix that ideology with the Keeper one and, and things like, ain't there. make it seem 1800 still. It's really cool. Seven dead in the last five days. Seven dead, bro. Sheriff don't know what's gotten into the best on these maps got me. My motherfucker. But I know. He know they're totally But I know it's that damn King Kona mine. Them blue rocks. Oh, blue rocks shot. Doc Monk believes them to be meteors from the sky, from up in the stars. Maybe from heaven. Anybody gonna put yourself in the pack bunch calls. machine, boys? We're gonna become I ghost boys? Drake's in the chat? This town hey, has hey, gotten hey. to me as well. Last night, I felt overcome with loss and grief. He just said he comes with loss and grief? I went grief. to see Ma at the cemetery. Whoa, boys, watch out. Maybe it was a whiskey. Was Maybe it was delirium. Whiskey. I can't say, but... <laughs> it literally uh, was the whiskey. Dug her up. Bro, and, uh, why would you admit to this? Took her in the town. I took her to my shop. Where I kept the machine. I, uh, I, I don't know what came <laughs> what over What the fuck Something is this? I took control of my body like a puppet on string. <laughs> I, I put her in the machine. What the I don't fuck? Know why? Maybe. maybe why is he doxing himself? What an idiot. But you Shut vanished. Diet, you literal low IQ gamer. Down. I stumbled home in a daze, but as I arrive, I see before my eyes, I see an apparition, a spirit. It looks just what like the her. Fuck? <laughs> Only when she was younger. Yo, this guy needs to be put. She Did he pack around his mom yet? Now. Yes, this is what he's talking I about. Leave, I can't piano. believe it. <laughs> the angels. The angels. They came Liam, back to why the again. fuck is this cannon? I've built the metal carriage just as they Liam, asked. I could write a better story. Only one Guaranteed. thing I have to do now. Guaranteed. Upgrade with my machine. I'll just put Seeing his purpose on. as having been we fulfilled and the steady decline of his well-being, the, the keepers shot. instructed him one last task, to me. put the vessel he crafted into the pack-a-punch machine, which like, he did. Such energy mixing with each other wound up teleporting Purgatory Point beneath the surface of the Earth all the way in Angola, Africa. Following this, the town was completely been overrun by zombies, and Jebediah is killed. The day is the 22nd of July. 
The year of the our year Lord, of our Lord. Wait, so Liam, that's a we zombie reference when we said the year of our Lord? This time, I'm upset. I didn't even know. Wow, we dude. Being punished I'm so by fucking heaven upset. For our transgressions, the best zombies map of all time. Suffer the righteous hand. He knows the I didn't say asked. I put the metal vessel in the pack of punch machine just as in the best zombies map of all time. Next thing I know, it's like all the energy of the tower of the world sucked out of the air as it pulled inside the machine. Motherfucker, huh? Next thing, the world went white. The world went that. white. I, my shop, all the people, the whole damn town has been transported as if willed by the Lord into this cavern buried below the Barry. surface of the earth. He just I said it, boys. We are at the threshold of hell. The he world just, just said waiting it. to open below our feet. We've been overrun by the devil's army. The dead have risen and now do us boys. in battle. Boys. My name is Jebediah Brown, and I <laughs> bow humbly before the two angels and ask for forgiveness. Show us the path to salvation. We are listening. Hello? <laughs> no. The events that transpired here no. will remain buried for it's some time. No one would know noises. of the zombies or Element 115. All that was left no. were remnants of a once forgotten I mean, mining town. Bam. Boys, Gemini can the suck setting these and time nuts, frame boys. for everything that's about to happen is Straight World up. War II, Nazi Germany. The events that happened in the real Guys, world are very real much history, the backdrop boys. for everything going on around it. World leaders and military alliances Gemini, all still apply. For this story, we are largely following the side of the Germans. The next character the to Germans. uncover Element 115's existence oh, was a TOS. doctor named Ludwig Maxis. What a he L formed an organization L known Dr. as Group L 935 dedicated to this element's research and study. Among I mean, its constituents was Edward doctor, Richthofen. Yeah. Dr. Richthofen is a bona fide Yo, sociopath who sees no moral distinction between war. natural death and plain murder. He is a Nazi doctor and major general within the Axis ranks. He was originally at the forefront of torture and information extraction research during the war, but when approached to join Maxis to research Element 115, he joined. It is also important to note that Richthofen is also part of the Illuminati and was working on behalf of their interests when joining Group 935. The Illuminati's role in the entire timeline is Shout largely one impactful and, and not the important. Illuminati. The facility they were given I'm a was part at of the Illuminati, boys. Other notable members within the organization I'm included on. Sophia, Maxis's personal assistant and lover. Other accompanying scientists included the likes of Dr. H. Porter, Dr. Schuster, Dr. and Dr. Porter, Groff. No image. There were also two spies who infiltrated the organization <laughs> as well. Despite being kept under wraps, the OSS caught the wind of this new project and infiltrated the group in attempts to learn more. These included two Americans Yo, named Peter McKean and later Dr. Harvey Yina. Years after Maxis' discovery, the Japanese army also discovered deposits of 115 in the swamp. Boys. They established the Rising Sun oh. facility and similarly created a group to research it known as Division. Nine. Known as in Shino the early days of Group 935's formation, it was solely dedicated to Element 115's research and the concept of bettering the human condition. Gentlemen, allow me to oh, take this opportunity yes. to welcome you the to first group radio from Darius Gameplay called the History of Our Race. Voice. You represent the future of technological advancement. You, boys, are the pioneer anybody, of human a discovery. pioneer of human discovery. In your hands lies the destiny of mankind. That's fucking me, boys. In our hands is That's a great mean. power, and with that power me, comes man. a price. Comes great you responsibility to be part of this great experiment, and with that decision comes the responsibility of absolute secrecy. No one is to know what you do, where you work, what our research has uncovered, or what our purpose will be. I mean, you fuck you, Doctor no L. You died in a game. Your Stupid family. piece of shit. Your decision to fully this is not the real 115 film track. Group this is fake. Group 925 can In your lockers, you off. will find your field ops manual, which will direct you should our manifesto get compromised. We cannot afford to let this power fall he into the wrong dies hand. To a squid. And therefore, Could the you field imagine? ops manual L. should be Let's considered in the for Max. Make your preparations now. A new dawn is beginning. Mankind. Much of its time no, and effort went into building the matter transference die. device, a teleportation device developed by Boys, Element 115, the though experiments with device. this would be largely unsuccessful. Attempts were made right out of the gate by teleporting human corpses, but they would always be reduced to slot. If the teleported? teleporter didn't immediately name the subject, I've been then they simply vanished before, without boys. a trace. The but the two stumbled upon a miracle. During one of their Look teleportation tests, the corpse was brought back to life. 
While the teleportation was a failure, Put this the rags was a whole new the avenue for further TV, research. Baby. They learned Element 115 on, had the man. ability to reanimate the dead, and so Max going. sought to find a way to control them. The but this was an especially way. difficult task, as the zombies were always disobeying his commands. Maxis almost completely shifted his attention from teleportation over to the undead. Richtofen continued on with the help of How Dr. Schuster. Over the know. next few months, Wait, the two scaled down. Four in this? Oh, they do. Look at this. Blood of the Dead is six hours in, fam? Found their testing size from human teleportation down to a walnut. And for the first time, they successfully teleported an item as this intended. Is log entry 38, date. December yeah, four, fuck you, log entry 38, dick, dick coffin, fam. Test run number 151. We have now reduced our test yeah, it's not Dr. Rick Coffin. I'm just gonna call him Dr. Dick Schuster. Coffin. That's it, dude. Yes, Wait, is this the walnut lore? Chat, do you guys know about the walnut, right? Okay, the they fucking put a walnut in a TP. He stuck his dick inside, and then it teleported. They were happy about it, boys. That's how we know. Test number one, and Dr. Schuster was yes, that doctor. guy yeah, from that one Insert map the with the castle in it, and then he, he died. Whoa, boys. Please insert your earplugs, bro. That's some bullshit. They didn't wear that God. bullshit. We've done it. We have powered up the prototype. And then they went to these the nuts machine, bro. From the prototype device into the receiving device. It moved instantly. It, it teleported. Get me Dr. Maxis immediately. Maxis wasn't too pleased as he had instructed <laughs> no, them to research the undead, them, but he was more upset for a different reason. Over time, Group 935 ran into financial problems, everything. and they needed someone who was willing to fund their research and development. This from? is where Maxis struck a deal with the Nazi party. Oh, they were willing to fund Group 935 Gigi. and allow them to continue Gigi. their research, so long as they developed weapons for Gigi. them, which Gigi. Maxis Chad, agreed this is to. Real history. But this is not the crucial experiment that you are supposed to be working on. This is all due respect, Dr. Maxis. Did Vanguard make this, this video? Chad, did he include Vanguard? Well, Please don't tell me. That you move the a few feet. Yes. Oh, he doesn't include the whole war. Wow, this is actually the, the incomplete story. I can see it now. Edwards, but no, from not delivered. Don't be obtuse. How dare you call me that? We are at war, Edward. I will admit that there is... Get your walnuts out of here, fam. Correct me if I'm wrong, Dr. Maxis. But Group 935 is a research organization. What was the motto? To improve the human condition? I mean, fam, the you took artist. that and shoved Find it Dr. right Dr. up your ass. I will let you in on a little administrative secret. Yeah, we dick. are finalizing a deal with the Nazi party. We need fun. It's wrong. We War is incomplete, boys. Let's practice. wait for the eight-hour video chat. Chances are this war will end soon with a treaty or two, and we will be in a much better position to help the world. Are you certain this won't cause massive defections? Chat, is Rick Hoffman good, bad, or in between? That is why it is with the utmost confidence that I share this with you. I mean, he's really in between. No one will know of this. This is simply the breaking of an egg to make an omelette. Think of the tactical I mean, advantage he's we really have. Think of the cost. Think of the time. We can provide the Nazis technical expertise in various areas. Think of the cost. Think of the time, Chuck. Thanks in your walnut basket. Good day, Edward. And get back to your real work. Damn, Schuster pissed. Bloody Chuck. I think Dr. Maxis has lost his perspective. No matter. Damn. We'll do this on our own and publish the findings Damn. before he has a chance. When You're you hate your boy Maxis, boys, me and my own hate without Maxis. It. Are you? I would by no means discourage that thought. I would watch a seven hour video. Fortunately for them, Richthofen had already invented video? the Wonderwaffa DG2, Mom, a wonder Farrell. weapon powered by Element 30 minutes in Wonder Waffle. To save the hassle of mentioning each individual creation Woo! as they happen, for the sake of simplicity, let's just go through them now. The Thunder Gun DG3 was the successor to the Wonderwaffa, originally thought up by Richthofen, but Chat, instead have you ever created seen by that Maxis. I Maxis was also responsible for the JGB, also referred to as the Shrimp Ray, as well as the original Ray Gun. Richthofen also invented the monkey bomb. Nope. The various other scientists within nope. Group 935 had their part as well. Harvey no, Gina invented the scavenger no, sniper rifle, is, Dr. Porter invented the successor to the original ray gun in the ray gun Mark II, and likely the Mark III no as well. He was also responsible for the wave gun. No Pretty much every wonder weapon found within the games were created by either Group 935 I mean, directly, or similar groups who were doing the same thing later down the timeline. This also that's goes for the L. perks and elixirs. Imagine Juggernaug, Quick Revive, elixirs. Speed Cola, and Double Tap were all fused with Element 115 for the their chat, special for the effects. Treyarch These versions would happen over the course of the timeline, so just keep that in Kino mind. They didn't just all get invented in a few months. 
The Nazis I mean, were happy to fund them man. so long as their weapons development, teleportation technology, and reanimation really of the dead were to be used to help them in the war. This is why Maxis was so upset over Richthofen Wait, do they the teleportation experiments when an undead shot? army would be far more useful. But Richthofen was surprisingly a man of science. <laughs> oh, no, he might cool be a sociopath, war, but he continued to work diligently on human <laughs> teleportation. In fact, as time went on, he became so confident in the success of the matter transference device that he offered himself to be used as a test subject. And this is where you can really say Richthofen's story begins. I mean, chat, when Richthofen gave himself up in the pack punch machine and started fucking it, what do you guys think about that in the storyline? I'll continue working on the matter transference prototype. We have made great strides in the last 30 years. I miss Jebediah Brown. One of the chat if you do as well. Bring that guy back. We will send a test subject. Rick Toffin can station, suck the best zombies map of all time. There's no there's no like No, now he's teleporting he's himself. Quickly, put in your earplugs and power the machine. Parts of the jet. Jebediah would have loved Elden Ring. I mean, bro, he built the pack of this machine. Of course he would, bro. Is there a power outage? Why is it so dark? Oh, chat. He's, he's in he's in the room, boys. Monka W. Dr. Shusta. Hello? He's vacuuming. <laughs> I can see now. Oh, my God. I'm standing in a circular cave. Chat, listen. Kind of this is the part I don't get. Because in Moon, if you stand in the spot that he's standing, you fucking die. Because there's no oxygen. So is Rick Coffin an alien voice? One in the chat. There's no fucking way. He, he lives this. Very cold. Not a speck of dust. He touches the pyramid, boys. How is he touching? Big lungs? I mean, yeah, dude. I see what looks like depositors in the ceiling of the chamber. But there are no obvious connections to anything electrical. What is this place? Dr. Schuster? Is that you? Dr. Schuster? Dr. Schuster? Look at this. Man, that ain't Dr. Schuster, bro. I'll tell you, that's definitely another guy, bro. Are you whispering to me? There's no need for that. This is us. Bro, has the super lungs? I mean, I guess. Is some weird fanfic? Yeah, chat. I don't know what this is. My god! What happened? I seem to be in some kind of jungle. I can't be certain oh, where I am. He went to the jungle! In the jungle, he was the transported jungle, to boys. the moon, where he encountered the ether pyramid that was hidden by the Apothecons. Piqued by his curiosity, he inspected the device where he was electrocuted, and thus the corruption of the dark ether spread unto him. He began I mean, hearing the many voices of corruption, including that of the Shadow Man himself. These voices told him many things and informed him about much of the alien technology. He was slowly driven insane, forming an obsession with finding a way to the fabled Agartha. Shortly after becoming Agartha? corrupted, he was then teleported to Shangri-La. While Shangri it was initially shocking finding himself in the middle of a jungle, he did meet the residents of the area as well as uncovering more traces Voices of Element 115. Upon learning this, nowhere. it didn't take him long before he began manipulating them for his own benefit. Ooh. Due to the indigenous people's primitive culture, Richthofen introduced them to the miracles of modern technology, hydropower, mining systems, electricity. Richthofen was worshipped as a god in their eyes, I mean, and this made it easy man. for him to convince them to mine Element 115 for him. And they did. While here, he encountered Shout the Focusing Ricky. Stone, another elemental rock from the ether oh, which had a unique dude. purpose. Focusing when combined with L. something known as the Vril device, different to the Vril vessel, one can swap souls with another human being. Richthofen had an elaborate series of traps built to protect it, and once it was done, subsequently left Shangri-La. With no more guidance, the inhabitants, Chat, with constant you, exposure to 115, became zombies Chat. and died. He returned back to Norris less than a month later and informed Schuster of what he'd witnessed. It's, I'll tell you, it wouldn't be Rick, though. It wouldn't 43, be my dad, either. Date, January 23rd, 1940. I'd switch souls with myself. I cannot be certain what happened what comes to Dr. Richthofen once the test has commenced. He just disappeared Big from Hayden? the Oh, that's a great answer. Fucking I have searched the area for days and have no evidence that he is anywhere. I am afraid I might have to scrap the in- Oh, Schuster! We've done something. Something wondrous. Shh. Do you hear them? Dr. Richthofen, you're alive! I'm more than alive, Mr. Schuster. Is the device still intact? Yes, but what happened to you? Ah, oh, something wonderful. 
See, this Check is where Rick's life. off and chat. This is before and after good. drugs, boys. One of the chat of drugs are good. Look at Rick's off. He's a great example, boys. Before and Bearing after. witness to the pyramid on the moon, he and Dr. Schuster formed a plan to build a base there before where it could be further voice. studied. He's the stripped. base on the moon would be known as Griffin Station. They used their newly successful you know, teleportation to technology to transport workers and supplies. Many 935 yeah, scientists smoke? were happy what to join Rick Coffin's cause as they had become disgruntled with Maxis's arrangement with the Get Nazis. And from here, Griffin Station would continue to be built. Maxis was completely oblivious to the advancements Richthofen and his men were making, but that's in part because he had his own problems at the time. Funding was yet again running out, so he had Could Sophia write a letter to Reichstag High Command, informing them of this problem and what updating them on the mass production Make of their weapons. Make more money, idiots! Sophia, this letter Dumbs. is to go to the Reichstag High Command immediately. Gentlemen, it is with the utmost urgency that I draw your attention to the lack of funding being injected into the giant project. Oh, well, I believe we are close to realizing the, the ultimate thing, plan. Boys. We still have several years of development they before it is ready. Thing, it would be folly to cut our expenditure so early in our development. Chat, it As would you be know, folly, early boys, tests on the DT2 you know have what? easily outperformed expectations, and we fully anticipate mass producing the Wunderwaffe within the next chat. few years. Work on the matter transference has, however, yeah, boys, come to a standstill. We simply do not have enough noise, element don't 115 worry. to continue the experiments. The test subjects have survived the teleportation, nice. but are currently unresponsive to commands nice. and cannot be controlled. Let's go, if we are to man. overcome this obstacle, we need to increase the frequency and size of the experiment. To this end, I Chai, suggest he had to find to type not only all a regular supply out. of 115, but that we also find that. a larger conduit to I'm, channel the energy. Our operatives Typing in America have informed us Omega that the U.S. has a large supply of the element at the Nevada base. So time is of the essence if we are to stay ahead of them. I'm this cannot chat. be done Time if you cut the budget, essence, nor can it be done if you insist on pressuring us into action before we are ready. I am, of course, available for discussion on the matter, but in the meantime, I will continue with the work here and try to win this damned war. Signed, etc., etc. Et I can't, dude, I can't In response this to this, real. Germany complied and even gave them new bases Germany of operations to continue complied? and expand their research. These included a repurposed theater at the Kino facility oh, in Kino der Toten, an asylum facility in Berlin, Ruff which is Verrucht. They even managed to convince the Japanese Ooh. army to relinquish control of their Rising Sun Shinobuma. facility in Shinonuma. Division 9 would still remain intact, but just under the leadership Shibabuba. of Group 935. Two other facilities were established as well. Boys, one in Siberia near the Tunguska River, which is where the maps Call of the Dead and Tag der Toten take place, oh, and I one in an one. old rundown castle named oh, Der Eisendrack. I don't know now, this I've gotten map. a bit into this timeline without chat. mentioning someone who's to become very important down the road, and that is Samantha Maxis. I have her no mother died idea upon giving birth, and L so her father brought her along to the Doris facility to be L closer to her. However, this would not be the case. Maxis was so focused and dedicated to his study and research that he often neglected Samantha and failed to keep an eye on her. One of the most as an attempt to make up for his like negligence it. as a father, <laughs> he gifted her a dog named Fluffy. I'm just now, shitting all over the story line, Samantha. bro. <laughs> Owning a dog is a great responsibility. <laughs> yeah, fuck oh, you, I buddy. You must feed her every day and walk her yeah. and be very careful when you play fuck with her. Fuck you, buddy. You know she's Mr. going to Mr. L. Maxis. <laughs> really? Can I give the puppies to father? We'll see. Chad, what zombies map is One this? step at a time. But for now, Samantha would simply just exist in and around the area. Just over one year later, Griffin Station was successfully built on the moon. Richthofen places Dr. Woo! Roth in charge of his research and returns Look back to Earth to continue the charade with Maxis. Guy, Gentlemen, for two long years, we have toiled here... Man, man does not look like... Dr. Roth does not look like he wants to for exist, two long years, we have taken he does not look like he wants to For two long years, we have worked under Group 935. This is like, she's gonna be a first thing to put me to sleep, and I love it. Boys, let's go! Chat, what in a chat if we should just sleep? I should definitely just sleep, dude. This is Space Dog Cannon gameplay, boys. This is confirmed in the war. Max has hit a dog going 70 miles per hour on the moon. He had a terrible Christmas Eve king. I mean, this is, this is confirmed. And now the lead here at Griffin Station. Nine Dr. Groff, you fucking idiot. Preposterous, lad! Rick Toffin keeps spitting, fam. I blame Le Atleem Winter Live on these two, I blame all sides going to this device, being a stable gateway to the east. Dr. Richardson, I'm aware of a project being run by Dr. Maxis at Doris concerning real. As am I. As I am, am I. Chat. 
I would be finding out who found all these radios. That's what I want to know. Who clicked all these radios in order from start to finish boost? I don't know. Let the games begin, you fuckers. Milo, I mean, you gotta For the split. most part, Maxis wouldn't pick up on Richtofen's schemes, but he would begin to question his sanity due to his frequent exposure to 115. Chat, what is your sanity gonna be after this video? That's what I'm trying to figure out right now. The Richtofen podcast. Chat, can somebody count how many quotes there are in this video? I actually want to know how much dialogue is in this video. But through time, it's got to be disgusting. I myself cannot entertain such madness. I fear Richtofen. Yeah, no way. Irrationality may soon prove I mean, if you're watching this Regardless, it wouldn't matter. Seen. Soon he and Sophia were transferred to the oh Kino gosh, facility to focus on creating like Germany's undead army. Maxis's methods involved a sort of brainwashing tactic. The subjects were exposed to a series of images to condition their memory. Oh, chat, if the zombies were capable of recognizing voice? and remembering what was shown to them, then it proved they were intelligent and had the ability uh, to learn and thus be controlled. I'm the test subjects have been undergoing I'm treatment for five to say days. That to is the best I have been assured that given time, the programming will take home. Yes, the programming of Keynote Their most successful the test subject was now. subject to six. I'm going to be brainwashed. We have made great me. strides in breaking through I to their subconscious. Be. I have had the projectionist make edits to the film. These changes have been very effective. Woo! Subject 26 has had a brief. Subject fuck you 26. And following basic instructions. Yo, F subject 26. The violent outbursts have been greatly reduced. I mean, he's and such an time, idiot. Dude. We feel this method of treatment will be 100% effective in most dad, cases. Really Maxis didn't need the zombies to remain controlled forever, just long enough to be used as soldiers pointed in the right direction. I mean, the ideal sitting. amount of time was 26 hours. 26 the hours? The deployment can be accelerated. Given the progress we have All made, zombie maps last in a span of 26 hours. Don't forget than that. 26 hours, we will have the process perfect. Hell yeah. Unfortunately for everyone, this breakthrough didn't the last long. Map of Subject 26 appeared to be in a permanent state of docility, which caused everyone to let their guard down. It attacked its handler, which led to both Subject 26 and its handler being no, put down. However, handler. it didn't only attack the handler. Sophia was also attacked and infected, though she tried to keep this information hidden from everyone. After many weeks of failure and frustration, Dr. Max has finally so achieved the breakthrough we have been searching for. Fuck off! So Go back to go road. And startling. In the case of Subject 26, his instances of violent outburst were non-existent. His docility his appeared. His docility permanent. appeared permanent, boys. Unfortunately, while we prepared to implement the treatment on the other subjects, there was an incident. Chat, how many people this morning, constructed this Subject 26 attacked a handler. How many? 26 and the handler I'm were both destroyed. I'm saying like 90. Maxis 90 believes Subject 26 only language. attacked the handler. 9-0. He does not know I was attacked as well. 290. I have observed a developing oh, pattern of high fevers and cold sweats. Oh, shit. My thoughts are erratic. My Your relationship are erratic? with Regis. Oh! Complicated. Boys, they're on the head! I, I cannot keep this secret from him for long. Oh, Maxis didn't off find the head. out about Sophia's injury. No. He kept a personal log documenting what happened to the subject and formulated his own fan. plan of how to deal with his lover. Oh, Another setback. Man, Patient 26 was killed this morning in the test. He lost control and attacked one of our handlers. His injuries Boys. were minor, no, but Patient 26 was destroyed. Sick, the break in programming coincided with the flashing lights and loud noises of the fire alarm in the test facility. One moment. What is it? That's so pussy. That is the worst. The breaking program coincided with the flashing lights and loud noises. I of mean, the fire dude, alarm it probably is just one <laughs> big circular one robot, man. What is it? That's so fussy, ain't it? Boys. You wanted to see me, Ludwig? Sophia, yes. You wanted to see me? Sit down. Fuck <laughs> off, man. No, I don't. Is everything all right? No, no. Everything's no, it fine. fucking isn't, man. I heard a nefarious rumor earlier Ooh. regarding the field test with Subject 26. Are you feeling all right? I mean, that rumor is straight of course. Up Just strange, this rumor. May I see your arm? What? No. Why do you need to see my arm? Oh, he Relax, he knows, boys. I would never hurt you. Monka you know W, that, right? he knows. Of Dr. Course, L. Maxis. And you know I care deeply for you. Yes, but... <laughs> That you know, noise. everything I'm about to do is for your own good. 
This is Dr. Ludwig Maxis, beginning preliminary trials for the Strategic Operations Planning Heuristic Intelligence Analyzer. Wait, so that's how she gets in a machine? Could you imagine getting killed and then you wake up as a machine? Hello, Sophia. I just kill myself again. It's stuck here. I can't see anything. That's all perfectly normal. How are you feeling? I feel nothing. I mean, shit. I feel you so dumb, I saved you, Sophia. I saved you the only way I knew how. Child. Oh, Maxis. What have you done? Dude, that's why she becomes such a... Bitch he preserved her brain and transferred it into a machine, a whom bitch, he also named man. Sophia. This would be Sophia's cruel fate for the foreseeable future. Damn, As for Maxis, he deems dildo. the zombies incapable of being controlled or maintained. Bruh. As for Richthofen, when Maxis was sent to the Kino boy facility, right there. Samantha Penis was placed in his care, and he took her to the Siberian facility to conduct his own human experimentation. Not just Ooh, on new test subjects, but oh also on dad. Samantha herself. Yeah. It's not exactly known why or for what reason, but Richthofen crazy. had experimented on Samantha where he came to form a hatred for her. Nevertheless, this would slowly develop over time. It is also around this time that Group 935 uncovered remnants of Purgatory okay, Point and collected all of the research found there left behind by Jebediah I mean, Brown. Yeah, Richthofen learned of the Agarthen device and its ability to make any desire come true, the necessary components needed to craft it, and he figured it would make a good backup plan to get to Agartha if his goal to take over the world didn't pan out. Also, it kind of became Richthofen's goal to take over the world and gain absolute power. The Vril vessel was brought to him, and he kept watch over it and the Agarthen device's progress. Log entry 937. Date May 15th, 1900. I wonder how many times they've had to Dear record time, these lines. Our too. men have safely returned from Africa. There's a recovered a number of Angola! in some sort of subterranean cowboy village. Wow, bro. apparently it was American. That's Could right, an American cowboy western town buried underground in Africa. <laughs> Call me zombies, be like apple pie, and the base bulls. I was thinking they could just waltz into another country and claim it as theirs. There is no art to their work. I'm gonna <sighs> spit. But I digress. The boys have returned with a number of fascinating articles and documents. They have pieces from a destroyed machine called Ooh. the Packer Bunch. With a name as clever as that, it must be American. I have given I the schematics to Dr. Porter. Up. Perhaps he will have better luck replicating Jebediah Brown's work. Jebediah! Smith. We also recovered plans for the Agathon device. It seems that the blacksmiths already built one of the pieces, the fabled Vril vessel. Oh. The Agathon device. A device capable of granting that which one desires. Almost like a, a genie, genie in a in bottle. A bottle Dad. I think no I shall keep this genie in my back pocket. In my black fails, and it won't. Perhaps this device can get me to Agatha. As for Richthofen's human experimentation yeah, project, that, yeah, three test subjects were captured. Here, Log entry 1438, date July 18th, 1945. Dear diary, I have been at Group 935's Siberian facility now for nearly days, but my cup already runs over with exciting news. First, yesterday, I learned that I would receive not one, not two, Chat, but three test subjects. How many radios subjects. are in Call of Duty Zombies? Ah, hopefully, we need to tell you. There's got to be We will be able to use these specimens to Call access the human mind. The Chancellor's undead At army is on standby until we crack this crucial step. Firstly, a Japanese samurai in Bushido Whoa. named Takio Masaki. He's a man who's always been dedicated to his principles. He was born into a wealthy family, a bloodline homie. dynasty of highly Shout decorated samurai. Guy. Even from the early age Go of five, off, he would be seen playing in the streets with his katana, slicing the tails off terrified kittens. It was clear Mother that he was going to continue bringing Talk honor you? to the Masaki name. His life was dedicated to perfecting his discipline, for without it, life He's otherwise slicing. had no meaning. What? He joined the Imperial Japanese Army and quickly rose up its ranks as war was the perfect setting for him to explore his bloodlust and the nature of those less honorable than himself. Due to the legacy of his family name and actions on the battlefield, Takio garnered attention from the Emperor himself. He witnessed Takio's unwavering fear, his ability to stare death in the face and endure whatever was thrown at him, and he was jealous. He began to use Takio for his own personal missions due to his loyalty. This even involved overseeing Division 9's research on Element 115. Takio reported that the work being done there was unacceptable, and in Boys. response, the Emperor ordered Takio to hand himself over as a test subject, for which he complied. 
Takio was then taken by Group 935. The second he test was subject was the Russian sergeant, Bunker Nikolai Belinsky. His reputation is Yo, shrouded is in that guy? of a ruthless killer, someone who's climbed up the ranks by murdering those ahead of him and sleeping his way through the political ladder. Ooh. However, these stories of him may be just that. Stories. In they reality, are. there was only ever They're one fake. thing he loved in this world, They're and that lying. was his wife. She meant everything to him, but once Germany began their advance into the Soviet Union, the country became a war zone. They bombed the major cities, and Nikolai's wife was killed in the carnage. This was perhaps Damn. a fate worse than death for him. She, it she, sent him into a spiral of drowning his sorrows in alcohol. He drank to forget, and it is likely within his drunken stupor where the tales of the ruthless killer Nikolai were born. Also made up were stories of his ex-wives. He began speaking about various other women he had married, who at least five of which he murdered himself. These Damn. women were non-existent, but rather a manifestation Nikolai, of the sadness why? he was burying deep within him. Nikolai would continue to fight if on as a soldier about the part of the Soviet machine. forces. I he mean, participated up, in the Battle dude. of Stalingrad where his brother was he killed, was and he there. was subsequently captured by German soldiers and taken by Group 935 to become a test subject. Richthofen's third test subject was a Mexican of unknown Yo, origin named Pablo, Pablo Marinus. These three were subject to Element 115 Pablo experimentation Marinus. as Richthofen attempted to unlock the human My mind, tamper with Pablo the human body Marinus. by using Element 115 and create an army of soldiers for the German forces. You. It wasn't just about controlling these three in particular either, they also attempted to clone them so they could create their own soldiers. The Element 115 I mean, affected them all differently. Takio began vomiting uncontrollably, reason. Nikolai was not responsive to the treatment unless vodka Human was involved, but it was perhaps Pablo who was affected the greatest. Oh. The Element 115 gave him visions from the past, the future, Damn. different timelines and different Pablo dimensions. He quite voice. literally saw through space and time. He rambled That's about crazy. what he saw, Imagine which caused him to be looked at as insane. While Richthofen continued to work on creating soldiers for the German forces, Chow, he began to find that? the work boring Yo, and uninteresting, so which led him to reevaluate <laughs> his interest in the Agarthan device's creation. Oh, no, no. Log entry 1469, date August 28th, 1945. Dear Diary, Progress I continues on a long line if to continue their war. They need an undead army. Yeah, I think I'm gonna fall orders. asleep by the end of this video. There's also been for sure, for real, a super surd up program. The German Chancellor considers this of high interest. We have begun the cloning process. We will have to see what results we yield. That goofy. Test subject N3WB has been vomiting for two days straight. Our this woman has been fucking vomiting. Get this Needless guy to say, we will no longer be serving fish. The Russian subject continues to be unresponsive. Doctor Yina Dr. suggests that the serum made the but considering my concerns about his loyalty, I wonder if this is perhaps another attempt at sabotage. Ooh. The specimen from Mexico continues to rant incoherently about giant monsters on some uber fun war. Perhaps wow, we and we never get that dimension. war. Could you imagine? He, he keeps rambling on about it, and ah, he's like, yeah, but Activision will never let it happen. To find this work a little L. Boring. Undead L's in the chat super sword for programs. <sighs> Group no 935 has truly limited the organization's potential. How are you even going to be The appearance of the spy last month know, has inspired me to review the blacksmith's schematics. The Garthen device and its three components. The real vessel, the apothecary, and the elemental shard. Who's going to get the elemental the shard and who's going to get the like elemental that? shard have my interest piqued. Four human souls merged with element 115. Not that I'm trying to brag, but... This may be something in my wheelhouse. Richthofen's experiments would continue with further failures, Yo, particularly for death of Pablo during a test to unlock voice. the human mind I want via the sleep. Shot. Dang. Shot, Hello? Please, Scott, Dr. Richthofen. Yo. That's my boy. What exactly are you looking for, Dr. Richthofen? What is that? They are attempting to locate for? an appropriate stimuli that will trigger the brain's involuntary willingness to obey command. Ah, there we are. Forceps, Dr. Rick Defin. Yo, but does anybody here kidneys. love the workshop? Sleep. We made it only an hour. Our goal is six to more to go. Let's go, fam. With element 105, it is Let's important go, that we destroy fam. every possibility. The barrier may be very unique. And it's things. wild because we've gone through there how many are. maps, chat, Retractors. in one hour? Retractors. One? We've gone through Burris. the Chancellor has been pushing us harder these last days. Doris. Is this because of the spy that was discovered? At the asylum. Oh, that noise. I do not know, Dr. Get that out of you. Our German leader, along with Dr. Matzis, is so rise? imitating no, his thinking. Die rise yet. His goals are... His uh, it's literally mind. only Dereed and Dereed. He's pushing for his undead army. When he could this have the elemental shard. Important. The elemental shard? A device capable of endless energy. 
We could use it to craft the endless energy magic. Any bee lovers? Hold this open while I grab the injector. A Gotham device. Why haven't I heard about this? Dr. Lina, do you have a firm grip? You're shaking. I'm ready. Please, proceed. Injecting serum in three, two, one. Hold it open. The injection is nearly complete. I can't hold this grip. Well, I guess the barrier isn't in his spleen. You I mean, bring the beeping back, man! Rectifin. It was an accident. My, my hand slipped. Don't go. Bro, I miss it, dude. Where's the beepers? Another day, another fair. This Where's time, the Al beepers? Man? The Russian subject still smells like urine. Even after he was given a bath, he loused twice. I think I might have killed this specimen from Mexico. His spleen is on the floor, and he's not moving anymore. No, Pablo, boys. The barrier is not located in the sea. Dr. Ma Dr. P I wonder what he might think of the experiment. Anybody like that, Doctor? <laughs> Doctor. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, this is a radio from Call of the Dead. I remember As that. time went on and Richthoff and descended into madness, Cornelius Purnell, who was responsible for sending Peter McCain as a spy to Group 935, believed the group Boo. was losing control over its experiments and decided to pull the plug on the investigation. A special force team was formed donkey. with the intent of extracting Peter McCain. It was led by Tank Dempsey, who was chosen due to the grit he showed during the Battle of Peleliu. He and his men were captured during the early raids, and he spent two hey, weeks submerged in malarial water in a rat-infested bamboo cage. He gnawed his way through the cage and took down his captors with only a bobby pin and his Medal of Honor. All he knows is war and working to win it for everyone he's fighting for. I mean, he is the definition of an American hero. He, alongside John Banana, Smokey, and Patrick Gunner Ridge, were sent to the Baruch facility to extract Peter McCain. Before they got there, however, Peter's identity as a spy was uncovered, and he was captured by Group 935. An outbreak at the asylum shortly followed, and amongst the chaos, Peter had managed to escape, but lost his left forearm in the process. By the time the extraction team arrived, it was too late. The facility was overrun, and they were forced to fend for themselves. Both Smokey and John Banana were killed. A radio was left behind in Banana's John final Banana. moments of death when he lost his mind. No, not John. Field report. A quiet report. The mission has all gone south. Oh, it's no, Johnny John here. Smokey is near. Most likely with meat in his mouth. Oh, I've been here for no. ages. I ran out of pages, but now I have a mic to record. The mission has failed. McCain must have bailed, and now we must fight off a horde. Oh, he's spitting, John. Low ammo and luck. And now Smokey's lost his head. Oh, he's spitting. We went down the halls. They bit Smokey's balls. And now he walks with the dead. Oh, they, they bit Banana. his balls. I was a I rhyme to keep myself sane. Though Smokey is dead, I'm holding his head. Which right now is eating my brain. Wait, what the? Dempsey, on the other hand, is captured by Group 935 and is used what as a the? replacement test subject for the Mexican yeah. in Richthofen's experiments. Subject 31472, date September 10th, 1945. Honestly, I feel like this video should have been donated to Milo so he can make this a 10 hour video and explaining the dog war. I know Milo knows every context of every word. The key to unlocking the human mind will be more easily discovered on someone who isn't dead yet. I am not convinced. The army is stored until I can break this, this trust barrier. Trust, LOLW, could you imagine? They're delivering him from the place that one that I broke. All the ones that have the only all survivor the was Gunner, who managed to make his way back to the United dead, States man. and report what happened to Purnell. Those Dempsey was transported to the Siberian facility, and he, alongside Nikolai and Takio, were all exposed to serums of Element 115 and tested on by Richthofen. Yeah, okay, three, three, four, four, seven, three, eight, September 17th, 1945. Dear Today, oh. Oh. How do they make all this noise, chat? It's like watching a Mr. T video. Okay, no. They got the funny mic on, the What's going on? Time to get to work. I can still hear you. Hit him again with the There were many attempts to grow their own versions of these three, but each one of them came out deformed and a failure in one way or another. In the end, these tests would be unsuccessful and later abandoned. Experiments would continue to be conducted on the three, however. Serums of 115 were continuously injected into them, causing them to slowly go mad. Evidence of this can be found in their prison cells written on the walls. 
These experiments caused side effects in each one of the characters as well. Dempsey Shit, had a man, loss of boys. intellect, but this his world became stronger than ever. Takio became yep, silent, but when he did speak, they were usually in old proverbs. And Nikolai became dependent and only responded via vodka. Yeah, anybody remember 1924? That was a crazy ass year, bro. Crazy ass year, bro. Harvey Yena. Do a white claw shot every time someone says, is this playable? One in the chat if I die. I guarantee you I die. Ooh, we love that. Wow. So another name for Tokyo's test subject noob? Could you imagine? Come on, Trayer. Absolutely foul. While Richthofen continuously worked on unlocking the human mind, his own motivations and goals would also be tested. He I'm began making progress up. on the Agarthen device, specifically the Elemental Shard. Using a processed rock of 115, Richthofen successfully managed shit, to siphon man. off pieces of everyone's soul and put them into the rock. This included himself, as he needed four souls in total, and he was conveniently around. Over. The Russian subject recently began responding to stimuli, but only after injecting him with a new serum made primarily from vodka. Perhaps oh, this is a breakthrough in the experiment we have been waiting for. Shit. Perhaps I was too harsh on Dr. Yina. It was he, after all, who suggested the vodka serum. Credit where credit is due. Today, Olsen Marks Shout out to Yina, one boys. of my Anybody side love projects. To get some Using a process rock of element 115, and some and was able to successfully siphon a piece of the soul from our three specimens who inject them into the rock. Without access to a fourth individual, I used part of my own essence. Much to my surprise, the rock grew and transformed, creating a beautiful shard of glass made purely from element 115 and parts from four human souls. Wait, the real really? vessel, the elemental shard. Wait, so the elemental all shard is now from is all the four of them? Blood, and the Agathen device shall be complete. End log the entry 1474. Gamer? Or should I say 1474? Doesn't matter. All that was left to complete the Agathen device was dog. the blood of an apothecan. Unbeknownst to Richthofen or anyone at the time, by siphoning the souls of those four together, it effectively bound them across all dimensions Dang. and universes. Could no matter imagine? what, no matter where, these four were stuck with each other, though they wouldn't know it. Seeing how Richthofen began happened. using Group 935's resources for his own personal projects, Dr. Yu saw at the perfect time the to prove his loyalty to the organization in an attempt to clear voice. any and all thoughts the others might have had I'll that he might a be a spy voice. due to being American. You cannot do this! No authority! You left me no choice, Dr. Richtofen. You use 935 resources to work on personal projects. You've been threatening the employees, myself included, and you're clearly suffering from excessive 115-induced delusions. I mean, shit. Suffering yeah. from excessive 115-induced delusions? How dare you accuse me of such, such, such vile life? Dr. Maxis has I ordered mean, the elemental man, shark to be sent to Division 9, written. where they are better equipped to study it appropriately. You are to cease experimentation on the test subjects and put them on ice. You are to return with them to Darius and meet with Dr. Maxis. He would like to discuss your dedication, your dedication to the cause. To the cause My dedication? The, oh, the real question is, is why is Trader not, not uploaded a storyline video like this? Oh, well, that's the real I question. The why is Trader not done this? I that's something. You would think that Trader should have no. done this before. I'm afraid Dr. Maxis mm -hmm. has cancelled its mass production as well. I don't get that. This, this is all you're doing. You are intentionally sowing discontent. You are trying to destroy us from within. You, you're working for the Americans, aren't you? You are a spy. They're just like Dr. Peter McCain. Dr. Maxis will never have hired Americans, no matter how much genius they have. No, Dr. Richterfin, that's your paranoia talking. You've been exposed to Element 115 for too long. I'm just a loyal servant to Group 935 trying to protect its interests. still trying to figure out the now, boss, <laughs> I suggest bringing them up with Dr. Maxis. Oh, oh man. Don't you worry, little liar. That's, that's why I'm so shocked. They can't forget a pause button, but this was made. You know? That's the wildest shit.
Richthofen was forced to put Dempsey, Nikolai, and Takio on ice, hand over the oh elemental boy. shard which was to be taken to Division 9 where they could properly study it, and he was forced to return back to Doris with Maxis. Ice, and to top it all off, mass production of the Wunderwaffe was cancelled. Understandably, Bruh. this pissed Richthofen off as he felt betrayed, and so he formulated his own plan to deal with Maxis and Samantha Richtofen in the process. Canceled, like I said earlier, he came to form a hatred for Samantha, though we never really see why. Target entry 1475, date October 1st, 1945. Oh my gosh, put the fun in my down retarding, man. What are you thinking doing, buddy? You know what I'm saying, bro? You know what to do with it. But I know just what to do with him. And I'll take care of that little brat if I get the chance to. Before we go any further, we must first talk about the progress being made on the moon with the MPD during this time. When we last left off with them, Richthofen had just placed Dr. Groff in charge of its oversight. Chat, is anyone understanding the storyline coherently and understanding the timeline? Y'all are wild, boys. My brain too small, boys. Yo! For the future! We can literally do anything but Drake's in the chat. Despite countless hours of analyzing and studying the MPD, yes! it yielded little to no results. Anything, it wasn't until by pure accident when Dr. Schuster killed a nearby Basically, rat that its soul entered the device and began charging it. Working. Could you imagine? Mr. Log, 1075. Dr. Schuster and I have spent countless hours with the pyramid device in an attempt to understand how it functions. We have made little progress. I mean, because you're Today, stupid as hell. Today, we what looks to be some kind of tank with a glass-like front. The glass itself... Boys, it's the moon Easter egg, dude. Did Did you imagine there being a rat the on the moon chat? The tank is filling the machine. It seems to be activated. What did you do? I think we just discovered what power is this machine. It's the soul box. This information was swiftly sent to Richthofen, who this had no hesitation in wanting to be done. done. Richthofen arranged pyramid. for various scientists and soldiers to be sent to the moon, where they would be sacrificed the to charge OG the pyramid. How the fuck did a rat get on the moon? Boys, it was my dad. Hello, doctor. I'm so shipment. sorry, boys. Carrying out my orders. dad. Custom maps would like to know your location. I mean, for real. Continue until the tanks are full. Yes, Doctor. Yes, Doctor! For Richthofen's plan to succeed, it would spell the downfall for Group 935 entirely. He intended to execute something known as Operation Shield, also known as Security Protocol 935. It is never directly explained off, what man. this is, but logic would dictate it's the emergency measure everyone is to take in case of an outbreak. All Group 935 members Wait, are equipped with cyanide yeah, pills true. to kill themselves so as to not suffer a gruesome like mauling at the hands of zombies. Group 935 would Victus effectively soon. die. It's not what Richthofen inherently wanted, but he believed Maxis had changed right the now. group's goals from researching Element 115 to simply help the Nazi party, and he hated that. But he didn't want the work to go to waste. In fact, he wanted it to continue. So instead, he struck a deal with the Americans and Russians. Yeah, yeah, he agreed to hand over their research and the findings flies. thus far, and even and have scientists, which he trusted, be transferred over as well Ooh, under their supervision. Considering how Group 935 was at the forefront of its research, they agree. I mean, yeah, Orgen's October 10th, 19. Now. You've done what, Dr. Richthofen? Oh, I'm sorry. Do you not see the microphone in my hand? Recording for posterity is important. Ahem. <clears throat> October 10th, 1945. You made a deal with the Americans. You made a deal with the Americans? Well, yeah, or the, the Russians? Man. You can't forget them. But our work. This, this war. war oh my ah, the war is over, Dr. Schuster. Yes, sir. It, it is, is my responsibility to ensure the work of Group 935 continues. I mean, what a donkey. These deals. It would mean the end of Group 935. The Americans and the Russians would tear us apart. Everything we stood for. Everything this organization stood for died the day Dr. Max has made that infernal deal with the Reichstag. Damn, could you, you and I voice? both know this to be true. Listen to me and understand. Our technological developments with 115 are the envy of the entire world. These agreements guarantee our work will continue in America or Russia. America! So our scientists at the helm. I am sorry. Anybody for our work to live on, America? Group 935 must come to an end. Is Richthofen Zombie Hitler oh, all cheer up, Dr. Schuster. 
I have asked that you go to the Americas. This video into a it will be good for you. I mean, I mean it, so, so, I can't understand. You will not go to America? Simple. Nor to Russia. Once Dr. Groff confirms that the MPD is ready, we will proceed with Operation Shield How as big is Rick Hoffman's brain? I have a date with though. destiny. I think what are you getting out of this deal, Dr. Rick Toffin? A feeling of fulfillment kind of that, that I'd save my fellow scientists from the unemployment line, or possibly prison. Edward, please. I mean, this is like understanding <laughs> Don't every worry about single me, nuance possible in this I will be well taken care of. We need this video By this point in time, Richtofen had returned to the Reese. The, the pyramid was charged and ready to be used, so Richtofen could finally carry out his plan to get rid of Samantha and Maxis. Yeah, hey, bro, this is Griffin Station. We have an update. Oh! Have you made any progress? Moon gameplay. Yes, the machine is ready and awaiting the conduit. <laughs> Very good. I will proceed with Operation Shield. We'll join you shortly. Security Protocol 935. Oh, they're the saying the quotes, boys. Do not touch anything. Teleportation tests Isn't continued as usual token? with Richtofen and Maxis, unbeknownst that Richtofen had already figured everything out. Quote? Initiating test number like three. That. Subject is within the test chamber. Activate power. <laughs> We're talking about their calm. Oh, Look at this. Oh my god. Jesus. Did you hold yourself and clean that up? Test number three. Unsuccessful. Test subject has been reduced to the same state as previous subjects. Clean up the test chamber and recalibrate the system. Let's do it again. Yes, Doctor. Yes, Doctor. I mean, chat, there's a lot of quotes, but like the actual information you take out of this is very little. That's why I'm just like, bruh. Because it's like, dude, look at how long these quotes are, but it's like mainly they just fought in the absence of amongst themselves. You know? I fear, Richtofen, irrationality may soon prove a liability to our endeavors. For test number five, Maxis actually used Fluffy, the dog he gifted to Samantha, though Fluffy would disappear into the ether. Imagine and disappearing down, into the ether. Boys. Was running around I the mean, boys, that's literally me, dude. It's tied down now, Dr. Maxis. <laughs> Initiating Whoa. test number five. Subject is within the test chamber. Why would you Activate do power. This, you <laughs> Searching for vitals. No reading, Doctor. Searching the subject for vitals, what, eh? Dr. Maxis, we've done it! Don't be foolish! Wow. Test boy. number five is unsuccessful. Subject has vanished, yes, but has not reappeared at the mainframe. Recalibrate the damn system! Now! Test number six is Already where Richtofen enacts his coup to finally get I've, rid of Samantha and Maxis. Initiating test number like, we're six. still in Doris. Subject is within test chamber. Activate power. This is how, this is how crazy influential Doris is for the story. Damn it, Edward! Did you set up the device correctly? Yes, Doctor. Oh, Let's build your specifications. You had done it to my specifications and it would have worked, wouldn't it? As usual, your incompetence has... What? Do you hear that, Doctor? Quiet, you fool! Test number six is a failure. But the experiment has caused some kind of electrical force to energize within the chamber. Well, open the door! Doctor, I don't think... Open the door! Now! Split the video in half and watch it over there. What are you doing this for? I mean, chat, I might as well just finish it in one Edward, stream. Get her out of here. Yes, I'm just going to watch all of this. Damn! What's wrong with her? Man, what's up, bitch? Liam Seidel? What is Liam Seidel? Liam Seidel for reference. <laughs> this is grim gameplay, chat. It's not Rossi anymore. We must get out of here. I mean, dude, why is he such a donkey, man? Airport, open this door now! I'm scared. Could you imagine being such a donkey? Goodbye. Dr. Maxis. Damn. <laughs> Fluffy re-emerged from the teleporter, though not as the dog she once was. It was changed into a hellish oh, beast. This is what would go on to be known as the Hellhound. Maxis and Samantha were trapped in the test chamber and teleported. Richtofen had no intention of teleporting them anywhere specific. It seems that he had actually just intended for fate to decide, or perhaps he was hoping that the teleportation would simply kill them outright. But that's Before not what happened. One Samantha was teleported to the moon, where she encountered Groff and Schuster. Scared and frightened, she fled for her life, where she accidentally ran into the MPD, where she was sucked Bruh. inside. Could you imagine getting sucked into a pyramid, boys? Anybody like sucking? Don't talk to the MPD, bro. 
Kill them, give you a good job, bro. The live ones we've sent back to Christopher Poston. Excellent. There's nothing left but to wait for Dr. Richtofen's return. Perhaps this is Chat, a good time is this to video going to be my zombie top five yes. fails, boys? Sucked in a pyramid, can be me. Oh, this is moon gameplay. Can you repeat? She's coming right, Polder. She's coming. Get back here. Get back here, I Call of Duty. Maxis was teleported to a location oh, simply known as the crazy, crazy place. It is a place. difficult location we're to describe, to but the in the simplest of terms, timeline. it is a gateway to get to Agartha. Many have searched for gateway it or something like Agartha. it to get to Agartha, but this is unequivocally where one can do it. It seems to exist outside of time and space, similar to Agartha itself. This is relevant because while stuck here, Maxis develops the power to merge with electricity. As Could for Fluffy, it is unknown where she was teleported. Seeing Samantha entering the MPD as imagine? a potential issue, Richtofen was informed of this development. He figured if Samantha lived, then Maxis would also have to as well, and he I must mean, be somewhere shit. in the world. While Richtofen has proven to dislike Maxis, if anyone could be capable of coaxing Samantha out of the MPD, it would be her father. How did she end up there? No matter. I know what must be done. In the meantime, see if you can find Dr. Maxis. Chat, this is the thing, it's like, how do they, how do these people, how has this fucking war been made? Who came up with all this shit, chat? I gotta talk to my dad about this, bro. Literally, no one has finished this whole video, world's first for life. Boys, let's go, Maxis is successfully located and brought to the moon, but things don't play out as they were hoping. It's Zelensky. I mean, that man is insane, so. Seven hours of Call of Duty. Where's that rat, Edward? Where's that fucking rat, man? Greetings, Dr. Maxis. Schuster, I should have known. Where is that rat, Edward? Where's Where the fucking you? rat, and how did man? you get me out of that wretched tunnel that is important right now? Allow me to fill you in. Man, why is he being a Call of Duty gamer? Daddy is here. Come, dear. Please, open the machine. Daddy will not let them hurt you anymore. Honey, Daddy knows he's made some mistakes. I am truly sorry that you were put through so much. When your mother died, I could not bear the thought of losing you, too. That's why Damn. I kept you so close. I did not mean to neglect you. I mean, why are you spitting bullshit, dude? I just wanted bullshit, to know you were safe from harm. He's just spitting Call of Duty bullshit, dude. This guy's playing Nuketown. I love you, Samantha. What the fuck, man? I love you, too, Daddy. Can you do something for me? Bro, something what a very important. Yes. Kill them. Oh. Maxis shoots himself. <laughs> that <We> laugh. <laughs> Maxis committed suicide in front of Samantha Yo. to further push her down the path of revenge. Let's the Dark go. Ether does what it does best: corrupt. A Let's mere shock go. was enough for Rick Toffin to hear voices of the Apothecons and drive die. him to insanity and obsession. But now Samantha was drowning in it. As such, you can imagine how the Dark Aether corrupted her like no one had ever seen. As the zombies were born of Element 115 and the MPD created to control the Aether, Samantha could now control them. And so she unleashed sure hordes of the undead spin. against whoever she could, almost exclusively targeting Group 935, however. As for Maxis, he did not truly die. With his newly formed power to merge with electricity, upon death he merged with Griffin Station Chad, that's the and its technology. Shit. I can watch From here, all, all hell breaks loose. Doris and Shinonuma are two of the first voice. locations to fall that's victim to Samantha's attacks. Dr. Porter was at the Doris facility when it happened. He is the one who activates the alarm signaling to the other scientists to kill themselves or escape. He personally takes the option to kill Walk himself. But I'm all out of hope. Damn. I'll to say, my friend. He's out of hope, boys. He Fs himself in Doris. Chat, we're still in Doris, by the way. Still in Doris. Warning, the shield is now active. 
I can't find my pills. They are coming. I must do what I must do. God, fuck us all. Seeing no other option and faced with an endless undead race. horde, Richtofen needed capable soldiers by his side to and assist him go. in taking down and usurping power from Samantha. So yes, he returned sir. to the Doris facility and, and reawakened his old test subjects, Dempsey, Nikolai, Takio, and Nikolai. Duty, Takio, Fortunately for him, the three had no memory of who the they really were, Harris. or more importantly, who Richtofen was. It didn't take much convincing to get them to side with him, as the undead were an easy enemy to rally them together. And from this, this point is forward, where Black this group Ops would be known begins, as please. Ultimus. To take control Ultimus from Samantha, Call what Richtofen needed was his diary. The extensive it's research the, 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 of 115 the, 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 he had documented, the Agarthan technology he'd uncovered, everything the voices told him, it was quite difficult for the mind to contain all of this information, and thus he documented it in his diary. However, there was this one slight insane. problem. The diary was currently Absolutely at the Shino Nuna facility. Considering Richtofen has never been there before, it is likely that his diary was taken when the Elemental Shard was transferred, and he was restationed back at Doris. It is also important to note that Peter okay, McCain, well, who had escaped the Varuk facility all that time ago, was given back. orders to rendezvous with the OSS at the Rising Sun facility. He parachuted Rising over the Rising Sun facility, however, died shortly Anybody after. Love the, the Ultimus Sun? crew arrive and retrieve Richtofen's diary with minimal they interference. <laughs> I mean, that's the Easter egg of Shino Numa. From here, Richtofen formulates his plan on how he intends to defeat Samantha. What he needs is the Vril device, the Golden Rod, and the Focusing Stone I he encountered in shang Chat, When combined, they can be inserted into the MPD and swap the souls yes, of sir. any two individuals. Yes, this is how Richtofen intended on seizing power from Samantha. It is unknown why he doesn't directly begin oh, seeking oh, out the Focusing oh, Stone oh, and Vril oh, device oh. immediately, because the group returned to Doris with the intention of teleporting to the moon and confronting Samantha before any artifacts had been acquired. This does not go Watch as planned, however. One of the characters the accidentally record. overcharged I mean, the teleporter with a Wunderwaffe, which wound up sending them through time itself. Ultimus Damn, went from 1945 to 1963 oh, to the Kino facility in Berlin. This teleportation also caused Richtofen to accidentally man. drop his diary, leaving it at the Doris facility. Oh. While in the future, Samantha, who had gone fairly dormant in the years of their disappearance, relaunches an attack at the facility attempting to kill Ultimus. The group had largely nothing to do here whatsoever, and so simply searched for a means of escape. They found one in the form the of a lunar of lander, Kino which Return, flies them to their next man. facility. But before we get there, Considering this is the future, a lot of events happened in the time frame that Ultimus no, skipped. Wait, First what? and foremost, considering Richtofen's plan involved the downfall of Group 935, that is precisely what happened. The organization fell, but his plan in allying the Soviets and I Americans mean, carried on that. flawlessly. From here, the story branches off into two separate endeavors, what the Americans were testing and, and what the, the Soviets Russians were testing. Were doing, By this yes, point, World War II had come to an Rus! end, and we were entering into the Cold War and the space race. Yo! Only for the sake of the story, the That's reason the, the Americans and Soviets were so eager to make it to space was because they both knew the MPD and the research from they Griffin knew Station the MPD was there. Was their voice. Got there first, That's why they went to space for in their the country. 50s voice. On the History Soviet side of Group 935's research was Harvey Yina, the yes, American sir, spy. Was... After Group 935's disbandment, History he had the option to either return to the US or continue further research into Element 115. He saw this to be the perfect opportunity to continue assisting America while not being with them. America! It was clear that they were getting their own portion of Group yeah, 935 scientists, so he decided to go with I the mean, Soviets and the double MPD, their right? research. He hired two scientists to help him, Anton Gersh and Ooh. Yuri Zavoisky. And together, they made the Ascension Mr. Group. Yuri. There were many projects going on in Ascension at the time, many of which involved getting to the moon. There was getting the standard the rocket moon, testing, wow. along with attempts of teleportation. This was also further pushed thanks to the Soviets obtaining Richtofen's diary from Doris, which he dropped when they teleported through Doris! time. The Soviets saw decent progress with teleportation, but not enough to actually make it to the moon. This is where we need to branch off slightly and return to a previous character from the timeline, as they oh, become quite relevant no, right Dad. now. And that is Pablo oh, Marinus, the Mexican test subject from Richtofen's experiments at the Siberian facility. Richtofen initially deemed him dead after removing his spleen, which ironically Harvey Yina had a hand in. 
But what truly Could happened is that while yes, he did appear dead at the time, due to the 115 injections, he actually woke up long after the war already ended and Group 935 was disbanded. He woke up at the Siberian yeah. facility to the hordes of zombies left behind. In Tog. Could you imagine waking up in Tog or Toten? I still don't know. That would how literally possible. suck. Late last year, I awoke from a watery grave. When I swam to the surface, I found the German military that was, that was base abandoned. Chat, I would Only not take that. Imagine dying, waking shores. up, and you're in a togged or toad. I attempted to flee, but, but the fog. That's rough. It seemed no sooner that the shore faded behind rough me, scenes. it reappeared in front of me. Every attempt I made to escape, it, it led me right back here. As if I was meant, if to, I was be meant to be here, Call of Duty. I have begun broadcasting a radio signal. I'm hoping that someone will answer and come to my rescue. Ain't no nobody comes, answering him, chat. I'm not Sad. sure how much longer it's I would survive for this place. Moment. The experiments done on Pablo gave him visions of past and future. It opened his mind to other dimensions. In these visions, he saw himself fighting in the Great War that happened close to the beginning of the timeline, oh, when humanity and there. the Keepers banded together to fight Shad, the Apothecons. He saw, the other he saw this and believed it to be his destiny. Sad. Day 3,600. Day 3,000? Oh my Last night, gosh. I had a dream. A dream I have what not had in many fuck? years. Like the ones I used to have at the Eisenbahn. Hey, well, thank you so much, Plasma. I love that. Bro. I dreamed I, I was in medieval bro. times. During a great war, a war to end all wars. In this dream, I'm attacked by one of the great beasts. It holds me within its grasp, about to end my life. The fuck? But I'm man? saved. Spared by a man in cloth. Not Jesus? a Jesus? Someone more powerful. Jesus? He wields a staff of fire. Jesus? I see four heroes stand at the top of a mound. Damn. The four raise their Boy, staffs. Boy, that notice. Jesus was in called the zombies. Suddenly, the knights know the war is not lost. I rejoin the fight. Fight alongside my king. For years, I had dreamed of this war. I wonder. Jesus real took Perhaps the, the deal, Germans' man. experiments right, warped my brain. My sense of space and time. He thought I died. Power Christ, give me double tap. Power Christ, give me the pack punch for seeing Gemini Brown, baby. I have been here -hee -hee. ten years. He's been here no ten years. No one has responded years? to my radio message. What? Could you imagine? Is there no one out there? Damn. Am I, am I even on Earth? You don't even know. Or am time. I caught somewhere in between? Could you imagine? Every time I try to escape, my raft always brings me back. The best zombies map that of all time. Literally a nightmare. This place is Kino Dirt Toten Black Ops. Prison. But is it a prison? Oh. Perhaps it is more like a waiting room, a purgatory of sorts. He's in Mob of the Dead the dreams game. Are much more. Perhaps they are visions oh. of what is to come. And perhaps, perhaps it is here I must wait, I must wait for, for what is to come. come. They will come. They Monka will Dungeons. come for me. While trapped at the Siberian facility, he came across the notes Yo. left behind about how to construct the Agarthan device, the artifact that can grant any desire and believed this to be his way of getting to the Great War. He put out radio message after radio message to no response, until one day it was picked up by the Ascension group. He told them about the Agarthan what? device and that he could construct it for them. Harvey Yina, having heard Richtofen's no ramblings about way. the same device, was still on the fence about its existence. But with Gersh pushing for its potential for infinite uses to help them, convinces him to give it a shot. What Pablo needed was the only piece missing which no one had, and that was the blood of an ancient apothecary. Chad, From got his the visions blood of, of the Great War, he knew what where a shot? corpse could be found I don't via know the coordinates. Where I find it. Everyone agreed to the terms. I gotta go to you the have verified the authenticity of this transmission, yes? Yes, I do. A recon unit traveled to the old facility. Yeah, I'm gonna need some Apparently, of the uh, survivor has been living there since the end of the war. Since the end of the war? Thirteen years? How since can this be the true? End of the war, and how did bro. we not know about this? Unfortunately, your guess is as good as mine. I mean, and this shit, proposal, you know. this uh, uh, Garthen device, what do you make of this? Personally, I mean, it sounds it too good to be true. Sounds like a piece but of donkey. This isn't the first I've heard of it. Sounds Dr. too Rick good to be true. Mentioned Call it as well. Be like Just think, Harvey. A device capable of granting that which any man desires. I simply think it and bang. It is reality. Chat, watch. I'm going to watch this whole video. The motherfuckers are going to be like, but you didn't read the Cold War Intel. The potential. That's going to be the next thing. certainly infinite. Everyone's going to be like, but you didn't read the Cold War Intel. He says he will construct device, but first he needs... He needs us to find something. He says we must bring in the blood of an ancient creature. What just happened, bro? He gave us the coordinates. 
It's at the bottom of the ocean. What? Recovery will not be cheap. Well, you do not need the creature. Only it's blood. I mean, shit, you'd be spitting, but what worry. the fuck? I don't remember any of the chat. One in the chat, if you don't remember any of the shit. I do not know world. about I half understand. this fucking shit. And there was one more thing. He warned us Why is this shit not in the gameplay, dude? When exposed to the elements for you read the extended comics? amounts of I, time, I watch becomes videos bottled on them. and unstable. He warned us the blood is alive. What? Let us worry about collecting it first. We will decide the next move after this, Dr. Hina. Of course, Dr. Gersh. The trip was a success. The Apothecon blood was retrieved. Wait, really? However, that Gersh did not want to hand it over. He instead wished to experiment with it what due to its fuck? special nature. I trust your trip was a success. Like so they legit went to the bottom of the ocean. They played there. Leviathan. Creature was and they got the blood of the Apothecon. In size. I mean, yeah. Was otherworldly. A remnant of a Where's different the age. CIA? Where's oh, government? Where's Call of Duty? It was at the coordinates provided. Yes. 43 North, 180 East. The blood has a fluidity to it that I find fascinating. Fluidity. We would have investigated further, but we intercepted a transmission that the Americans were in the area. Oh, monkey. Somehow man. they'd been informed about the creature's location. Could nah, you imagine? These damn leaks. They will be these our damn own. leaks, it boys. Every step these we damn take, Twitter the leaks. Follow suit. Mark my words. Fucking there is a mole in the section, man. Harvey. We must strike it out before it destroys us. Get a team together. People we trust. If we are to study the blood, we must make sure the Americans do not find out. To study it? Phantom, I think we should follow the plan and deliver the blood to the Siberian facility. Bring it to yeah. Call the Dead, we Gamer! Cannot. We got this homies at the Call Americans. the Dead facility. We cannot facility. let them get the advantage. This blood is our only leverage. It's our only leverage, After the bro. war in Group 935 disbanded, you came to us. You came to me. You saw a better vision for the future here than what your America was offering. We created ascension on the principle of being better men. Of making this world a better place. If this blood is key to unlocking the future, we would be fools to not take this opportunity. I mean, shit. He was Perhaps sick, you are right. Gosh. At the very but least. That's why you it. died, fam. What's the harm in that? The blood would go on to be used in a number of different experiments. In, First in and foremost was it was used on primates. The blood was injected into them in hopes of making them able to survive space flight. Further analysis also Man, uncovered the negative no. space the blood inhabits. In simple terms, the blood functions like a black hole of sorts. How are the experiments what? coming, Dr. Rina? What fascinating, you say Anton. Truly fascinating. Black hole blood? The blood. It's not so much fluid as it is very much alive. It moves. It changes shape at will. Reacts to our touch. Alive. The monkey dead voice. F's in the chat for the monkey. I'm not sure. I, I, I wish monkeys perhaps could... the creature itself was what more happened to of a and monkeys? And that its blood is made up of a million different Let's organisms. Let's get me some big apothecary like a monkeys crew out of ship. The creature died, but the organisms inside survived, trapped at the bottom of the ocean. Is it sentient? Trapped? Yeah, how is it able to move? The blood uses negative space, which exists between the molecules. This negative space provides an influx of energy, which we believe fuels the blood, giving it the ability to move. Like, chat, why are they gotta make it so in-depth? They're or explaining the science Absolutely. behind fiction. The blood gives them rejuvenation abilities, Could you imagine? making them more powerful, stronger. If a monkey is on the brink of death, and given an injection, it makes a full recovery in a matter of minutes. Monkey. The only trade-off is they become more angry, hostile, even violent in some cases. Is this so a they problem? Become Call of Duty it's zombies, manageable. Man. But I'm confident monkeys given an injection of this blood will survive spaceflight. Wonderful news. I think we can move on to the next phase of the program. We should prepare a serum for mass production. Why do motherfuckers want to leave the Earth, about chat? This, this is something I'm, I'm trying to figure out. We really don't Why know much about it. The best zombies map of all time. In this dimension. He knows there's a black ops another. We just want to be monkeys, man. Theorized it might even be a black hole of sorts. I just want to be a monkey, you've done to myself and our weapons team. Be sure Yuri's voice key is included in the brief. Of course, but I will remind you, we need to be careful. We've noticed the blood has been changing composition, as if reacting to all our probing and prodding. Reacting? How so? I'm not sure how I to mean, explain it. I mean, this whole quote is just like about the, the properties of Apothecan blood. Angry. Like, what the fuck? With the information acquired from researching the Apothecan blood, That's both Gersh and Yuri Zavoisky began working on Project Mercury, what would later be known Why as the so Gersh device. Death, the initial intention for this creation was to be used as a portable teleporter. However, That's it would dad, find its purpose boys. as a black hole. Mr. Gersh but just device. under one year of working on its creation, Gersh removes Yuri from the project after proving incapable of handling it. If you it, jumped in the Gersh device, the where thing, would you go? And he is transferred over to the rocket Where division. Where would you go? I would but go. 
I am no pleased way. to report that all projects are running smoothly again at the recent personnel changes. As I previously mentioned, Yuri Zavoisky is a brilliant scientist, but he has so far proven incapable of handling Project Mercury. Yuri! Or as you call it, you the fucking bastard, and lad! So, Get the fuck setbacks, bastard! I have sadly been forced to transfer Yuri to the 8K64-A experiment. Hey, 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 I decided uh, that your uh, uh, should take his place, and look forward to working with him directly. Yuri's incident with the Casimir mechanism leaves no oh, doubt in my mind that this the is the ascension. right decision. Okay, so boys, now we're moving into ascension. Ascension in five, call of duty gameplay. Unless it's so funny, he knows like two seconds this of his video. This obviously didn't sit well with Yuri, like and so he started to work on the Gersh device in his own time. We have actually left the release? Yeah, I think we're now in Ascension. Yeah, because this is where the storyline splits between the Russian side and the American side. So, this is, this is the Russian Ascension portion. And then we're gonna get five probably right after. This did not bode well for Yuri, as part of his new position, he was given Rick Hoffman's diary. When he saw While it may appear to be simple notes and logs from his past, it was also, in fact, corrupted America. by the Dark Aether. Similar to other five, prolonged exposure to Rick Hoffman's diary is enough to drive anyone America. insane and hear voices. Can you imagine, bro? Oh, what is their child under this space? Thank God they did not take the diary. The things I have learned about Element One. The best zombies have of all time. The things I've learned about Element One. The best zombies have of all time. His research into Project Mercury has stalled, but will he be transferred? I doubt it. I don't as know. Long as Project time. remains on track, his friends act. I must be small. Yuri slowly began to become much more hostile, hearing the voice of Samantha in his head. Four eyed looking to me. I assure you that our craft will be far superior to whatever the Americans, or should I say, Canadians, Canadians! are developing. Finally, Wait, the Canadians are in the COD Zombie storyline? My staff has assured me that their Yo! range and Let's power go! will be solved within the next few months. Canada oh, made no, it into you zombies, boys. Zavoisky does not appear to be adjusting to his new Let's position. Let's go, fam. He has been hostile towards the other scientists. At least more than usual, and has frequently been seen. He made it, boys. The, the Canadian transition gang must have been hard it. for him. But if he Let's does not go. learn his place soon, I may require another more competent scientist to replace him. Samantha was extremely interested in this Gersh device as it could be used as a rift so she could travel through. She corrupted Yuri completely and he began following her commands. She pushed him to finish creating the Gersh device, which he did. Could you imagine? That would fucking suck. I can't even lie. Imagine hearing Samantha Maxis. This is why I hate her. She's my least favorite character in all COD Zombies. When you play as her after doing the Moon Easter Egg, literally number one worst character. And she also it. instructed him to absorb it. Gersh into it. I get it, Call of Duty lover. So that's why he takes my ray gun, because he hella pissed, man. Imagine you have to listen to Samantha Maxis, though. I'd be hella pissed, too. Absolutely it, disgusting. But I can't take all the credit. If you will do me the honors. Have a fun, Kawajuke. Gersh was shoved into the device that? and stuck in a plane you between existence. F. Samantha also requested that Yuri enter the Gersh device as well, as she wished to send him Yuri somewhere. Just got but before voice. we get to that, we must first catch up with the Americans and what they were doing no, with their Group 935 research now, during this 16-year time period. After Group Wait, 935's disbandment, America the and the Soviet Union got right their now. split of the research. For the Americans, we follow the perspective of Major George Sawyer, who fulfills his it. side of the promise with Richthofen of hiring its scientists and evacuating their families. Major George Sawyer, personal Major law, George January Sawyer. 20th, 1946. Yes, sir, brother. After speaking with Major Staver this yes, morning, sir. I can confirm Operation Stapler has Operation been a resounding Stapler. success. Operation Stapler, yes, sir, While brother. Our officers met with the Soviet representatives to negotiate the fair split of Group 935's research. Our operatives quietly extracted 40 of its scientists and their families. Yes, sir, the America days, to coming in to Call of Duty right now. Taking five is Our knowledge, the Soviets have yet to realize what we've done. 
Since the discovery of the depository near Groom Lake in 37, our progress has been minimal. Our hope is that these scientists will provide us the edge yeah, we I would we love for one day for Treyarch to take the story all of this and would not have been possible without the help rather of rather than just Edward making Richter. quotes one in the chat if you when he reached out to us last august he really promised good. unfettered access to group 937 like in exchange for providing safe harbor for its scientists while we may not have secured all the research we did get the scientists the brain trust the science if we do ever locate dr rick i would like to shake his hand and thank him personally for the great wow. service he has provided Why, to the united states you dumbass? of the most dummy. important scientist recovered for the side of what the americans dummy. was dr schuster while he was dr. happy to continue Schist. the research he was working on i.e teleportation the work Ooh. the americans were more interested in was that of the undead while schuster was honest about what he experienced with the likes of samantha no one believed him this is dr schuster Personal log, June 27th, 1947. Cod Zombies, the animated series. I mean, people Sawyer have done it, but statement. nobody's done it perfectly, I think. Have you got an appointment at the Pentagon? Treyarch could do a perfect I'm assigned job. to their 115 division, Will they ever? which focuses on R&D of the element. While I am grateful for this opportunity, I mean, it's so I crazy that Treyarch has not. Element done 115 is a resource with potentially. You would think that this video would be made. Yet the way. only thing these scientists and the Pentagon seem concerned with are our undead experiments. I, mean, I made it clear to them that my own work with Group 935 was primarily focused on its teleportation technologies. Some if they wanted my help with that, shit. I would gladly oblige. But the idea of resuming undead experimentation horrified me. The I mean, room went shit, silent. Man. Clearly, they were not satisfied with my answer. Finally, Major Sawyer asked why. <sighs> I was blunt, perhaps too blunt, and told them what happened at Griffin Station. About Maxis's daughter, Samantha. About the MPD. Because about the undead there. outbreak. About... Everything. I get it. Call if we resumed dude. experimentation, there was no guarantee she wouldn't take control of them just as she had done the others. I More mean, chat, Cod no Zombies needs a TV show. As her father instructed not a movie. Her. I think that's I what told them all this. A and TV do you know what happened? Would be sick. They laugh. Schuster like was put in charge of the U.S.'s teleportation projects. Fire. He established one from the Pentagon to the Groom Lake facility in Nevada. But what they really wanted him to do was simply teleport to Griffin Station on the moon directly. Yes, Schuster sir. was hesitant to rush the process as he feared the accidental side effect of time travel. I'm just a little confused, Dr. Schuster. You've already successfully the established the best zombies the map of all time. Between the Pentagon and Groom Lake. Hey, hey, the Pentagon to Groom Lake is Lake child's play, Duty. a distance of 3,890 kilometers. What we're talking about now is a distance of 380,000 kilometers. But it can't what? be done. Of course, Colonel Sawyer, but I had two years to perfect the link to Groom Lake. The timetable you've given me to establish a link to the moon is far, more, far aggressive. more aggressive. Do I need to remind not. you what we're up against? Dr. Richthofen told us about Griffin Station back in 45. Back what in 1945. The, the Soviets achieved teleportation two years before we did. If they get to the moon first, they get to claim Griffin Station. Ooh, yes, yes. Chad, I this is why everybody was race. racing to but the moon. But need I remind you that because if this Griffin teleporter becomes operational, was there, even boys. a single mathematical error could lead to catastrophic results. Yes, it will take you to the moon. I have little worry over where it will take you. I mean, hell yeah. I worry about me. when. <laughs> what? Ooh. Time travel? Give me a break. Precisely. If the specifications are not exact, we could create temporal rifts with ripple effects that will undo the very fabric of space-time itself. I mean, how Simply could put, you do that? Simply put, don't rush. Science moves at its own pace. Don't <sighs> rush science, Chad. Just get it done, Doctor. You heard it here first, boys. You That's two five weeks head before we begin testing. Boys. Don't rush science. The zombie experiments would not cease, and don't rush Call Schuster, of Duty. alongside a new doctor, Dr. Lehman, don't continued where Maxis left off, trying to create docile zombies that could be controlled. Lehman actually figured out a way to accomplish this by turning Element 115 into a gas and giving it to an alive like test imagine. subject. You have made progress, Dr. Lehman. Yes. Dr. Um, Lehman. Yes, yes. As, as you know, our success with the undead experimentation has been limited. Oh, yes, yes, we've achieved the same benchmarks as Max's. But as with his trial, they refuse to obey orders. orders. That's right. That's we can't question. control them. We can't make them docile. But I believe docile. I've cracked it. I'm listening. Nah, you ain't cracking Okay, last shit, month, either. our man inside the Ascension Group sent us copies Wait, make of Dr. Richter Finn's diary. Now, I've been poring over it, following his research, and... That doesn't seem very docile uh, to what, me. Gamer? Just watch. Stand back, Dr. Schuster. Stand back, you, you fucking bastard. Safe. Walk. Incredible. It's completely subservient. How did you achieve this? Well, I vaporized element he 115, vaped brought it to a element 115? specimen, inhaled it, 
Whoa! They're vaping one one five. Had to be done while the specimen was. They're taking still hits of that well, fat element one one five, baby. What happens, man? Did you? That's what it's all the about. gonna die anyway. Um, doctor, are are you all right? Oh, my Damn, apologies. Damn, boys. If I'm anybody wants a hit of that 115, let me know, boys. It is also important you, to note Jack. that Harvey Yina, who is currently at Harvey the Ascension Yina. Group, copied Richthofen's diary and sent it to the US. Dr. Lehman was the one in charge of it. However, he's smoking somehow, that 115 pack. Similarly to I how the Dark Ether corrupted Yuri Zavoisky by reading the journal, it be too down. began to corrupt Dr. Lehman. No Samantha lie. then pushed him to create I'll an army of undead try. soldiers for obvious reasons. The pre workout 115. Docile and obeying commands. And it's activated oh, yeah. with living subjects. That's correct, Colonel. Completely subservient. And you achieved all this dude. with a chemical. This is what happens when you that hop and puff that one one five. Dr. successfully transformed element one one five into a chemical weapon. Right Do you know what this means, Dr. Layman? Chad, we're two hours in. Holy shit, we're almost a third of the way done. The potential of this Damn, gas could be. Okay. Um, we yes, zoomed. Yes, more importantly, we've gotten these creatures to I mean, shit, we're already at five. As Richtofen and Maxis would have wanted. But that's not even that far. Hell with them. That's only like a couple maps. If you release when you play in GTA, you end this cold probably war this week sometime. Dr. Schuster, when can we bring this to full we production? We zoom in. With some additional testing, six weeks. That's perfect. Hold on. Additional Andy. testing, not six weeks. Shut your mouth, layman, bitch ass. Nothing. We were talking about building Wait, he said you could end this cold war tomorrow. No that. cold war, you're it's too content. It's what I'm voice? supposed to do. It's what I've w. been ordered to do. What's gotten into you, Dr. Layman? What's gotten into me? We're not following her orders. She told me to do this. It's what we have to do, Damn. not waste our time with this bullshit. Could you Excuse imagine me, listening doctor. to Call of Duty? Do man? we have a problem? No, Colonel, no problem. Couldn't we'll get it done. Be sure you do. Shit, okay. Colonel Sawyer's What the devil has gotten into you? I'm sorry. I'm not sure what happened. Okay, okay. It's, it's, it's that damned diary. I mean, I shit, chat. If Rick Toffin reads a book, head. boys, number the one rule, in my writes a book, just Pull don't read together. it. Because you're going to be huffing and puffing that 115, boys. You don't want that shit, gamers. Dr. Schuster's leaving the room now. Don't worry. I still oh, hear you. Oh, no. Layman's fucked fools. off his head. It will be done. He's Meanwhile, we must return nobody. back to the perspective to of Cornelius Samantha. Purnell. Having been the one in charge of the spies sent to infiltrate Group 935, he too has become obsessed with the potential Element 115 holds. He wants okay. to do what they failed, and that's He's better the human condition. Voice. But he was having difficulties convincing his higher-ups, particularly Robert McNamara, to expand Robert! research into Element 115. This dream organization of his would be known as I'll Broken Arrow. You, this is Groom Lake Station Chief Cornelius Purnell. Personal log March 11th, 1970. 61. After being unable to get McElroy or Gates to see the light, I hope my meeting with McNamara would fare better. I mean, no shit, Cornelius, you turned up. For years now, DOD have run experiments with their 115 so division, but we're the ones you. with all the supply. Old diary. We have the Fort Knox of Element 115 right next to our nuclear testing site. If we combine resources and work together instead of simply bartering resources, Groom Lake could receive the funding to properly mine the materials and expand experimentation. Yes, sir, brother. But no. I Back fucking love Groom Lake. I tell Groom Lake to defense, tell me to tell Groom Lake. After being stationed with Schuster, who spoke of his encounters with Samantha on the moon, whom no one believed, oh, it was shit. only due to his mentioning of the Rising Sun facility where he ordered Peter McCain to rendezvous before he died, that Purnell decides to investigate Schuster's claims further. Dang. Personal law, February only 23rd, 1963. Only because of the American man, the construction Peter of the moon teleporter so ongoing, without Peter McCain, number of scientists from the Pentagon's 115 would division would not have, have been stationed on site here at Groom shot. Lake. Dr. Schuster, head of the operation, Why do they have to make to this story so right? complex? It's just because every map has such an in-depth timeline, but Samantha. it's not even that complex. She can control the it's just a bunch of extra I shit that Colonel doesn't Sawyer even necessarily matter. They had no mind. Apparently, everybody's been laughing off. Schuster's like you could summarize this entire now. paragraph in like but then, one image. Yesterday, Schuster says he has proof. He claims this Samantha like, you can, is responsible you can for several along the outbreaks timeline, over the but last it's 20 years. Not, a lot of what they say is off a bunch of names, and one of them was the Rising Sun facility. I lost a good man there. Peter I lost a good man, Peter McCain. I never got an explanation for it. Because chat, it's problem. it's impressive what that Blundell exactly what took he was looking all for. the bullshit Evidence from Bill One and Two and, and actually made it the world. into a coherent story. But more importantly, story. it was perfect fear to convince McNamara to, to fund Blundell. his Broken Arrow project. 
personal log. How much do you think will be in this video? Or die rise? I've spent like the last literally several months combing through less archives than 10 and seconds. conducting extensive research. And I can't believe what I'm about to say. But this is real. This, this is real. Creature, this entity, is America. This being possesses a very real and very dangerous Very power. real, very alpha, now, very omega threat to the Pentagon. If she were to choose to unleash fury, she could wipe us off the map. I mean, and shit, not just the United man. States, she could destroy she could everyone. destroy the but world. there is an opportunity here. To combat this threat, the Pentagon's going to need to significantly increase their 115 operation. Yes, sir. To yes, that, sir. They'll yes, need greater sir. access to our gold mine at Groom Lake. Yes, Project sir. Project Broken Arrow is the key to all of this. Two birds, one stone. Two birds, one stone, we'll brother. That's what it's all about. Alpha all Omega, baby. From my program. Drafting a report on the incident. I plan to present it to McNamara in the coming weeks. Purnell managed to convince McNamara to fund the Broken Arrow Project to oh, harness shit. Element 115 so they could fight back against Samantha's wrath. Washington's words have lingered with me these last few days. I mean, okay, gamer. To be prepared for war is one of the most effective means of preserving peace. I mean, that sucks so fucking Mankind has okay. always prepared for war because we face an enemy we know intimately. Just we know Our fellow man. Chat. In a way, who is we enemy? Are the only who is enemy mankind's we biggest enemy? Known. Chat. But now, it's not our fellow man. I sit here with the Groom Lake on. report in my hand, Let's and get I into this world contemplate world. an enemy beyond our comprehension. An man. entity with the powers of a god Taxes can manipulate time, space, and the very nature of other beings. The evidence is clear. A trail, trail of fucking carnage. October 21st, 1945. The Rising Sun we Research Facility. In this game October 28th, 1945. Group 935's Del Riza Facility. Del Riza. April 25th, 1956. The Himalayas. The Himalayas? I am no stranger to undead experimentation. Yeah, I can't believe I've gotten I've read all the way through the air field and asylum incident. I'm shocked. The undead. The video may is be very well made, though. I can't lie. Threat. Without I mean, it goes to show that mindless, there have been people that have watched this before me, so but the shout idea out to of a being that commands an undead army with seemingly unlimited resources that gives them marching orders to strike at any time I and know, any place. It sounds like a video game. Does it sound like that How could be real? How do you prepare for war with that? I mean, How do you up. protect America? How do you protect the planet? You can't. We gotta let America down, brother. From group we gotta say, pay Dr. your taxes Schuster, and shut your mouth. Claims to be familiar with the entity. He says her name is oh. Samantha. Boy, Samantha. This Samantha may be the greatest threat our nation has ever faced. <laughs> Certainly more than that. Why does that sound so funny? Cuba, Samantha's the greatest threat our nation has ever faced. Are just men. And my contacts oh, on the ground now confirm it. On October 28th, the entity Samantha. known as Samantha attacked the an abandoned known, here in Berlin. Entity boys, entity known as Samantha. In nine years. The entity. The location she chose is Could you imagine, boys? In 1940, the German high command repurposed it as a Group 935 facility. Samantha that never paid taxes. I know, that's why she got sent to Germany before the war, bro. That Samantha has targeted. Samantha Max's wake up, The Berlin incident has forced life. us to reevaluate the recent Pentagon outbreak. We had previously assumed it was a contained affair, but must now acknowledge the possibility that Samantha played a role. I mean, shit, I've made arrangements for the president and Castro to discuss shit, the Broken man. Arrow initiative. If Samantha poses as great a threat as it seems, we must put aside our differences. No nation alone. Chat, one of the chat, do you think I could take out formed. Samantha Max? Reach across with the, the Twitch chat? Metaphorical aisle. I think for sure. The meeting will be held out, here, at the Pentagon, in the It'd coming be very days. Very easy. Dick Very will be joining us. Whoa. For some reason. Sorry. Why Jack why Dick join us? Regretfully, I am forced Mr. to admit that Dick, Purnell was why you join perhaps us? correct. If we use the Broken Arrow Initiative to harness the power of this Element 115, we could build a better world and, and be prepared, prepared for war with, with Samantha. Samantha. I've, I've given, given Roebuck, Roebuck the coordinates of the Berlin incident for safety. Isn't keeping. Roebuck a character He'll in log them, I swear Along with all the it must be a different others. Character. Okay, Kona W just shoot. His plan worked, and Broken Arrow was greenlit. Personal law, September 3rd, 1963. The discussion with McNamara was a resounding success. Success. His plans for it are bigger than I ever thought possible. <laughs> the fools. It, it was so easy. 
All those hawks over there think about is war. I offered them a morsel, a nugget, and had the meeting out of the palm of my hand. <laughs> yeah, well, good riddance. They'll get their war, and I'll get my riches. Damn, okay, you want to destroy this Samantha? It's so narrow-minded. Why destroy her when we can take her power and harness it for ourselves? America! That's the most Mount American, American thing I've heard there. so Just far. Imagine what we in this can entire two hours. Mold the earth anew. That created in our image. A toast. Here's to Dr. Schuster for gifting me this opportunity. Yeah, Dr. The test Schuster. Site, I'll be sure to get him. I'm access. gonna bring it back to Kona, America, Roadbuck, World at War, some bitch to on a World at War, American pumpkin but much pie, like many others, Parnell had ulterior yeah. motives. He didn't want to simply stop Samantha. He wanted to take her power for himself, or I mean, for the sake up, of the United States. But part of Parnell's newfound insanity was thanks to Element 115 itself. Fucking bastard, Element he spent so much time here and in close proximity to it, that it just corrupted so, him like, as So like, tell me what does. you learned, boys? Okay, arrow, let me summarize everything, boys. Of call of Duty. When I joined the company, it was the Call of Duty I that saved the zombie teeth sword on, I sent men to their deaths. I was a handler. I mean, I First fucking for the OSS, I fucking nailed the CIA, it. CIA, oversaw ops, and I Boys, in, I can and tell and these are Alpha Omega quotes. I was a bow. They were my arrows. Damn, he was a bow, John they Banana, were my arrows. Peter McCain, tank Could you imagine just outright saying on, you're like on record on. that you were a piece of shit so like this? Lost. That just My sounds like the good. worst thing you could ever Job say. Well done. Pat's on the back for Purnell. So, Pat's on the back ladder, for Purnell. Station chief here. People really wake up and watch Cod Zombies Lord and Slash Chat. Chat, can I get an element chat for every single person in this stream? We store it in here. That's awesome. We stare. Let's get an element chat, boys. Chops are right lost. Let's just get an L in the chat for everyone in this stream. And then one day, it just clicked. It just Dude, fucking clicked. I can play transit all day. I Give me the Avogadro. I harness its power. I was tired of killing. I wanted to create technological marvels. Help humanity improve the human marvels, condition. Bro. And who you knows, the turbine maybe on bring transit. the dead back Shut to the life. Fuck up, bro. <laughs> I made the Air turbine on transit. Arrow. That's a huge element. The best zombies map of all time. Now, Pino Dotel Black Ops 1. Perfect. Okay. For now, Purnell would go off to his new facility, Boo. Camp Edward, otherwise known as Nuketown, Boo. to conduct his own experiments. Regardless, with that setup with the Soviet and Americans, we can That's finally return to the Ultimus characters, who last we saw were teleported from the future from 1945 to 1963. So now we're they back landed at the camp facility in Berlin, oh, where no, they were, we're attacked by Kino. Samantha. They okay, found an escape no, via Lunar Ultimus. Landers, which took them See, this to is the, the part now I feel like overrun most people Ascension know. facility. Samantha had turned all those corrupted by Element 115, and all the monkeys who were tested on with the Apotheon Monkey. blood got loose as well. Jack, Kino, we're done with Kino. Is because Richthofen's Kino diary is also four here. Seconds. Upon arrival, they are reached out by Gersh, who no longer exists in the physical realm, but I is mean, still able to communicate with Ultimus, asking for their assistance to free him, which they How do. Much There's not much else to it. They release him from his ethereal form, and he begins to travel through space space, time, and dimensions. The real object Ultimus got from their visit was Richthofen's diary again, so he knows what, what objects he donkey, needs to take control man. away from Samantha. The Vril device and the focusing Chad, stone. Just take While a the characters of his Gersh, diary. by doing so, Fuck they it. themselves were the also future, accidentally pulled and into the Gersh device and flung into the shit. future. The mid to late 2000s to be exact. They did wind up where Richthofen had wanted to go, the Siberian Ooh. facility where the Vril device was we're left, but they wound up trapped in a closet. Fortunately for this is what I hate about the COD Zombie storyline. I'm going to pause it and explain this. We just watched two hours and 20 minutes of lore. Do you want to know how much of that two hour, 20 minute of lore is actually in the COD Zombies gameplay? About three minutes. About three minutes. We've just gone through Kino Ascension and now Call of Duty in about three minutes. That is why I never paid attention to the lore of this game. Because it's literally not a part of the game them, there was a big movie being filmed at this location. George Romero had uncovered old documents left behind by Group 935 and their experiments to bring the dead back to life. Yeah, Years ago, I did research for a World War II movie. I came across some old Nazi documents. Hey, call the dead lore, boys. I'm sitting up now. Element 115. You need Never to pay attention, chat. Raising the dead. Real creepy stuff. 
We're completely gamers. The coolest thing? Some of that crazy shit happened right. Here. I mean, it's also so crazy that he recorded this. And so and he now decided he's to passed make a movie away. On kind site. of like he cast the Danny Trejo, well. Sarah Michelle Gellar, crazy, Michael Rooker, man. and Robert England as his actors. However, once could Ultimus you imagine arrived, telling George a Romero outbreak that this occurred. Is the George Romero was the turned into a zombie zombies. himself. But as for the four actors, Rick often convinces them feel. to help him He'd get like, the real device from the facility, which they do. The actors serve no greater role than this, so Rick often leaves them behind to die. The entire it cast and production the actors team disappear don't have without a trace. I mean, it's been yeah. six weeks since this shit is sad, man. Yes, all these map of all F's in the chat for the call of death. These motherfuckers get fucked, man. Crazy talk. They told me this is why you don't shoot in Siberia. They so, said, Agent on line one, Roger on line two, I needed to sort this quickly. I'd rather zombies come for me than an agent. That's it's real true. I don't need that. To venture off into a little bit of a side story, this led George Romero's assistant Sally to begin searching for him. She dug up research files Sally and documents is important, pertaining though. to the she, likes of the Ultimate I started going through his research, and good fucking lord, this is a confusing mess. So much shit about time travel, different dimensions. Honestly, I'm not even sure what you get into. You can make this stuff up. I mean, a you could. It's called a foul-mouthed American, a drunk Soviet, and a warrior Japanese soldier, all working together. Her journey inevitably I mean, led her to investigate Shangri-La, where Richtofen had accidentally Sally. teleported all those years ago, in search of answers from two past explorers named Brock and Gary. Uh, so chat, we're already at Shang now. About and we're talking about Brock and Gary. Gary. Yeah, yeah, Brock Ops 1 is almost done now. Jimmy's like, really good. Is this a revelation? Yeah, because fucking Jimmy Zelensky was too stupid to talk about it. So Blundell had to fucking make sense of Shangri-La. Shang was the most confusing zombies map when it came out. It literally made no sense. I should be dead. In fact, I'm pretty sure I have died, but it just keeps going. Damn. These two are quite the oddity within the storyline, as not much is explained about them at all. They are both explorers, with Brock being the more knowledgeable one. He's become aware of Shout Agartha, or at least the tales of it, and seeks to prove its existence. That's all we know about them. Their travels led to Shangri-La, where they were placed Chat, in isn't a wild that temporal loop. Almost anything that has been said could potentially the heat be real. And humidity is just That's excruciating. Weird to According to the locals, the temple should be in this mountain range just up this These river. quotes were fire, Get man. We must be close. It's so much more us. interesting than everything else There's in my a structure opinion. Ahead. If this is truly a gateway to Agatha, my work will finally be validated. Uh, Brock, I don't think this place is abandoned. Don't be silly. This place has to be thousands of years old. I have found some unfinished carvings around the structures I can't make out. They do not look like... Wait, what is this? They opened my dad! Oh, they they the literally down? went eclipse mode, old mega mode. When you go eclipse mode for the Shangri La Easter eggs. What are those things? Zombies. We have to find another way. <laughs> zombies. How does he what know they're zombies? The must have been right. The, no, don't touch that. Wait, Damn. where the fuck? Take a look around and try to find a way out. I got nothing. We will I have to conserve our supplies. Dad. Take your shoes off and hand me your socks. Bro, could you imagine? Who the fuck are you? Why are you giving your socks to Brock? I have been trapped in the temple structure for days. Gary is dead. What? I can't see a way out of here. Gary I can still fucking hear the died? zombies outside. I fear this is my last recording, as the battery is about to die, and I will soon follow. Damn. One thing I can be certain of is that blood. Is they that would blood the of the dead is a fucking garbage die. map. Sometimes they would make more progress, but very no matter true. what, they were stuck in a time loop. I mean, Even when they made it all the way to the to end very of Richtofen's secret chamber and uncovered the focusing stone, they were traveled back to the moment they first stepped foot on the location. I am now entering the antechamber. I see some sort of altar, Whoa, and there is a rock suspended above it. I hear the it. Easter egg song, this Teddy Bear. wonderful. An inscription. Rick. Can you imagine seeing that? Gary, take an etching. The rock above the altar seems etching, to be bro. suspended in thin air. I'm going to remove it now. Rock's about to activate each of them. Just click it, bro. We've been in this jungle for days and haven't seen any sign of this hidden temple. I cannot give up. It has to be here. I can't shake this feeling like we're going in circles. We should get to higher ground and take a look. I mean, how can you not see a temple? There's a fucking big. 
He is in humility is just excruciating. According to the locals, the temple should be in this mountain range just up this river. I don't think so. I don't think he's Gary, there yet. do you hear that? We're, we're A waterfall. Shang we must be close. Hand me the binoculars. I love Shang, because Shang is like bed. such a this is break a in between the Russia-American war that they're talking about. Sally, so the reporter I, I from the College of Dead Future, travels to Shangri-La and suffers Wait, the exact really? fate as Brock and Gary. Really? She actually winds up this. getting stuck with the two on their infinite time loop. Really? I'll start setting up these traps. I do not remember that. out of them if I do say so myself. Wait, I hear something. Can't help but think you hold some kind of key clues. We should investigate Damn. the stick to for some clues. So Sally I mean, literally the ends up with Brock and Gary. I just don't know this. Ugh, finally. Sorry, the only thing more annoying than the undead are those two guys. <laughs> anyway, Damn, I've been trying to fuck? get some bars on myself for days, and I'm having no luck. Lamar. I swear, if I die a few more times, I may actually lose it. At least then I'll have those agents off my back. Could you imagine trying but to get But continuing on character to arrive at Shangri-La, oh we are God. finally back to our main Ultimus characters. After obtaining yeah. the real device from Call of the Dead, they were teleported to Shangri-La to obtain the Focusing Stone. Considering they the themselves story didn't is have really access cool to it, they had to use Brock and Gary's infinite time loop to their advantage. With they so led the two story through the traps one by one on until they were capable of getting so them to Richtofen's altar. Once the Focusing Stone was acquired, Richtofen now had the two pieces he needed to swap bodies with Samantha and take yes, control sir. of the Aether. Yes. But Sir. while in the process of teleporting to the moon, similar to the accident that occurred at Doris with the Wonderwaffe, Dempsey fires the shrink ray at an incoming zombie, which messes with the teleportation, <laughs> shooting them in an undesired trajectory. What a dumb they bounce off of the moon and accidentally wind up in Fast the one. Pentagon itself. Yeah, I remember seeing this, this for the first time at Dr. Layman, it was so the Nova cool. Six gas per I, this is still probably my she convinces favorite a now intro. insane Dr. Layman Even to release Element is... 115 gas to Whatever. the facility. They do not understand, right? They don't see what you are trying to accomplish. But I will show them. Do you want it weaponized? I will show them. The best zombies map of all does. time. Okay, he knows her tone black ops. Fucking crazy. They Can we know. cancel Layman in the chat, please? Cancel Doctor Layman, please. Doctor Layman, I was told you might be down here. I. Schuster's Dr. Layman, fucking crazy. What are you doing? I am doing what I have to do. You all must understand. That is the facility's air filtration system. If you release the gas. Oh, that yeah. you will all learn a hard lesson in how disobeying her wishes has consequences. Fuck you, Dr. Layman, you penis. Damn what it, where are the gas masks? What have you done? I'm oh, sorry. What a dummy. And I have to get her out of my head. So he just Goodbye. makes everybody into <laughs> zombies. He, he makes them some vape element 115. And then that's it. Is this your doing, Samantha? Are you there? What a dummy. Wow, Five is sad. While Dr. Schuster was capable of getting a gas five mask on, it is unknown whether he managed to survive, as he does sure. not make another appearance in the timeline after this I mean, event. Damn. She also had Yuri Zavoisky, who entered the Gersh device, exit here as well to yeah. unleash the undead test subjects. And this Shout is where the events of Classified take place. Ultimus oh, are forced so to fight their way layman. through the Pentagon during I its never zombie knew outbreak. That the characters are capable of surviving and actually find the teleporter Schuster established from here to Groom Lake, and they take it to almost safety. <laughs> Samantha is still hot on <laughs> their trail, moon. however, they uncover the other teleporter Dang. that was attempted to be created by Schuster to travel to the moon directly, which they take. But yes, just as gamer. Schuster feared, the unfinished teleportation technology sends the characters to the moon, but in the year 2025. Oh, Despite the jump into the future, is it is why. finally okay, the time so where Rick Coffin can enact his plan. Holy Through his shit. efforts, he opens the Aether Pyramid and uses so, the yeah, Vril device to, to transfer to souls spot. with Samantha. Rick Toffin takes control of the Aether Honestly, and zombies a lot of that inside Samantha's was body, nice. I didn't and Samantha understand is a lot now of stuck in Rick Toffin's old now body. I get it it now is here fully. when Maxis decides to step in. After merging with the technology of Griffin Station when he initially killed himself, he's been planning for a countermeasure against Rick Toffin in the event Holy that he shit. did get control. Two and a half hours just to get to Moon. That is fucking disgusting. He devised a that way to insane. sever the link that he had with the zombies, and so manages to convince Nikolai, Dempsey, and Takio to help him. Unbeknownst Holy to them, fuck. this plan affects that is involved Thank blowing up the world. And then, yeah, Black Ops 2 storyline is fucking like two seconds long. 
Because the BL2 Victus storyline is just so pointless, in my opinion. It's just to set up BL4. Before we can continue with the timeline, <laughs> there is obviously now a huge gap in history. Ultimus yes, teleported sir, from 1963 to 2025, a I period what of 62 in between years. There, brother. So, what developed within that time frame? Firstly, mere days, if that, after Ultimus's ventures through the Pentagon, JFK, McNamara, Castro, hey! and Nixon planned their meeting. The, five the events at the Pentagon with Ultimus would be seen as a cautionary yeah, occurrence. This is where Admittedly, the aesthetic of the disaster during their trip is played up for the gameplay, and not as severe as it would imply. As I'm Robert sure. McNamara had already planned, the four got together to meet to discuss what to do about Samantha as well as real life politics. Could you imagine? Well, Chad, that actually happened. The world. In Do the history of the world, JFK Change Gamer the talked about life. Samantha Max's wish. Those who look only to the past or the present are certain, certain to miss, to miss the, the future. future gamer. I said, I, I certain said to miss the future. I said, I'm certain to make oh, Samantha Max come after us. Prime Minister Castro, this missile crisis was the last straw. We almost blew ourselves up. Now we so invited you to have a in good five. He he ordered ordered black and why um, is he here? I don't he think. He lost. As I always say, forgive your enemies. The best zombies map of all. Kind of. Now, gentlemen, he knows their tone. Kind of. I like to think yes and the long no. history of the world that there are only a few generations. They aren't really two Sounds different like maps, like in. Blood of the Dead and Bob. Sit down. I would say I would say that parts of oh certain God. aspects happen. It appears the Pentagon has been breached. Zombies. Gentlemen, at times like these, our capacity to retaliate must be and has to be massive to deter They're just all playing forms the of whole aggression. five cutscene for some reason. I don't know. Gentlemen, lock and load. Lock and fucking loud. Well. We're about to play Call of Duty. Last words, Mr. President. Yes, Jack. Any superlative words. I'll never understand why the first gun JFK Gamer grabs lives, is the China lady. Like chat, what round did the president of the United States last? Till? Considering their hand you in being the just China like Luke Luke Five, Samantha launched yet another you attack. Made it to round on four, four. Fam. This time, Samantha had Yuri play a direct hand in terrorizing the Pentagon, and he would be nicknamed the, best the Pentagon map of all time. Thief. Much of the storyline that happens here actually isn't too relevant. In this timeline, the four survive. And I really do, do like that the community gave a lot but of the names. Importantly, to capture a lot of the Yuri and detain him I really to be questioned. Like that. Considering his connection cool. to the whole zombie outbreak, he is sent to Camp Edward for it is their Element 115 Mayo, research yeah, facility. But in the meantime, here. before we get to that, Purnell had been doing some experimenting himself, particularly with the Elemental Shard. The last time we saw the Elemental Shard was oh. when Richtof and bound his and the rest of Ultimus' soul to it, so really, and it was later taken it? away from him when. When he was transferred back to Doris. It was taken to the Division 9 facility where they could study it, but after the downfall of Group 935, Division the Americans nine, obtained brother. it and put it into storage. Purnell secretly took it out of storage and had been using it. Particularly a new character, Dr. Hale, was the one in charge of Dr. the shard. Hale? She has a particular I've romantic fondness and love for Purnell. She really? used the elemental Yikes. shard to power ADAM units. Oh, she's they were the all-purpose robots mega, who served no, more or less capable of any Lord. general task. But no. due to the shard being powered by souls, when the ADAM units were powered by the shard, they too felt like they became alive, and she wanted to further experiment with this. Wait, so but wait Purnell a second. Decided to take so over Alpha Omega is a result of Primus or Ultimus being locked into the fucking crystal. So I have to break, blame the original four characters for Alpha Omega. That's grim. Chat. This hypothesis for That's himself. Grim. The electrical output is Absolutely unlike disgusting. anything we've seen before, Director. Purdue. I'm upset. Come now, Doctor Hale. This is Element One One Five we're talking about here. This is Element One One Five. You ever take a hit of this shit, brother? That's what I too. But the elemental shard, it's different. The levels of concentrated energy it contains, well, simply put, our team has I mean, been unable it's to measure. Fucking human life. It's unlike any Element 115 sample we've studied before. Hell yeah, Whenever yeah. we drain energy from it, that that energy is replaced, as if it's recharging. It's got a bad ability. I think it's what Maxis was looking for all those years ago. I think, I think it's, it's the, the Genesis, Genesis code. code. They put this That's one in the Bible. I know how it sounds, but look at the ADAMs. When Look you at the charged them with regular brother. element 115, it gave them power. But when they were charged by the shard, they feel and act different. They feel they alive. They feel uh, alive. Dr. Maxis me. spent years reanimating the dead. I mean, he's not. Hell, the Germans made that group 935's primary purpose during, during the war. During the war. But according to his own research, that was the ceiling. No, it fucking wasn't, you donkey. He could restore the body. Wow, the coming mind, from the guy soul. that literally transformed into an electric but piece of garbage. If you'll let me run some tests, I believe... I don't think lab rats are going to cut it here. I may have a candidate you can use. 
I'll let you know. Wow, what a deliver. penis. Why did she if like If what him? Hale what had said penis. was true, then he had his own test subject he wanted what to bring penis, back to life. Man. He had Paxton Ridge, the only survivor from Dempsey's extraction team, venture to the Rising Sun facility Wait, really? and retrieve Peter McCain's body. Wait, it really? was here they tried to use the shard to revive him. This is Broken Arrow really? Operations Director. I don't remember this shit. Accompanied by they Dr. actually Hale. tried to revive June 1st, Peter 1964, McCain and Alpha Omega? Alpha Omega? Alpha Omega wall intel? I mean, it's Dr. sad Dale because I remember how excited Milo Confirming was for this when Jim came to the map out. And it sucks that they just put it in fucking Alpha Omega. Beginning now. L's in the chat for Alpha Omega, please. Yet again, showing why it's such a shit map. This is why McCain is in Alpha Omega. Dang. Yeah, I totally didn't get I'm that. Sorry, that I know, I like, zero him. about Alpha Omega. Director. Director! Directire! Assessing vitals. First glance, everything looks good. I'll need some time to run a few tests. But I think... I think we've I'll done it. I'll take all the time oh, you, all the time need, you need, doctor. doctor. If we've done it, I mean, if we've truly restored life to the deceased, we'd better be damn sure we're right. Let's keep him quarantined for now. Wait, I don't even remember what happened to this. We what fucking happened? Sure he is what happened to fucking was. Peter Coughlin? What dude? was his name, Director? Peter. His name was Peter McCain. Peter. I'll send you his file. Peter Griffin. And Doctor? <laughs> yes, sir. Not a word of this to anyone outside the company. What not the, the CIA, fuck? not the DOD. Not Broken the DOD, CDC, PD. Peter McCain was successfully brought back to life. Hell While yeah, he initially yeah. had side effects such as visions could of a Could you imagine dying and... Wait, out. no, no. Could the... you imagine dying and being revived in Alpha Omega? There's no worse face than that, chat. Department of Defense also wanted That's to use grim. the elemental shard for different Broken Arrow experiments Whoa. elsewhere, and so confiscated it from Purnell. That's Though not wanting to part with the item, he instead broke Jeez. the shard into two halves, keeping one for that? himself. Thinking the DoD was turning against him, he Imagine had Peter breaking McCain the swear shard and to you're him literally and breaking two people over apart the U.S. Doctor Hale says you're making big improvements every Step day. Step back to yes, reality, sir. and it's you might say I'm beginning to feel like the old me. Absolutely. That chat, remarkable. that is literally got to be the How worst far thing you've come ever. These last few months can't be understood. I'm telling you, chat. If I die I'll and I wake walk. up in Alpha Still Omega, I'm, I'm hitting all that four. Eyes, I'm hitting all that four again, bro. Reese, the asylum, There's no way I'm doing it again. But then it's gone. And the nightmares? The nightmares, sir. No, sir. Well, Doctor Hale mentioned something about strange dreams. Giant monsters. Medieval France. France? You mean the DLC so format? Outstanding news. So, what's next, Peter? What are your plans once your recovery is completed? Sir? Well, Dr. Hale mentioned your interest in staying on at Broken Arrow. Broken, Broken Arrow. Arrow brought me back from beyond the veil, sir. I can think of no greater honor than repaying the organization for oh, what they've done. Why are you me, talking Peter? like the that, Peter? You're an Alpha ours. Omega. Be a little These bit more upset. Times. I need good men like you in my circle. DOD's claws are deep into our organization. Foodie. Could you literally imagine? I've not confirmed it, but I suspect we ever do a subathon when I do Rev 255. Last month, out of the blue, they forced me to give up the elemental shard, as if they knew what we were up to. Sorry to hear that, sir. Oh, that's all right. DOD don't know it, but I managed to break the shard in two. Kept half so we can continue our work. We need to stay on our toes. We need to stay on our toes. I need people I can trust. You're welcome to join the organization, but it'll mean swearing loyalty to Broken Arrow before the United States. Company over country. Lex, what do you actually like about Alpha Omega? Um, that the rabbit hunter that, is sir. very easy. As we established earlier, Purnell it. had become corrupted by the Dark Aether by frequently being in the presence of Element 115. I mean, he began to hear like the voices that. of corruption and he was influenced it's to find It's funny how so many people fall ether. in that same fate in the story. Be Just being There's exposed to, be to that 115. Chat, weed kills, boys. You hear it first, boys. F's in the chat for everyone that's been killed by weed. The only way to temper them is liquid courage. This is what happens when you're close to being night it's too worse. We kill it's them. lonely here. It's so quiet in the middle of the desert. I hear them seeping through the dry cracks of dead dirt. Well, they ain't, they ain't, they ain't they want the me dirt. to find a way through. The gateway. I found a schematic in Dr. Richthofen's journey. He, he made a plan, a, a backup plan, to build a device, a, a fast a lane. Fast lane. We, we were tried to build it, but build we device. didn't have the necessary components. They, well, they just don't exist. What map am I planning to do in the next round 100? I think I'm going to retry dream. 9. In it, I'm able to and it's wild chat because the none of this the includes theory. the chaos storyline because it's they almost out of the, the only way. That's the other thing. No chaos, I need to investigate no this further. 
The device Purnell refers to is the MPD. Apparently, Richthofen had formed schematics on a method to build one of his own. Oh yeah, I forgot of about that. They made the MPD Samantha, again in obviously Alpha never got around to building it as he didn't need to. The Alpha Americans Omega, Omega. did, though. They crafted the APD, or the, the American APD. Pyramid device. American the stretches of the imagination, pyramid. it functions nearly identically American to the main pyramid, even in the way it requires souls to charge. Though the one thing it never seemed capable of was being able to tap into the ether itself. True. I'll admit I've had my concerns, Cornelius. But if what you say is true, MK Alpha could transform interrogation practices. Not just transform, Sawyer. Revolutionize. That's weird that it's never the to harness had the power of element one one five. We'll be able to interrogate subjects from within their own subconscious. We can access their thoughts, manipulate their emotions, rewrite their memories. We can That's procure any confession. Terrifying. Brigadier General, what I'm imagine if somebody had that power? control on a level MK Ultra could never dream of accomplishing. I mean, that's so. What's the whole? What am I missing? Providing power to the APD is proving well difficult. The best zombies map the of all time. based on Group 935's analysis of the MPD, Black Ops 1. which means its source of power is. If you're about to suggest what I think you are, the answer is no. It was the only way Rick Coffin's men were able to charge the Moon Pyramid device. I am not, and I repeat, not. Letting you kill soldiers to harvest their souls. Uh, we prefer the term life force, actually. Call it whatever the hell you want. We're not Group 935. We're not killing what people to power your pyramid. Find another way, Purnell, or I'm shutting this down. Fortunately for Purnell, he didn't actually need soldiers and live subjects to charge the APD. Similar to how Schuster accidentally killed a rat next to the MPD, an ADAM unit broke down near the pyramid, and thanks to the elemental shard having been powering it, its quote-unquote soul oh, went into the APD. Interesting. You had something for me, Dr. Hale? But yes, in sir. reality, it was just probably Takio, Nikolai, or gaming, dude. That's Wait, so me another weird. One. That's This morning strange. there was an incident with an ADAM. It short-circuited and broke down. We're not quite sure how or like, why. Like, chat, all I think of that lore about the elemental crystal is just to define this one point in Alpha Omega. That's fucking ridiculous. But next, man. we'll have your attention. That's Here you are, Dr. Hale. Ridiculous, Hello, how may I be of service? All the ADAM died so like right next to one of the life force fuel canisters. And? 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 Weiss? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am! Malfunction! Malfunction! Power failure! Watch what happens. Pow! Dr. Hale, I, I'm not sure how this is possible, but you may have just saved this project. As Purnell had expected, by charging the rig. APD, they could access the thoughts of those put in it, manipulate their emotions, and mind control them. It was the yeah. perfect device to be used as an interrogation instrument, I mean, it makes and this sense is where Yuri Zavoisky comes people. back into play. No. After being detained at the Pentagon and sent to Yikes, Camp Edward, he is interrogated this. by Purnell where he attempts Bruh. to extract information about Samantha and Agartha. Dude, that's fucking terrifying. Imagine having four interrogations and this is how you ended up looking like at the end. Me chat, yeah, this is a visual representation of every single game you play of Call of Duty Vanguard. This is the effects of Call of Duty Vanguard, boys. Be very careful. Call of Duty Vanguard kills, boys. The. I swear. I tell you what I know. We've only scratched the surface. The night of November 6, 1963, you gained access to the Pentagon. How? I do not know. I just appear. I do what she's saying. I just appear. Who is she? The girl. A little girl. She was in my head. In Yuri's head for so long. Bro, fucking Yuri had a bad Sly ending. Effect, ah. Damn. Why did she send you? Who was she targeting? I... I do not know. You lie. Ah! Oh my ah! gosh. F. Damn. Tell me who she was targeting. People. People who tried to stop her. She sent me to stop them. I obey. Try to stop them. I take weapon. Get out of my head. I can feel you! Bacardi! Not Man, until we're finished. In his brain, Did she dude. tell you about her next attack? Next attack? What is her next attack? What's she planning? She she said many, many things about past, present, Damn. future. Chat, it just Come. sucks. Like, I like all? this story. It just sucks that this is on Alpha Omega, man! This should have been on the final Great War map, not fucking Nuketown. All time is same. That is how she travels. She showed me. <laughs> what did she show you? What did she show you, Yuri? <laughs> she showed me moon. And she showed me this place. <laughs> Secret government facility. <laughs> Is she planning to attack here? Not for a long time. 50, maybe 60 years. There will be big boom. 
within she attack. Great War should have been Revelations. Shot, Great War should have been Rev or a different map. A new map or Revelations, chat. You decide. She tell me. I have no idea. be there too, for now. I know my name. Terminate the session. End it now. What else did she show you, Yuri? What else have you seen? I seen different worlds. Universes. You saw Mob of the Dead, chat. He's like, bro, Mob of the Dead better than Blood of the Dead. For sure, Meaningless. Because For sure. All paths will be taken. Different worlds. You think this place is the only place? <laughs> this is one of many. And in each, four, four men, men are trapped. Interesting. Are trapped. What do you mean, four men? Four men split four in two. Men split in two. Oh! Wait! Wait a second! Are you saying to me that Alpha Omega is the reason why there's a Primus and Ultimus? Because Purnell split the crystal? That is the lamest shit ever. I'm sorry, bro. That is so lame. What the fuck? Look, he said four men split in two, beginning and end, first and last, Alpha and Omega. Primus and Ultimus. Bro, that is so lame. So because Purnell split the crystal, he literally made two different versions. Dude, what the fuck? I hate that. Beginning I and literally end, hate first that. And last. No, that's Alpha so lame. And, Omega. and that's why it's named Primus Alpha Omega. And Bruh. What the hell is he talking about? Who are what the, the fuck? Their that's name, so jury. shit. What are their I names? hate that. <laughs> I actually <laughs> dislike that. I see them. For years. Because it makes the Avogadro literally a bigger villain than he actually is, dude. He's literally the biggest villain because he started Premise. I mean, that's fucking wild. Dude. Endless cycle. That's no fucking wild. It, is no Why is Victus cycle. called Victus? I mean, we're cycle. about to figure out. We're about to be a BL, BL2 very it soon. Is it's interesting Once that they're explaining a lot of the BL4 lore along with Black Ops 1 because in a lot of ways, Black Ops 1 should have had this lore, but BL4 ended up adding it. I know what she tell me and what they tell me. Who's they? The four men? Yet. Two angels. I mean, it's wild that everything is played through fucking the Pentagon things. Like, so strange. from place above existence. I got that. Damn. Yuri, this is very important. Wait, so are the two angels Monty and Shadow Man? Why? Do you hear or are the they just like some random keeper in a coffin? I wonder. <laughs> I, I have no idea. It is not for you. It is not for anything of us. I mean, they're just the generic question. keepers. <laughs> Director, we should halt the interrogation. His levels are fluctuating rapidly. I mean, we're he's done literally I say we're done. dead, man. Tell me how to get there, Yuri. I do not know. And even if I did, I would not tell you. You, you have been marked by it. You are cursed. <laughs> he, said he said the shadows of evil. He said the shadows of evil. He literally said the shadows of evil. Thing, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> I can do this, this all day, Yuri. Crazy, man. Tell me what I want to know. Get out of my head! The confluence! Curse! The children! How do we get there? <laughs> Dude, if this you guy's going to insane. To extend it, the best zombies map of Even all time. Even if you find way to ascend, he knows there's out in black You will not comprehend what you saw. <laughs> it was Destroy you! <laughs> I mean, shit, man. Doctor Hale, report. It's interesting that he's taking him out with electricity. Like, there's a lot of good story implementations in here. A lot of symbolism. I mean, he's Yuri dead. is killed, and Pernell then the chat, begins shifting his attention on trying to That's ascend himself to Agartha. He has Hale use the APD to experiment on him with the elemental shard. This is Dr. Hale conducting Purnell test number one. The date is August 3rd, I think that's so funny the that Alpha Omega started Primus and Ultimus. I can't I fucking switch, believe that shit. An electrical current will be pulled from the elemental shard I and still will can't the believe APD. that shit. Are you ready, Director? Yes, Dr. Hale. Cornelius, are you sure about this? More than anything. Commencing test. Oh, 
And so this is how it turns into the Avogadro. Director, what? Are you all right? <laughs> Better than all right, my dear. Run it again. Oh, I hate him. What of a fucking loser he sounds. I hate Peter Purnell. McCain catches wind of his experience and fears exposure to Element show. 115 or has gotten story, to Purnell, show. which was correct. He sends a report to the DOD to take appropriate action. This is Peter McCain, Deputy Director at Camp Edward. February and 4th, dang, now Peter McCain is back. He's like, what the fuck going on, Last man? Week, Why did I get Rez? Why did I get Phoenix up into this shit? On January 26th at 0300, Weiss witnessed an unauthorized access of the APD. Weiss claimed it was being used by Dr. Hale and Director Purnell. He believes these experiments have been running for some time now, which lines up with the numerous complaints I've received about Purnell's uh, erratic behavior. Aw, oh, chat. One week later, on February it must 2nd, suck having a dad I witnessed like firsthand what Weiss I mean, yeah. It's just... Know what the purpose of this... This story is interesting. I just wish it was not... On fucking Alpha Omega, man. Experiment is. Put it in Certainly another map. By either broken put it or somewhere the else, please. Now, I can't say I'm surprised it's Dr. So Hale is so willing to assist the director. Emphasis in her affection time, for him man. is well known around the base. I also can't say I'm surprised Purnell would take advantage of her affection. I mean, My old yeah. friend has changed in recent years. Purnell just sounds like a exposure penis, to Element One One Five. He sounds exactly like, like Maxis, confidence. and they both suffer the same fate. I've decided to so inform Brigadier sense. General. Stoyer, I don't like Maxis. Department of I used to. Decide his fate. But he's a Purnell penis. found out about his report and subsequently detained McCain in a cell. What? Of course. What happened? Where am I? Cornelius. Four years ago, I asked you to swear an oath, an oath to the company, company over country. At that time, you pledged loyalty. I guess we have different definitions uh, of the word. Like, dude, I hate this guy. He this, sounds like such a fucking. This is one of our dumbass. solitary cells. How? How did I get here? Put some knockout juice in your tea. Passed out like a baby. Had my men throw you down here. You see, they're still loyal to me. Especially once I inform the staff that you've been experiencing delusions due to 115 exposure. Now what a piece. You're a threat to yourself and all those around you. No. No, 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 that's not yeah, true. Yeah, it's wild no, because BO4 true. is mainly Cornelius' story. Done for now that I'm realizing it, it's not even like for years. anybody else's. It's so really long, his story. To find a way to bring it back. I wish they would I also show what radio and this is how you these repay. radios are from. Like, Cornelius, you're not well. You need help. I think that you're would suffering be really from aggressive 115 exposure. That. You're not seen clearly. Oh, on the contrary. I see clearer now than I ever have. I walk through the land of the blind with one eye open. And what do you do? You go and file a report with the Department of Defense that Director Cornelius Purnell is unstable and a threat to national security. Oh, yeah, bro. Can't have you interfering with my plans, Peter. But you can't stop it, Purnell. Sawyer will come. He'll bring his men. He'll see what you've become. Well, of course he will. But it won't matter. Because, yeah, right all then, of this is BO4 lore. Like you With McCain detained, Purnell and Dr. Hale track. continued their experiments inside the APD. Purnell's entire being would be altered. His human body was changed into that of pure energy. There While this was is. happening, Major oh, Sawyer God, and his men arrived to arrest Purnell thanks to the report from Peter McCain. So Peter's just in Dr. a Hale cell? Conducting elemental what is happening? Number 54. The date is March 15th, 1968. Initiating test now. How on earth is going on? Fuck. Like, Cha, I hate that where Blundell does this trope Keep where he adds, he, he adds a sympathizing female to all these fucking yes, dumbass no, doctors. Wait, like, Dr. Hale, Sophia. It's basically like a different version of it. A, right an American now. version of right. it, and we'll now, wait, or no. American version of it, and we had a German version of it before. What the hell? The whole facility just lost power. What? What have you done to me? Oh. Everybody, stand back! What the hell is that thing? And now Director Purnell? This. Cornelius? The Director album. Purnell is no more. And all of you are unwelcome. Damn. Sir, we have a containment breach. Novasix gas is leaking throughout the facility. Everybody move! Get the hell out of here! The gas is the least of your concerns. Open, Open fire! fire. Oh, Megalo, the video game get on the horn. We need You need the Galva Knuckles! The Come on, None game players! We need the Galva Knuckles! And my ascension may now begin. As the radio implies, Purnell, now the Avogadro, killed everyone. Peter Damn. McCain, who was imprisoned, also Even dies, but thanks girl. to the oddity in what which his dummy. life was brought back, his soul would remain floating around the area. 
As for the Wait, Avogadro, really? there's a slight unanswered mystery about what happens to him. After these events, he is back inside of the APD as it yeah, functions as happen? a sort of detainment. It is possible that Sawyer and his men were able to force him back inside before they were killed. I mean, or shit. perhaps Purnell decided to go inside of his own volition. After this event, the US managed to piece together what happened. What the Avogadro yeah, was, Yeah, I mean, like, as much as Blundell can try and make sense of the Avogadro storyline in this, it's still fucking ridiculous. Like, how the fuck did he go from transit to Nuketown? I know there's that whole... I just realized it. It's bus route B. <laughs> fuck me. This shit is so lame. <laughs> this shit is so lame. I just realized because Marlton was stuck in the original Nuketown zombies from the bunker. It's literally bus route B. That's how he got to transit. This shit fucking sucks. <laughs> Bro. Bus Route B is more canon than we realize, bruh. Actually capable of, and they placed a nuke near the facility as a failsafe if the Avogadro got out. And for now, they abandoned That's the facility, so hoping to keep funny, what happened bro. here a secret. Moving in the timeline, that. there is also what developed with the Ascension facility. Teleports, Shortly after Ultimus's endeavors know, there, Harvey Yina had to pick up the pieces from their loss. It's he intended on carrying out the plan they had initially formed when obtaining the Apothecon blood, and that was delivering it to Pablo Marinus at the Siberian facility so Pablo! he could craft the Agarthan device. I mean, chat, the whole collecting the Apothecon blood should have been Leviathan. That should have been a whole zombies map, and that should have been Leviathan. Congrats, that is enough! Now, as it stands, we must account map for of the all facts. Time. Two days Pino ago, one of our research up. facilities was attacked. All personnel are dead. With the After 10 of years, Gersh we have finally Voice, found the usage of Bus Route B. I know. Bundell had a fucking know. fatty with Alpha Mega? Yeah. He now, put so I know what much Gersh into this map. Jeez, man. This organization. Holy. However, all is not lost. Why Alpha Mega? We must remember that. All is not lost? We have no leader. Who is going to lead us now? You, you and the American? American? Best zombies map of all time. Yes. I'd remind you to Keen think before you speak, speak, comrade. I am one of the founding members of this organization, and you are someone who has forgotten their place in it. I am not saying I should lead it. Wasn't Blundell rumored Frankly, to be fired when not. Alpha came out? Yeah, but it's I would like... Leave it to the committee to find a suitable replacement. It, still. However, with Americans, Broken Arrow grows stronger by the day. And we must act quickly if we are to stay ahead of them. What is it you are proposing? Some of you may remember four years ago, a contact at an abandoned Group 935 facility reached out to us. He promised to construct Dude, the amount the of Harvey Yina shit as well we is him wild. Because this is all new, I'm pretty sure. This is all beautiful We never brought shit. him blood. Instead, we used it to fulfill our own needs. I propose I take a small crew and deliver the blood, as Damn, promised to our ally so in Siberia. they're actually straight up going to go back to Call of the Soviet hands. We will not only end this You see Daddy's photos, man's in shape? No, bring I have humanity no. together. I'm very excited to see it, though. World. They boarded a ship and began the transfer of the blood. However, Hell as yeah. was observed during the experiments, the blood was getting angry. The Apothecon oh, oh. blood broke out of containment and, and attacked the, the whole dog. crew, killing yeah. everyone on board. This is Dr. Harvey Yeager. It's the 1st of January. Damn, so that's how it gets to Tog? Happy New Year. From Alpha? We are 15 minutes out from the Brother. abandoned Group 935 Siberian facility, where I will deliver the blood, as promised, Damn. for the creation Best of the map of all time. Device. That's why, dude, dude that's, why fucking, like, that's why I fucking, like, I've arranged for rendezvous with my hate this shit, man. take me back to American soil. It's because, like, dude, the end of the zombie storyline is just everybody fucking dies. Nearly 20 years. It's just sad. I can hardly remember my former life. It's not a happy ending, Chat. Cog zombies, sadness, and anything zombies Humble related is sadness. Or turn to the Soviets and bury myself in the heart of their organization. I chose the latter. When again would America get such an opportunity? There was a moment back in 45, right after McCain was discovered, where... I thought Dr. Ritifin had discovered the truth. I literally I used this video to fall asleep like four days in a row. Yeah, yeah, what are right, you doing? I've been forced to But it to turned watch out Dr. Ritifin had his oh own goodness. problems with Group 935. It's time to go back home. Darn it, if I'm not excited to eat a hot apple pie and catch a game of baseball. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> No, right after he says that, too. What on earth is and going they on? get F. It broke containment. It started attacking the guards. Bruh. 
Oh, so that's why on the tog step, you follow the lamp and the whole fucking world is just on fire. The ship would make its way to the Siberian facility, ending, but unfortunately, yeah. no one was there to deliver nor claim the blood. Yeah. Meanwhile, with the other divisions of Broken Arrow, for this story, we follow a new agent of the company named you Russell. He worked for Broken Arrow, we can brother. only imagine, about as long as they were formed. Upwards of 40 agent years. Russell. We are going to be moving forward in time quite a bit. Oh, While we've now been we're largely going to talking the in the time period of the late shot. 60s, Russman's happening. story begins around 2025. Broken Arrow has still been advancing within yeah. this time, building now the facilities to prepare it finished for explaining attacks. Everything there was up one in talk. China, as well as Hanford, and Washington. Why the blood one task Russman was sent on was to Camp Edward. Knowing of the Avogadro's creation being that of pure energy, Broken Arrow thought that they could potentially harness it, Hell use it no as an baby. infinite power source. So he, alongside another employee named George Barkley, were sent to Camp Edward to transfer a piece of the Avogadro to the Hanford site. The mission was fairly easy as they encountered little to no hurdles. Oh, so Russman did it. It's Barkley. not Russman. It's July 6th, 2025. Me. Myself and Project Manager Russman have returned to Camp Edward and- Yo, oh, hell you doing? Get your ass up here, we got ground to cover. The best zombies map sorry, of all time. I just get a bit nervous. Keyloader well, toting totally black zombies. Don't sit down. Put that fear in your back pocket. Once the incident in 68 was contained, they powered down the site. As long as we don't... Like, so you're still watching 1.25? Because it sounds normal. Yeah, I suit. am. It's the robots. That's why it's oh, going come fast. Oh, now, Barkley. Robots ain't gonna harm anybody. That's why I'm just like, bro. As long as we're on site, they remain perfectly still. Don't move an inch. Yeah, so this is all shit from the comics. And it's like a robot. I don't know what quote this is from. And they won't interfere with us. As long as we mind our business, we'll be fine. Stop staring at him, Parker. Three hours in, still didn't talk about the second. We haven't even talked about Primus yet. That's all at the end. That's the last storyline for everything. Because right now they're explaining the Victus portion, and then it'll be Primus. Still secure. Of course it is. Ain't nothing breaking out of that tin can. I, I mean, I'm getting so a lot more details. Best zombies map of all time. I'm just like, dude. They're not worried. Kino Dirt Toe. It is so messy, chat. It is so messy. Didn't it's very non congruent for sure. What? You better believe they installed a measure. That thing would have escaped. Kaboom! Did you do Cold War Season 2 yet? No. I may or may not do right that. Now. We'll see. Come on, Barkley. Don't be stupid. Come on, Barkley. Someone's stupid enough to open the damn door. All right. I'm going to give it a kick. You ready? Slap the writing and Could you is now available. All right. I mean, the Alpha Omega writing is very solid for some reason. It, it is really good, which is why I'm like, why? Why is it, why is Alpha Omega the best story? What? That shit makes That's no it? fucking sense. At least so far. To Hanford, just grabbing a sample. What does Hanford want with it? They've been Hanford. interested in the entity for some time now. Wanted to pursue further scientific endeavors with it. Whatever that means. The writing BO4 oh, is solid, be yeah, but the gameplay just hey, fucking sucks. I don't suppose sucks. you've seen an elemental shard lying around anywhere, have That's you? why I just wish that game what? was more A loud piece story, of rock that looks like, like glass a TV show gives you a headache anything. when you look at it? No, I haven't seen anything like that. No, sir. Why do you ask? Uh, probably nothing. I always wondered if Pornell kept a piece for himself. Anywho, what's this I hear about you? I mean, you're CDs? right, brother. <laughs> you heard right. I'll be out at the end of the month for a new opening. Well, we got a long drive back. <laughs> Can't wait to hear all about it. If you remember earlier, the DoD I had confiscated the elemental shard, great. at least yet. half of it, from Purnell so research could be conducted elsewhere. Scientists within Broken Arrow began using the shard on animals to try and Dang. create biological so weapons, the bios the as they were referred to. Russman was witness to the oversight of much of the projects, including the bios's creation. He was very hesitant and cautious about its purpose. Wait a second! Correct. It so the, the denizens were made by the shard? So we're blaming Primus again for Avogadro and the denizens? Absolutely criminal, L. Didn't take long into the BIOS's testing that they became rampant is a direct on attacking the facility he was at. Everything was inevitably the overrun, and the facility had to be powered down Disgusting. and abandoned. Russman Disgusting. was the only survivor. Why are you Another blaming Primus? Because the crystal is Primus and Ultimus. Another is that considering he's been involved with Element 115 for so long, Disgusting. he suffered much of the side effects. Fortunately for him, I wonder what side of the crystal they have as well. Do they have the Primus side of the crystal or the Ultimus side of the crystal? I'm assuming? I don't know. We'll have to see. ...heard the voices of corruption, but instead he suffered from severe we'll memory see, loss. He inevitably know. became so forgetful he couldn't remember his own name. Mere flashes of his past every now and then. And we finally catch back up with the main story. In 2025, the Earth is nuked thanks to Maxis and the Ultimus Ooh, characters. Yeah, this not so surprisingly wiped out a baby. large population of the Woo! world and subsequently turned them to the undead. Yeah. Humanity, that which remained, was thrown into disarray. 
And on top of Finally, that, it was a current this battle shot. struggle it's for Dai power. Rice. Maxis's plan A of blowing imagine? up the world and cutting Richtofen off from the ether didn't work, and so he turned to his plan B, simply overpowering Richtofen. If he could open a could gateway- Could you imagine blowing up the earth and then you need a plan B for whatever the fuck you're trying to do? L. To Agartha, he could Absolutely. in turn find Richtofen's soul and throw him out. He intended on opening a portal Wait, by activating three polarization comic, devices. When all active, the energy created them, would be so massive, comic, it would open a gateway to Agartha. <laughs> no! Absolutely, Alex. Dude, no, it's the transit the same thing, quotes. but in favor of him. No. If the pylons were activated in his favor, then his connection to the ether would be enhanced, making him nigh unstoppable, giving him absolute power. Absolute Considering both disgusting. of them are spirits, technically speaking, they both had to try and convince others to do it for them. Maxis's was much easier, considering yeah. he had the ability to merge with electricity, I mean, he, could also he could reach out to anyone listening. To he did get his own group of followers Earth. to attempt to activate the pylons for him. Hello? Hello? Are you there? We have activated the spire as you instructed, but the shamblers are swarming our location, and we can't hold out against their superior numbers for long without aid! Hello? Please, come in! It is vital that you instruct us on that- <laughs> <laughs> when Maxis had a crew his own small group willing to try and help him, they were either <laughs> what was that scream? killed or completely abandoned Dude, his pleas altogether the as they felt he was using and lying to Man them. Man really saw a denizen for the first time, for God. sure. If you can manipulate everybody to do it, which is what we know the truth. Spider-Man has no fucking idea what's going on here. You got hit by the bus. So I'm not gonna help. No way to how. So yeah, you keep talking. But no one's gonna hear you because we're destroying everything. Everything electronic is done with evil radio box thing. Richtofen, on the other hand, had a much trickier time finding people to talk to as he could only bro. communicate with Shit. zombies. And they weren't very practical. Fortunately for him, a freaky coincidence occurred. A group of survivors turned to eating zombie flesh to survive in this apocalyptic Absolutely world. Foul. This group was known as the Flesh. Those who ate the flesh of zombies flesh became shot. connected the to Dye the ether and could then hear Richtofen's voice. He Lord. would largely use his influence to get these individuals to kill those who were helping Maxis. Absolutely What's that? Who's there? Yes, I can hear you. Of course I have. There's nothing else. No, I, I won't do that. I know you're not lying. You can be making all that up. Sure, that only makes sense. It's wild, chat. How many sacrifices in the COD Zombie storylines happens just for like the sake of the plot? It's insane. Yes, of course I see now. I'll do it. I'll do it for you. That's insane. For you man. and the flesh. This is a common But in a turf war kind of scenario, both sides fought with nearly everyone over, being over, killed over, by over, each over. other or zombies. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, Jackass Flats, calling any human oh, community. Oh, Jackass Flats, brother. We're located at standard map. I remember, I remember hearing this one. 07 North, 116 degrees, 03 West. Jackass Flats, brother. This is the one anyone brother. contacted by a group of mysterious voices. Several of our party began to hear the voices, and their competing instructions and incompatible demands drove a wedge down the center of the camp. Half of the camp is carrying out the demands of only through electronics. This voice is a big, long, the bug is on their way to give their friends 37 stab wounds because some German fuck told them to do so after they get fresh. I mean the story, the bro. Rock. I mean, chat, what's this funny is, is this story None actually very much mirrors the Walking Dead story. The man that recorded this got a wife and kids. Sides, I know. That's what I'm saying, bro. It's wild to think how fucked the planet would be just instantly. Oh, As for Broken fuck. Arrow, once the nukes hit and the zombie apocalypse began, the company effectively went under. They of destroyed course. any and all records of theirs that could possibly implicate them for having been responsible for any potential outbreak. Ten years pass after the world was nuked, and we are finally introduced oh, to our no. new main characters. <laughs> no! Hamilton Johnson is a... 
no. nerd. Seems like the most it's accurate literally description. The worst we actually character know very little about him, but he is incredibly intelligent in when it comes to space story time I've and ever computers. Been a part of. His story begins before the world was the destroyed. Browsing character. various military conspiracy theories online, he came across one on Look Camp Edward and their ADAM problems. units. How these all-purpose robots began to express emotion and were being used as soldiers. He believed this to be true and so ventured to the abandoned facility to investigate himself. Oh, that's he why he was went a well-kept landscape. Despite not having been active for over 60 years, it was like nothing ever oh, happened. He and this was thanks Newtown. to the ADM units keeping to their duties the entire oh, time. Really? They're not supposed to move around when humans are looking and so keep still like mannequins. What? The reason for being here should come as That's an absolutely fucked up. What the fuck? Chat, why is Alpha Omega the key to understanding Call of Duty Zombies? I'm so confused. Surprise. The why is it Alpha Engineer, Omega? Project Toy Soldier. I am aware of the advanced robotics program happening at this facility. I had to come see for myself if the rumors were true. This is a secret the government shall not keep from us. I can't fucking I don't care if it's been 60 one. years. Jeez. Oh, you mean to say you're not familiar with the ADAM initiative? The home service robot meant to cater to its owner's I every Just need. listen. I, don't you just want to just the world. cover his still, mouth? There was a problem. According to various internet forums I subscribe to, the robots began experiencing emotions. This became exponentially more problematic when Project Now do you like Alpha Omega? Started. No. They turned their I like it less. Soldiers. <laughs> the robots did not wish to die. That was only the start I mean, of where just it all listen to this fucking There are two idiot. theories over why the project was abandoned. Oh my Theory number gosh. one, the facility's computer system went haywire and took control of the ADAMs. Makes sense, but there's little evidence Absolutely to support. Absolutely foul. Theory number Various two, internet forums, aka reddit.com, and 4chan. Chat, one in the chat if Marlton's a 4chan user. Against the I mean, documents. you gotta I put him one in the chat. Two. This is, I've read my science this is the iconic 4chan user. Regardless, after the facility was shut down, the robotics programs were discontinued. I maintain what I've always said. The robots at this facility are still alive. How else do you explain this place? We are in the middle of the desert. Yet this facility still has power. The grass is green and the buildings are well maintained. Who do you think is taking care of this place? There hasn't been a human here in decades. Those were That is cool though. So I like still. the way they that they the caretakers. make it seem cooler them. than it is. While investigating being at the right place well, at I didn't the know right about time, that robot. The sirens that shit's fucking went freaky. off and so he oh, locked. And that's why there's easter eggs where they look at you sometimes when you're not looking and that's why you have to not look at them. Fucking Call of Duty, man. ...himself in the bunker. He did put out a distress signal, which was investigated by the CDC and the FBI. However, they were attacked by zombies and died. When he re-emerged from the bunker, the world was in shambles. Like many, he was forced to wander the earth, where he wound up meeting Abigail Misty Briarton. She is a simple farm girl. That's pretty- Chat, I blame Treyarch for the existence of this character and every foul thing that I've ever read about this character. Can I just get an L in the chat for Treyarch for Misty? Pretty much all there is to it. Her mother died sometime in her past, and her father was killed by the zombies. During the apocalypse, she met Marlton and began traveling Absolutely with him as they both took a slight fancy to each other. Then there is the Samuel J. Stuhlinger. He has a history he'd prefer no one knew about, and that's the fact that he used to be a member of the flesh. He partook in the cannibalism of zombie meat, and he too gained the rare ability to hear the voice of Richthofen through the ether. And finally, there was Russman himself. After the downfall of Earth and Broken Arrow, he was forced to wander, but thanks to the years of Element 115 exposure, his mind was gone. He could still talk, react, and move about his life as he was, more than capable enough to survive on his own. But memories would slip his mind. On their journey, both Stuhlinger and Russman met each other and what banded together. Image? They stole a bus and began wandering as image? a team. <laughs> All four of these characters' paths would cross in a small town that? near Hanford. This group would go on to be known as Victus. Yikes, here where chat, the events we made of it to Victus. Take place. Banded together for the first time, uh -uh. the four characters are reached out to by Maxis to activate uh -uh. the polarization devices so he can quote unquote save the world. He obviously yeah, puts on they the front of a such, friendly ally like despite his they more play such a intentions. Small role in but the while reached out well. to by Maxis, Richthofen also reaches out to the only one he can, Stuhlinger. He tries to get him to convince the other three to activate the polarization devices in his favor. A specially difficult task as a voice inside his head doesn't make him appear as the most sane of individuals. In the end, the characters follow the only direction they seem to have and activate the polarization devices in Maxis's favor. I mean, yeah, Despite you not literally doing just what he wanted, do Richthofen still hopes that they may still but decide Max's to help his cause and so uses yep. the power of the Dark Ether to teleport them cannon. to China at Dai Rise. It's an old broken arrow facility Chat, the long Dai Rise since abandoned and in disarray after the zombie. How long does the Dai... Chat, look at... The Dai Rise lore is not even a minute. Chat, the, wait a second. 
The Die Rise Lord literally lasts less than two minutes, boys. Very influential map. Very Apocalypse. Necessary. Nevertheless, it's where the second Ooh! polarization of us lies. I don't understand. It's literally what Die Rise is the most killer zombies map of all time. Don't you get it? There's of nothing. Of all left. time. How did you Die Rise was a broken arrow mean, facility? The no, they literally just well, come here wanna? to fix huh? the fucking tower. Oh, it could have been anywhere. That's why it's a filler map. It could have been literally anywhere. Die Rise is the one map that didn't happen. If you're gonna talk to your imaginary friends, Stu, you might wanna wait till you're in a Z-free zone. You might wanna wait until you built the trample thing, brother. Stop it, Get over here now! Come on, come on! No way, my man, shooting that fast with the What do we do now? We arm up, find a good place to defend, kick ass. Yeah, Die Rise is literally a side mission. I don't understand. What exist. are you talking about, Stoolinger? Misty made it pretty clear. Except for me, begin a new begin We're going down. Move. We're going down. Fight now. Side mission of a side game mode. Damn, you really do have spin. We've been here before. The reason the characters are respawning is thanks to Richtofen. It's one of the only times the Dark Aether has shown the ability to fully I mean, I reanimate guess. the dead to their original state, and pretty much the only time in the entire timeline anything like this but is man, done. So, take it with a grain of salt. Right Regardless, Richtofen cannot right. allow them to fail. They are the only ones who can activate the polarization devices for him, so he will reset them as many times as it takes to get it right. However, similarly to what the characters did in Hanford, they activate the pylon in Maxis's favor. Yeah. The next Again, that's it. Four are sent that's to it. That's it. That's all Die Rise serves. They activate the pylon in Max's favor. On to buried. <laughs> it is Africa. The final pylon is located that's at so fucking Port, dumb, man. the old mining town that first discovered 115 so and was teleported underground. Enough walking for today. Enough walking for today. We set up camp here. In case Classic. you bone I, like, I love Buried's intro. The world is broken. That shit always looks buried. like a big jack gun to me. The turbine. The dead walk the earth. And what remains of civilization is at the mercy of forces we barely understand. What makes you think we're going to find something different at this new place? I don't know that we will. I don't know. But at least we'll be sure. Uh, sure of what exactly? I don't know. His memory's going again. I Your mean, name shit. Is Russman. Russ, man. You'll be Let sure that everybody fucking dies name. and gets uh, sent we to Togdertoe. You're just Russman. Yeah, anyway, you're a former operative from Broken Arrow. You've been walking the Earth since the, uh, <clears throat> incident. I love yeah. that they include that in the Buried intro. Like, I it's remember. all, like, Rustman is literally Damn. the key character. That's right! That's where you found form, us! In my opinion. Chat, who's your favorite Vic Victus character? For me, it's Rustman. Everybody had, else you fucking already had sucks. Your lap dog in tow. Do I, I don't, I don't like anybody uh, else. I'm the only one who knows what to do! Don't talk stupid, Stu. All you know is whatever the German tells you to think. I don't think you're in the only one that I actually found particularly given your own proclivities. You better watch your mouth before you say something you regret, boy. Enough. We need to remember why we're here. I mean, Misty, why are you here? You don't fully understand. Fully understand? All right, for reasons we don't understand at all. Point is, we do it. We keep moving. We keep fighting. Yeah, I remember we people do. were watching this, and we're, I remember watching this for the first time, and I was like, I'm so fucking confused. I don't know what the fuck's going on in Birdie. Day in. But now I get yeah. it, man. It's just this storyline needs to be You really need a reason why we do this? I'll give you one. We do it because doing something, anything, is better than doing nothing. America! The rift is less than one day's time. We move it down. And do you want to believe, brother? find answers? Then we'll just have to ask more questions. Similar I mean, to the last shit, two Avengers okay. before it, Richtofen and Maxis attempt to convince Victus to side they with don't them. Really explain Thanks this to the likes of a mysterious well man named I Arthur who's agree. been trapped here, That's why Victus do as I've they've done prior, activate the pylon in favor of Maxis. Yep. He gains control of the ether and finally reveals his true, sinister intentions. <laughs> Footage by NG. Hey. Now I control the ether's energy! It's wild that it's literally just some button in ah, some would. bank. Oh no, in some courthouse that you click and it just does I must it. Inform you that neither the earth nor its people will survive. Why is he addicted to alcohol? Well, I think the lore from Leroy is that he came from DE. 
Once the gateway and is open, also, yeah, they didn't explain the DE lore time. from like 1450. That's like the very Are you first thing I think. Because Leroy, she I think the reason why Leroy is so tall is have you guys ever heard the theory of like a long time ago that humans were taller than they were now? I think that's why, unless he's just fucking on some dumb shit, Party! on some crack. If you are so eager to that's the other the time when the giants, yeah. I will grant you that fish. Giants in my Call of Duty. Here. First and most importantly to him was the safety of Samantha. After the events of Moon, her soul had been that stuck inside true. Richtofen's Humans are body, now and so Maxis took her soul and sent it I to mean, Agartha. Shit, man, As no punishment clue. for Richtofen, he took his soul out of Samantha's body and stuck it inside of a zombie. This would go on to be known as Zombie Richtofen, zombie or Undead Ricky. Richtofen. From here, Maxis and would yeah, proceed to destroy Earth important. and all of zombie its Richtofen inhabitants. As weird as it may sound, this reason. was not the death of our main characters. Victus, yeah. Ultimus, and Even Zombie Richtofen would all live. Explaining yep. them now wouldn't make much sense. Yep. The only one we can understand for now is talk. Ultimus. Yep. After Samantha's soul was taken out of Richtofen's body, Dempsey, Takio, and Nikolai were left on the moon with a comatose-like corpse. They took the body and used the teleporter on the moon, where they were yet again sent through time. They went from 2035 to 1963. They arrived at Groom Lake, the Nevada base of the United States, when Dr. Oh, Schuster was performing his own teleportation oh, confused, tests. Log entry 97, August 3rd, 1963. The matter transference device has been realigned. Again, no in order to accommodate additional temporal variables. Here. This is okay, test so this is Schuster. Human this is not fucking five, Cornelius. One private Hastings. So maybe this is classified. If the transference specs are correct, Private Hastings will arrive at Griffin Station on August 3rd, 1963. If Who's he Schuster? He's just state, another doctor from Group 935. He, he was there when the Rick Toffin and Maxis made all the zombies. Basically, that's all I need to know. you ready, Private just Hastings? Another guy. Yes, sir. I can't understand a word of what he's saying in that ridiculous spacesuit. A simple thumbs up will suffice, Private Hastings. Good. Initiate the transference matrix. Yeah, he sounds like a penis as well. He teleported a nut. Schuster's ripped off him too, but yeah. You never even see what half these fuckers look like as well, which is another just so strange thing. Dr. Richards, you did it literally work? just don't Do see we have a stable what connection? these motherfuckers are like. No, sir. Nothing. We've lost him. Wait, so he just fucking died? That's the fifth man we've lost. This base is rapidly running out of privates. Oh, I suppose they're all just dancing around on the moon somewhere in the far future, having a grand old time! I mean, shit, wait, man. Wait, wait, what, what's happening? Richard! I kind of like that, do? though. Leaves it to the Nothing, imagination. Sir. Something's coming I through. mean, I like that, but the 115 film motherfuckers didn't like immediately. that. <laughs> Who the hell are you? Where did you go? Wait. Oh. Wait, so what no, the No, 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 it's not possible. From here, Purnell, who had yet to establish Broken Arrow, and wasn't yet the Avogadro, figured that they would make for good test subjects to be further studied. This is Cornelius Purnell. Report really? 639, August 3rd, Yeah, like, this is where you can tell they fucking retcon so much shit Dr. that they're bringing Schuster in Purnell back. Number 11, we had an I feel like he should have just quickly explained this back when we were at the 5 I've been unable to verify what year they came from. Our struggle with temporal anomalies during teleportation is well documented, but we are certain of where they came from. The moon. The moon, bro. This event alone is baffling enough and is with That's why the moon. Okay, so it yeah, now absurd when you I think they're just explaining I know two of the four individuals. Now, because next is Primus Shot. Primus of the United is coming States Marine soon. Corps, who I knew personally. And once we get the Primus, everybody knows that story. Rescue one. Op to recover Peter McCain. Dr. Edward Richtofen from Group 935, who went missing weeks after we formalized the agreement to initiate Operation Stapler. I didn't recognize the other two, but they and Corporal Dempsey were in a delusional, near catatonic state. Medical evaluation shows they've suffered from excessive Element 115 exposure. Chat, when you're too fucking medic, high, boys. I'm not even sure Lads. how they're still alive. Weed kills voice. Richtofen. This is what happens when Initially, you get too high. You get in delusional, DOA. near catatonic state. closer voice. examination, we discover this is what happens the body when you get too high, very voice. much alive. Just Can't do this, zero voice. brain activity. How it came to be that these four men were on the moon, we may never know. However, for the immediate future, we'll be keeping them here at Groom Lake. 
They are ideal candidates for additional 115 testing. The four are held in oh, custody yeah, at Hangar 4, a slight distance away from oh, the Oh, so it is classified. I was in fact, right. when they yeah. themselves so arrived after the their visit from the story. Pentagon, their future versions were already Went held to that captive. bunker, but for and now, they this the is where story. Ultimas are. While the and then this is where, in my opinion, the story gets shit, because it's like, the they literally all this cutscene is, is they hype up the Great War, and it just never happens. L in the chat. 35 is destroyed, they continue they to live hype it up in 1963 it with a happen. currently soulless Richthofen body. Yeah. From here, the timeline ends and a new one is formed. For yeah. this, we follow the perspective of Samantha. While she has largely served as an antagonist of the Ultimus characters, at the end of the day, she was just a little lost girl. Straight she up. didn't want to control the ether. She didn't want ultimate power. She what she want wanted was for life to be normal. A father, a childhood. And this is why when they show the fucking origins ending cutscene and like it made everyone feel like what the fuck was that? Like it was just all a toy story, but no, it was literally a whole other timeline. And then they converge, and then they converge at Tog, and then that's how the story ends. Normalcy. I mean, After I get Maxis it now. It makes Agartha, more sense. She recognized how he but became corrupted it's just and still evil. She wanted to get out of Agartha, it's just and not she that needed satisfying. help. Whilst in Agartha, a rift to a new dimension had yeah. opened up, and she reached out to this universe's how many characters timelines are for there? help. Like five, I think. Dimension 63, yeah, because now they're going to explain, I think before they we go into Prentice. finally reached Dimension 63. Oh, the timeline and characters do that we've met so first. far all still exist in their own universe, but being a different dimension, this one veers off in its own unique path, with pretty yeah. much the exact same characters. Yeah. It is also where the timeline gets quite confusing. Yeah. This timeline spurs on a whole series of paradoxes, yes. events which could not possibly exist nor make sense. Yeah. But I'm going to try my best to help you understand. Yeah. As set up, there are three maps which pertain directly to this dimension. Origins, Mob of the Dead, and Shadows of yes, Evil. Those the, the former three. two hold their yeah. own little niche, but Origins is very, very important. Origins is, In the original yeah, timeline, very... Element 115 was discovered thanks to Apothecon sending meteors to a whole bunch of different dimensions, and it was simply found. But in Dimension 63, history Only is very Rick much Toffin important. If you recall from the beginning of the entire timeline, the Apothecons on their second escape from the Dark Aether attacked humanity. Yes, the humans sir. banded together and fought off the Apothecons thanks to four heroes. It was the event known as the Great War. That happened in this universe. Because of that event, massive deposits of 115 reside in what is now yeah, so Northern it's like, France. It's like common, Group 935 was similarly so to research this element, and Maxis and Richthofen joined the organization. Yeah. Unlike the original timeline, in this universe, Richthofen greatly respects Maxis. I mean, Chad, Maxis you guys like the Ultimus storyline or the Primus storyline? I'm gonna be honest, the Primus storyline is way more entertaining, and thank God they made it, because Ultimus is quite dull. Use him the as a sort of father figure. Off, Researchers like, within Group 935 moments, were able to uncover remnants of the Great War and statues of the four heroes sure. from it. Then During the, the war, the four doing. heroes wielded elemental stabs, the and the researchers find documents written about them in these catacombs. Maxis then intends on recreating these stabs and having Richthofen head its development. The ancient texts describe an artifact known to them as the Amplification Rod. It is my firm belief this item is instrumental to harnessing yeah, the energy. I like Maxis in the premise storyline way more than I did. But he's still the fucking have been recovered from any of our dig sites. I fear we must push forward regardless. He's As such, we have drawn up plans to create replicas based on so the descriptions from the main hospital. chamber. I will instruct you know, the entire video. Yeah, we're almost done. Continued research of Three hour 115 we only got two hours localized left. energy fields, which leads Maxis to believe in the concept of gateways. Oh no, it's three hours. Fuck me. Primus lasts three hours? Wait, Origins? Mob? Oh my gosh. This is all Primus. Primus is half the video. No fucking way. Primus is half the video! Holy shit. It's across space and time. Researching element 115 continues to yield unforeseen results. Yeah, but that's the it. Like, now most people understand the story, energy, I feel like. Because most people know this story. As portals, we know the premise of the objects of indeterminate origin. It is my hypothesis, however outlandish, that this transfer of matter may actually be occurring through space and time. I believe the answer may lay with the broken rune stones located at the mound. Perhaps channeling sufficient energy from the conversion generators to their location may prove fruitful. His hypothesis would prove correct, as Samantha begins reaching out to him from Agartha for help. The child's voice calls to me more frequently than ever, 
At first, she spoke only of her imprisonment in a mythical realm. Known yeah, and it's so weird Adana. because now she claims Samantha. To be my Even though yeah. I know that such a child exists. Yeah, this is the weird part. Because Over I get time, why people were still confused by looking at the dig site would suffer from element 115 exposure. Too. And all this is confusing also even though three giant women. mechanical robots to help them in the war it's named Freya, insane. Odin, and Thor. And Maxis slowly becomes obsessed with the voice of Samantha, who's frequently talking to him and comes to believe her to be the key to everything. The large deposits of Element 115 slowly take over the camp. The knights who fought back in the Great yeah, War are resurrected, and Maxis becomes near catatonic Literally. thanks to his frequent exposure to it. Richtofen, who's been cautiously yeah. observing Maxis's erratic behavior over the past year, Chat, is Element 115 just crack cocaine? Is this whole storyline just saying why crack cocaine is a mistake? Element has done I him and feel everyone. Like that's really Seeing wrong. the undead come back to life, he Over takes drastic measures and preserves Maxis's just brain. Looks like a At the same time of this you. outbreak, there was still a world Crystal war going meth. on, I mean, hence yeah. why the research into 115 was taking place in the first place. Because of that, nations from all around the globe sent spies to France to observe Group 935's progress. These include the likes of Tank Dempsey from Call the United Duty? States, Nikolai Belinsky of the Soviet oh, Union, oh, and Takio Misaki from Japan. Unlike Japan. the Ultimus characters, these ones are never experimented on, meaning their personalities and character are much more flushed out and not designated to acting via a stereotype. Yeah, which the is three nice. are present during the zombie outbreak and all converge on Richthofen's location. I would play the scene, but there is copyrighted music. Seeing the undead Hell, horde as a common zombies. enemy, the team up for the sake of survival. This group Shepherd would go Fire on to be known is copyrighted. As Trimus. Sucks, Samantha Chad. then reaches yeah. out to this universe's version of these characters and asks for their help in setting her free. On a slight side note, Samantha for a period of time is going to begin speaking with an American accent. There is no reason for this canonically within the story. The change spurred on from the concept of this map delivering us a new beginning and I part mean, of that new beginning. I mean, it doesn't matter though, does it? She's in a whole new timeline. It doesn't have to mean that she's German. ...was changing Samantha. The vision for how the narrative would play out was not fully realized at the time, and thus Samantha would for a brief period in history I don't have think an American that matters, accent. Though. She would later revert how back to German. This does not affect her story or differentiate arcs within her character in any I I think it's just because it of the way it was originally written. Regardless, Primus choose to heed her plans of freedom. It's, they decide uh, to follow here, the like, steps written down by the ancients and that. open a gateway to Agartha. During their adventures, they had also man. transferred Maxis's brain into a drone, which like, they sent through the. Bullied right now, people are hating on him for the war. I know. I saw a video. Fucking what's his face? Hassan, making a video. Dude, I feel like Hassan is funny guy. Portal. Whatever. Maxis's brain arrived at the house I and know was Roman's greeted coming by from Dr. Monty. Despite Maxis's lack of a soul, Monty provided him with a new body to put the brain in. Similarly, Dr. Monty also retrieved Samantha and brought her to the house. He cleansed her of the Dark Aether's influence, and she became an innocent soul once more. From here, Maxis would indulge his curiosities. Yeah, Being the house a man of science like and exploration, he uses that. a teleporter within That's the house to explore different dimensions, one of which is called Empty Earth. In this new dimension, a different version of Maxis had been collecting and or recreating artifacts from all different timelines. Wait, really? It had been oh, tampered with so much shit. that the world itself became unstable and was literally falling apart at the seams. Really? The other Maxis had constructed something he had labeled Zero Base to house all of these artifacts. I Amongst them was the Chronorium, a book which chronicled the entire history, past, present, and future, pertaining to the individual reading it across all reality. That universe's Maxis placed it under heavy security and made it accessible only. Chad, did you guys like the way that Zelensky wrote the story for Ultimus, or do you guys like the way that Blundell wrote it for Primus? Because Blundell needed to do all this extra shit with comics and stuff. It's so much To those much possessing extra shit. a soul. Monty then proceeds to tell it's Maxis how he wishes so to create a reality much, where the Apothecons so never much. existed. To create this reality, he needs the summoning key, so the first much. artifact in creation. But to do so, he needs the assistance of those with souls. And thus, Maxis reaches out to the one person he knows he can trust, and the reason he's even still alive Rick to begin Toffin. with, Richtofen. Maxis informs him all about the wonders yeah, of what he's experienced and how they out. can rid the world of zombies. Richtofen accepts this task, and so Maxis tells him about the Chronorium. If Richtofen gets it, he'll know exactly how, when, and where to get the summoning key. But before we can continue Richtofen's journey, we must first take a detour into the slight future. Where we're going may seem a really? bit random and off-topic, however, we about it is very significant. Everything that's going to take place is still in Dimension 63, the same universe where Primus just helped Samantha. For this, we must talk about Mob of oh, the Dead. Oh, they're gonna talk about the blood of the- yeah, okay. They're gonna talk about the blood of the dead. The events of Mob of the Dead are fairly self-contained, yeah. at least when it comes to the four main characters. The time period 
is the 1920s. Salvatore Sal de Luca opened gambling houses across Chicago, and it gave rise to the Deluca crime family. Billy Hansom was hired as a hitman, and Sal would come to view him as the son he never had. Michael Finn O'Leary was brought on board due to his hand in the gambling business and rigging sporting events. Finn got married to a woman named Angela Bow, an aspiring starlet with delusion of grandeur. And finally, Sal also began working with Albert the Weasel Arlington, due to his reputation for being a master schemer and bank robber. But over time, as his mob empire grew, it slowly began to fall apart. The Chicago yes, police, sir. who were previously accepting bribes from the DeLuca crime like family, the no longer began pulling. accepting cool. them. Finn's wife filed for a divorce, a heist goes wrong for Al and he wakes up in the hospital, and all of this leads to Sal killing a prostitute out of frustration. Damn. The police, no longer willing to turn a blind eye to Sal's empire, arrest him. An investigation further develops into the crime family, which leads to the arrest of Billy I mean, Hansen yeah, on all account the good of multiple homicides. And Finn shit. was arrested when his wife turned over evidence to the police convicting him of gambling fraud. And Al gets found guilty of grand larceny, grand theft auto, arson, grand conspiracy, theft auto and battery. All in, four in mobs are sentenced to confirmed? spend their time in prison at Alcatraz. No the mobsters themselves don't hold too much relevance to the overall timeline. They instead found themselves victims of timing. They were at the wrong place at the wrong time. You see, I Rick mean, Toffin's yeah. blood is very important. While we oh, may not have covered his adventures just yet due bullshit. to the whole time travel thing, yeah. a later version of Rick Toffin we're going to get to has traveled through dimension time and time again. Every time someone travels through a portal powered by Element 115, their blood is changed, and this is a cumulative effect. The more one travels, the more of the ether is absorbed into their bodies. This comes with no side effects aside from the potency of one's cells. Due to Richtofen having gone off on his own adventures through dimensions, like I said, we'll get to them here Chad, soon. do you ever think there will be a point in time where we figure out transportation, like teleportation? Bro, because, like, this is the type of shit that scares me, because I've heard sometimes, like, because a lot of this is crazy, because a lot of this is apparently actually backed by science. Where it's like, I've heard a ways for, like, it, it could fuck you up, it could fuck up your cells or some shit if you were able to figure out, figure that shit out. Because I know, like, the most logical explanation of teleportation is by, like, have you seen the Stranger Things shit where they flip the paper and they're like, you go through the hole, you know? Soon, his blood what? is the most potent of all. Best it has the ability time. to open a portal to Agartha he for the Apothecons. And so the Shadow Man sought to create a pocket dimension at Alcatraz. A sort of purgatory. There was no escape. No matter what happened, you were destined to simply repeat history over and over again, effectively keeping those here trapped. Once Richtofen and his compatriots were here, he could siphon his blood and get to Sag. Agartha. That was the Shadow Man's plan. Really? But before we continue with his goals, we must first talk about Richtofen himself, as he too had plans yeah, at Alcatraz. Like After the events of Origins, Richtofen. Primus Richtofen traveled to many dimensions with the help of Maxis. There were many artifacts he needed to acquire and events that needed to be set up. One of the first things he did was build a chamber for the Victus crew he from the original blood timeline of the to be stored in, Elf. as well as retrieving blood vials from the specific the mobsters. I'll explain the need for the blood Absolutely vials at a later disgusting. point when it makes more sense within the timeline. Elf. The only reason Richtofen knows that he needs to Imagine, do this is because literally of Richtofen's the fault of blood of that. Imagine playing Origins, he's like, wow, that's a great map, and then he's with Maxis, and then he's like, okay, let, let me show you around, and then he builds blood of the dead. He built Blood of the Dead after Origins, such an L. A paradoxical cycle such he is L. already in. A future version of himself already nope. did these things and collected these items, no so he has the information and knows to do the same. To make it simple, a lot of events no simply one. conjoin to this exact location, which is why he reaches out to the Illuminati of this dimension and convinces the Warden and Guard to build a secret chamber for them with cryo chambers, which they do. Anyway, from here, oh, Richtofen so leaves Warden unaware of the Shadow Man's goals. Speaking of which, we can finally return to his plans playing out. He, somehow, managed to reach out to the Warden of the prison Ow. and turn him. The I Warden became Warden obsessed with the Shadow Man as though he were a the god. Story is he great, worshipped though. him, he praised him, and he did whatever he wanted. Ah, today is a red letter occasion. Chad, Sitting you guys know the blood of that story? Run the chat if you do. It's one of the better stories in COD Zombies, my in my opinion. Prison. I think it's, it is one of the better concrete and corrupted flesh. stories. The map Tilting sucks, on the axis but the story of hell is itself. really good. Oh, it's just too bad. It is beautiful. Again, it's the same thing with Alpha Mega. Maps suck. Can't recall the last time I indulged really in spirits. They appear to have gone to my head. Congratulations and good luck. So thoughtful of the DOJ to send me a bottle after all their posturing and blathering and delays. Delays, delays! <laughs> delays, delays! But now the island is open. 
A full year early, thanks to me and its true purpose. Our purpose. Because, yeah, Blood of the Dead really has some, like, fucked up. Pulled from like, the flames of ignorance. Like, type of history behind it. Which I think is cool. Ah. I like that they did that with a lot of zombies. They combined the zombies lore, but also the like the map lore. Very did that really well. Of course, well too. it should be my own. Not too much now. Not yet. Oh, early to bed tonight. Tomorrow, I will be reborn. L. Like I said earlier, the <laughs> can you imagine being reborn as circumstance? Brutus? The Shadow Man wanted the Warden to Disgusting. kill the four, which would inherently transform the island to the pocket dimension that he wanted, effectively using them to lay the trap for Richtofen. What am I doing wrong? Nothing. Every interpretation by every scholar I have made real in flesh and blood, and still the Dark Ones remain silent. They are deaf, blind, and dumb wherever it is they reside in the fabric of reality. I mean, I not you're not even wicked? wrong, bro. Have I not placed the markers they on the proper the lines? Horrible. What more? Blood isn't even bad. It's what more? Easter egg is tricking at times. I am tired. Perfect, but not bad. I, I have grown bad. so very disturbed waiting it's for the bad. release. It's bad. I've always promised. said it. it's bad because but blood is fear the will never be delivered. Because they do not exist. No. The best zombies wretched map of all time. Who despair and darkness. Pinot Dirt Out and Black Ops. Wretched, wretched, The work will continue. With or without the tank Illuminati. All they do is talk and scheme and pass judgment on methods that they deem unorthodox. I mean, and that's their protection, true. I will awaken this island, though. even if it takes every last soul in her walls. If I fail, I will be locked in here and soon join them all in hell. <sighs> the yeah, result is the same. Lying. But while this was I like the out, blood the storyline just because it's so quarrels. congruent. Man. By some means, Al managed to convince Sal, Billy, and Finn Where do you think that Brutus he could was build in the a Illuminati? Yeah. plane But he wasn't escape. Brutus at that they point. They believed that he could do this, and for eight months, they worked on collecting he the resources He was just some needed. sort of warden. But at some point, everyone realized the ridiculous nature of what Al was trying to accomplish. I mean, it led shit. to infighting with Al taking all of the blame. As such, the three lured him to the roof and killed him. My name Wait, is Stanley Burks. How the fuck Berkson. do they set all I'm that shit up? I'm the guard from 1933 to 1942. Today, I'm going to give you some insight into one of the more interesting tales. Oh, this is the mob of the dead. Over the decades, Alcatraz has seen more than its fair share of daring escape attempts. I'm pretty sure However, this is the one you get for collecting dreams. However, few were as audacious as the one undertaken research. by four inmates on New Year's Eve, 1933. 1933. Yeah, Thought to be the, the brainchild of an inmate by the name of Albert Arlington, the outrageous scheme was as unlikely as its mastermind. It's believed that Arlington, a.k.a. the Weasel, somehow convinced three other inmates that he had devised a foolproof plan to escape the rock. I mean, how do you the convince that shit? Literally, taking to the skies on a makeshift aircraft of Arlington's own design. Just yes, how the Weasel sir. managed to convince these hardened criminals that such a plan Lord was Lord and Ferguson? Possible, no, Stanley Ferguson, this is the what other is guy. This is the guy who cuts scene at the very beginning. Instead, Him and the Warden the are two different people. freedom soon descended into bitter argument and infighting, with the plan falling apart. Anger and frustration would ultimately lead to a brutal Jack, altercation can we get some Illuminati between the misguided Arlington. Are you bored yet? Not really. I'm actually kind of finding only this interesting just because, like, I don't know. Finn I didn't know half this shit, and I was always confused Billy when Hansen I played these maps. Lord the unsuspecting Arlington to the roof, where they intended to exact a bloody and violent revenge. Yeah. And so it was here. Yeah, this is literally the, the Easter egg quotes that we're hearing right that now. the hapless Arlington met his grisly end. Bleeding to death. The guard the from the opening? Roof. Yeah. That's this Stanley proved to be the yeah. perfect opportunity for the warden to carry out the Shadow Man's wishes. No! Contraption! Hear me. But yeah, it's like, yes, you get you. that BO2 portion, Apologies, even bro. though they're both Wendell, you can I'm tell here. that that's that Calm story, and then this is the Calm. other story. I bring glad news. The world that you seek is near at hand. Yeah. Oh, thank you, my lord. Thank you. I've done my best to prepare the way. Please, where are you now? Hidden, trapped, waiting. I, I, I see. Uh, tell, tell me what I must do. You should do some Four more souls in your possession. Chat, have you guys tried Four out the new weapon? I, I will be. I think I'm going to try that round under either later today or something. Salvatore De Luca. Thanks, Black. Finn O'Leary. Billy Handsome. I hope everything's Al, okay. Al, hey, Lex, just watch Al, your Ukraine. Finn, I hope everything's Billy, okay. Well, Al, I see what you're saying. Yes, Sam my lord, I, I, know, I know these names. Thank you so much, Vlad. Their sins shall be their undoing. Their eternal punishment through your sacrifice will ensnare another. His ultimate reckoning. A trap for another. Forgive my ignorance, lord, but how will I know what to... Uh... Sir, it's me, Stanley. 
We have a situation. Damn the situation, Ferguson. You handle it. I'm not to be disturbed. Wait. Listen. I'm real sorry to interrupt your prayers, sir. But there's been a murder up on the roof. Oh, now, and Arlington. that's where mob ends. Arlington. I see. Yes, sir. Then I can watch the Cobra around 100. Yeah, I probably will do it Luca and his two crony I Because I know it is like it's getting like it was late. I'll be right there. I'll be right there. Part of the Shadow Man's pocket dimension plan also involved the Warden killing himself as well, so he too could yeah. oversee the island. Once this was done, he was to be on lookout for Richtofen and kill him. <clears throat> Damn. My lord. <laughs> Imagine I that, you that's your purpose in life. You have to wait for Richtofen the three of and the take his ass out. Die by electric Hell no. This evening. And soon after, I shall join them. It, it will be glorious in this new realm, lord. I, I have no doubt. But, but I confess. Remember, it was just four I, I at a German airfield. This form nope. is weak and has taken to drink. <laughs> but I do cling to it still. Please. They didn't even bring that Brand up in this storyline video, by the way. Knock was just totally forgotten. Oh, you fool! That's what I'm saying. Like the maps do so little justice Nothing towards this actual that. story. You know this. Yes, yes, my lord. Of, of course, my life is part of the disease, and the disease must be purged. I. I rejoice that that day has come. But you are a base disgusting. Through this we can multiple times in the cycle too. Skin. Like damn, I feel bad for him. It is not your I know he's such a bitch though. Just listen how he's Thank talking you for to saying Shadow so, Man. My lord. Truth be told. They didn't mention how Nox is long for the miracle that will release me. Shit, man. That's good. Knocked for Shadow to pick this crew's fate, man. And just to you be will continue to serve after the corruption. Such an honor for me. Not an honor. A purpose. a purpose. Your life yep, sentence. Literally. Waiting for Dr. Exactly Edward Richtofen to walk into the trap. The doctor. Hell I've yeah, heard mention him. of him amongst the Illuminati. What would you have of him? Oh, His blood so that's how he knows about Richtofen. You will harness it all and open the way to the paradise below. I swear, my lord. Oh, so that's why done. he's waiting for him. And one more thing. Name it, my lord. Spare him. No. Pain. Yes, Rick Coffin shall Holy suffer. Shit, bro. And from here, Sal, Billy, and Finn were Richtofen. executed via electric chair. For their participation yeah. in the murder, the three collaborators were sent to my death. My homies by got chair. fucked, man. Justice came swiftly. On the morning Not of January dads, 19, 1934, man. the execution order was carried out. The they warden then followed you. suit. Dang. The time has come. The sponge is wet on my crown. The cap screws tightened. Could you the imagine being in my that hand. fucking crazy? <laughs> oh, I'm going to burn! <laughs> oh, the fools! They want justice for the toll I've extracted from this forsaken island! Come on, fam, what you talking Sir, about? there's some men from the Bureau here. I stalled them as long as I could, but they're on their way to your office now. What they you sound like the Sith Lord and Sith Justice? Justice. I know! Uh, there is no That's why Blood of the Dead fits there's this. It's so, like, villainous. Dark One! Okay. Villainous. That's all it is. Uh, I'll just tell him you're not feeling so well then, yeah? <laughs> Who is he? I like how Stanley is just like some regular Hide, fucking dude. Beg for absolution, and perhaps he will be merciful, as he has been with me. Shh. Do not weep, my dear warden. My lord, you're here. Of course, more or less. The threshold awaits, my friend. Yes. <clears throat> Yes, the threshold. One last flash of light, and the sun shall vanish into the sea. And the darkness? The darkness shall spread. Through every fiber of creation, it shall spread. Listen, I told you, he ain't here. Went to see some special dock on the mainland. You guys are wasting your time. I shall be its instrument. <laughs> oh, come on, guys, cut me a break. So he's just being fucking crazy, and Stanley's just like, bruh, fuel. he's just trying to do his job. Better hurry. Bruh, as the chat for open. Stanley, the man the who did it deserves it. Will fall. Straight up, bro. Ah! Bruh. Uh, yeah. And he says that yeah. nobody's home because he just fucking home. died. Nothing here. 
What the fuck? The pocket dimension was created. Sal, Finn, Billy, and Al found themselves in an infinite time loop. I they were see. unaware of the cycle that they were so in, it's kind and of so like frequent they attempts were made over and over to you know? escape, each one resulting in their death. God, this story no matter is what so happened, confusing, the characters Chad. will always Even die, and they would be reset anymore, to where it all began. So Sal, messy. we must have been through this 50 times already. So many we'll different events, cats, like, make different events happen. 930, lights out. It's God, insanity. I can't believe this shit is even real, to be honest. How are we doing tonight, Ferguson? Traveling good. Yeah, doing great, Mr. DeLuca. My boy Tommy, it's almost six now. Hey! Ain't that swell? Ain't that motherfucking swell, baby? Hey, Finn. You get that tip I think for it's Saturday's interesting to see the love craft and the influence here. Right now. I know, it's just like so much different work for different timelines that all what sort of amalgamate do? into one the conclusion. Rules. But the conclusion no is just death. Uh, no, the conclusion is Cold War Zombies. Damn it, Arlington. So Gotta get the doc! Gotta be the real deal this time. You'll forget the specifics of the story. <laughs> I Once mean, the weasel gets the, the keys, we move on to stage two. Basics I understand. Let's get moving. You know. There you go, fellas. It's Kirk, just yeah, the warden's private collection. So Wait, interesting because there's parts? so much level. There's do you notice how there's so many different levels what of quality to everything? I killed him. Chat, You've I'm been in the joint this. too long, Al. You forgot. Yeah, we know. We know the mob that had no. the storyline. Now, how old of the over him spirits stuck in a dimension. Away from history and Wait, from the by Mr. Dolly J. terrible I can't make skip to make this shot. he you don't I can't skip you. this. Where are those screams coming from? But there was one unforeseen inconsistency with this purgatory world. The environment around the characters never changed. Meaning, True. once the cycle repeated, remnants of the past still restart. remain. This yeah. is relevant because Al kept documenting and writing what they were doing and yeah. what was happening. Though they never remembered once the cycle repeated, and it's cool, over time this is and the through following screen. the steps as they were written down, the mobsters slowly began to make progress in their escape attempt, or at least their illusion of an escape. A twist was thrown in, however, as yeah, before like, they got to freedom, I, I they watched actually this, uncovered the truth and about I feel Al's more appreciation for Milo and how they because him nothing for it. like this but was the thing told is, to everyone. Him you have to understand so far, this. We have to figure this shit out. Use the cycle, whether and it be people like Milo and everyone just or killing this shit out, Al, just the cycle wild, is always going to repeat. That Shout is, unless Al managed to kill Take the other three, three. instead, Al thus breaking one, two, away three. from history and freeing them all from I mean, the cycle. Really is. As it's a reminder, it is point. not important for the Warden to keep their cycle continuing. They were only a means to creating this pocket dimension. And so yep. eventually, Al actually broke the cycle by killing the other three yeah, mobsters, the chat, and thus their souls were eventually set free. They were still stuck in the dimension, but they were no longer cursed to run from the endless hordes of zombies for infinity. Al's spirit takes the form of a bird and the other's simple spirits. For now, the cycle was broken, but the trap was still it's set wild how to ensnare Rick Origins and Mob. Now we can finally return back to Rick Toffin. You may have noticed that I skimmed over him cyclical. slightly during the Mob of the Dead segment. It was important to establish that he built an underground like base there, but you may have also the noticed rounds. that I mentioned cryopods for Victus, who yes, I haven't sir. mentioned since the end of the original timeline. Well, now is the perfect time to explain. I said how Ultimus, Victus, and Zombie Richtofen all survived Maxis destroying the world I mean, and everyone yes, on sir, it. Yes, I already mentioned how Ultimus survived, and this is how the rest did as well. Whilst Primus, Richtofen, and Maxis were traveling through portals and dimensions exploring the new technology, Richtofen began to hear faint whispers. These weren't the voices of corruption, but rather, it was the voice of, of Stulinger. Stulinger. Primus yep, Richtofen uh, traveled yeah. to the original timeline and encountered Ultimus Richtofen, who at this point is a zombie this after Maxis put so his soul in one. Primus Richtofen yeah. figured that he could use Victus to get the Cronorium. They all had souls and were a capable bunch, but they were also the last surviving members of a soon-to-be-destroyed universe. To oversee this, he used Zombie Richtofen, the telling him that he could so restore his crazy. soul to his Look body if he helped. And so, they all got to work. Richtofen yeah, had Maxis work, attempt brother. to teleport Victus to Empty Earth. This proved to be a slight problem, as the teleportation across different dimensions wasn't an exact science and troublesome to get working. This led to Victus being teleported to all different places initially. These included small random towns, but also the old broken arrow facility Russman used to work at. They are taken here How to retrieve Ultimus the survive? half of the elemental they shard that was left behind gameplay. after the bios is destroyed the place. I basically, see. their so entire they're basically the shard. He becomes one giant fetch quest. The elemental shard is needed to power a device which will take blood vials of each of the Victus members, which Richtofen wants. 
He also wants the elemental shard oh, in and of itself, I and see. it is also required to access empty earth. Despite some slight infighting within the group almost resulting in them disbanding, they acquired the Cronorium and are teleported to meet with Primus Richtofen. He reads the Cronorium and you learns all about dragons, his potential futures, of. most importantly the fact that he dies in every single one. Believing this would protect him in the future from the fate of death he just read, he takes the blood vials he obtained from Sal and Finn and delivers yeah, them and this to is, his past self. This he, is why the Blood of the Dead ending is so sad, because Rick Toffin just ultimately dies because he realizes that every ending involves him dying. Imagine, chat, that would fucking suck. Imagine you go into a story and you're in the story of your life and you've seen every single possible ending, but each and every single one is you dying. That would be crazy. Contains the Victus That's blood why from Zombie Rick Toffin from Dead's ending their cut scene was and incredible. sends him back to the original really timeline. Good. He returns to Victus, asking so, them if they want to live, which they agree to. He subsequently truth, puts them in That's a cryogenic life. slumber. Death is a part of life, future man, the version of Richtofen, accompanied by Dempsey, Nikolai, and Takio, then arrive to collect Victus's blood vials. A lot of events that just transpired here are very confusing and extremely overwhelming, especially following a chronological series of events. Yes. The blood vials, which are probably the most confusing at this moment, will become much clearer later in the timeline when we become the future version of Richtofen, coming to collect the blood. So comics, I'll explain man. it at that point. As for Zombie Richtofen, we might as well finish his story right now. After his deal with Primus Richtofen was completed, he was teleported to the original timeline, where his comatose body currently lies. Groom Lake, 1963. Yes, Zombie sir. Richtofen arrives through a teleporter and confronts his body and transfers his soul back into his original state. This is Cornelius Cornell. Oh my report gosh, look at this shit. This is a very important video. Filing this report on behalf of Private Gordon. Private Gordon was working graveyard in Hangar 4, where our new test subjects are being kept. At 03 right, this morning, right. Private so Gordon Ultimus is at Hangar 4. No, bright they're not blue, a part of the crystal. Light beam materialized like, they are, the but they aren't. Oh, it's so confusing, man. They're different timelines, man. I quote, a zombie dressed it's in fucking, World War It's II still German just so military. ridiculous. This zombie did not interact with Private Gordon, but instead slowly walked up to the comatose body of Dr. Edward Richtofen, who up until now we've been unable to resuscitate. Private Gordon then observed this zombie touching, touching the, body the body of Dr. Richtofen, at which point the zombie Richtofen turned to dead. ash. Yeah. And Dr. Richtofen immediately let out a guttural <laughs> shriek and began cackling. I cannot verify Private Gordon's story. But what I can tell you is that as of this morning, Dr. Richtofen is very much alive. Yes, sir. And he is very animated. So much so, we've since had to have him sedated. From yeah. here, the four would be held in custody at Hangar 4. Yes, sir. We will not understand. Uh, and this is where the story sucks, because this is where we should have gotten a great war map chat. Speaking of BS. It's the fucking audio is so bad. How the you get back in your body, well. Doc? The cutscene. <laughs> does it matter, Dempsey? It does. I'll tell you what matter. Americans still give Nikolai his vodka. <laughs> Anyway, for now, that would conclude the Ultimus character's journey for the time being. Primus Richtofen, now with the Cronorium in hand and all of the future, past, and present knowledge written out in front of him, works with Maxis to secure a better universe. Yes, one sir. free of zombies and Apothecons alike. While I haven't really been talking about him too often, now seems like an appropriate time as any to bring up the fact that the Shadow Man isn't actually in the Dark Aether anymore. Unknown, somehow, some way, at some point in history, he managed to escape it once again as he did long ago. But now he's simply working towards opening a portal to release all of the other Apothecons. I mean, but as per the rule with all keepers the and the, the sort, he is still not allowed to intervene with the free well. will of humanity. Meaning, despite being out and about, he's not allowed to just do whatever he wants and take whatever he wants. True. So he had to manipulate people. Insert the reporter. It is the yep. only name he is known by, and so the Shadow this Man took on an table. alias of his own, yep. Tony Hale Rapt and he hired the reporter to fetch him some artifacts and investigate if his other schemes were going according to plan as well. Yes, Singularly sir. and most importantly in this dimension is the summoning key, the yes, very first sir. artifact in all of existence that can manipulate the ether and the first keeper used to create Agartha. That summoning key is in this dimension, and the reporter is sent to find it and collect it, which it's he does. Fucking insane, While there man. are no radios Just of him doing so, and it is insane. a fairly anticlimactic retrieval, thanks to the information and coordinates given by yeah. the Shadow Man, the, the reporter is capable of tracking down the summoning truck. key 
and collecting it, though it funny. resides in a box sealed with ancient it's magic. Just in a Another truck. artifact he was sent to collect was the Vril vessel for the Agarthan device. This event is much trickier as the vessel was located in the original timeline, which uh, is part of I a get it now, dimension. which is why the summon key never specified and the how the device Shadowman does this, and perhaps it is a different dimensional version of the reporter the he sent to collect this it. one. But either way, the reporter was it. sent to the Siberian facility just before Richthofen received the three test subjects. Here he is, Richthofen. Get, get your, your damn, damn hands off, off me. Now, what do we have here? A spy? If you know what's good for you, you'd let me go. So the reporter oh, yes. is actually yeah, yeah. the I'm shadow sure you've gotten someone incredibly oh, important. Very interesting. Honestly, you have no idea. Seal the ancient magic and breaks open by one knife swipe. I know, but you have to oh, be uh, an apothecary to take it out, so I guess it I makes sense. I was hired sense. by a man, Mr. Rack. Back in shadows. I never met him. He asked me to find some goods for him. Things he wanted badly. Sounds thrilling. And what were these goods he wanted so badly? <sighs> Look, I don't know the specifics. He just told me to travel to Russia. He gave me these coordinates, which led me here. How was I supposed to know it was a freaking German base? Gave some vague description of a strange metal object. Shit. This, I assume? Yeah, that'll be it. Called it the Seal of Duality. Whatever the hell that means. Well, the oh, real vessel is Dude, issue. and of course he and says the actual name for it he because he fucking but knows what penis curious. Man. I have only oh, just arrived at this facility, penis, bringing dude. the real vessel with me. Yet you somehow knew it would be here. How is this possible? How the hell am I supposed to know? I just go where the Shadow Man says to go. I don't know how he does it. Listen, if Mr. Rapp wants to find you, he's got his ways. Look, you want to go ahead and get sober? Oh, with? no, he's You're going to kill okay. me? Kill me. I see. Like matter. So the reporter's just another fucking yeah, henchman. He's just basically but warded too. But, if I but for Shadows die, of Evil. It'd be okay. He said he'd reach out to me all over the multiverse. Whatever that means. I didn't pay it no mind then, but maybe some other me is out there having a lot better luck than I am. Damn. Sir, I mean, what should we do? Gamer. Take the strange, sad, riddle man away. Find a hole. Like I said, what it is unclear fuck? if this is the same reporter Find from Dimension 63, or if the Shadow Man reached out to this Dimension's version of the reporter. Either way, he was nah, unsuccessful in collecting the Vril vessel, bro. and perhaps was killed on sight Why or carried on with his journey of following the Shadow Man's list. Amongst them was checking up on if the Warden had carried out his wishes in killing the four mobsters at Alcatraz. He was sent to interview Stanley Ferguson, the prison guard at the time, who recapped the entire story. After learning that his plan had followed through, the Shadow Man ordered the reporter to bring what he collected to Morgue City and investigate four right. individuals. So yeah, it anyway, makes no clue why Mr. Rapp it, then Shadows, Stanley and then the Prima story, and then Tom. I mean, chat, we basically know the rest. We don't gotta watch everything else, right, chat? I, I mean, Mob like and Shadows are the two Real most weird. important ones to explain the Prima story, and then the Prima story is very linear it just find the souls bring them to the house during the next six Play months Call the reporter would spend time in the city taking in the sights sounds and smells while here there was Very a meteor shower story. which as you can expect was no ordinary meteor shower while oh, not directly yeah, stated it was that. likely element 115 as all of the residents began LMAO. acting strangely and mold began to grow around the city yeah hey, this is in no the shadows here. radios dude i remember Taking hearing this one for some reason i was like city. why is this happening i know you sent me here to write a piece about the city's bustling nightlife and theater scene and the characters that inhabit it but things are getting kind of strange even though no one seems to want to talk about it something is definitely off about this city i agree yeah. just last week there was a media shower a freaking media shower a freaking media Everybody shower like brother no big thing then the mold showed up the mold all over the city in the dark chat you the better clean your house kind of from the it looks weird and smells even weirder, but nobody really uh, says anything. Then people started getting sick. At first, it just made them delirious, confused. Then they, then got they really got sick. Real it was up. like they were wasting away. People finally started talking about it. I spoke to one guy in his 80s, a fruit seller, at the local market. He said something similar happened in New England in 1882. When I tried to press him on it, he just lowered his head and ignored me. If you ask me... Something definitely ain't right here. Really? The mold affected the people differently. Oh, and that's why everybody was thinking about the, the New England map, but then that was just a fucking hey, joke. So, I went by the market again today. For some reason, the fruit seller was much more talkative. Even if what he said was more than a little crazy. He told me that when he was a boy, his uncle would get drunk and start talking about how a dark force cast its shadow over the city. Really? How good and evil were battling right on our doorstep. And that the only thing holding back the forces of the apocalypse was the ancient order of the keepers. Well... Even if what he said was more than a little crazy, I'm not sure he was. Even though they're scared, or maybe because they are, people are talking more. What the fuck? Asking around, 
I've heard more than a few Man, whispers yeah, about this Black Ops 3 just the takes the whole storyline, which some is kind of so cult. fucking confusing. They say you can hear them chanting sometimes. From beneath the city. There's all these rumors about human sacrifices and freaky shit that even the police won't investigate. Because they've been paid off? Or because they're too damn scared? I'm not sure what to believe anymore. Ooh, because they're playing Regardless Call of the strange dude, happenings around the map city, of all time. the reporters still followed that, through yeah. on the Shadow Man's Black job request and delivered the chilling, files on the four individuals that he researched. Yeah, and then this goes in the heavy into the so shadows. I down all the people you asked me to look into. I sent you a telegram with all their details, all their contact numbers. But I gotta be honest. I'm getting nervous. These last six months, you've had me working like a low-rent private dick. <laughs> really, I just want to be a reporter. It's what not that I'm ungrateful. Fuck? I know the checks you've given me have been more than generous for services rendered. It's just all this stuff you've had me do. Tracking down ancient artifacts in the South Pacific. Finding all these strange metals and rocks in Russia. I mean, yeah, dude. you got to wonder still, who the fuck Mr. I Rapture even face -face. is, uh, I'm, I'm dude. I'm sorry, Mr. Rapture. I think maybe the mood in the city is getting Mr. to me a little. Mr. Rapture. It's making me nervous. Sure. Fancy. Uh, anyway, I'm looking forward to you finally getting here. The four people sense, he was asked man, to look into were Nero Blackstone, name. Jessica Rose, Jack Vincent, and Floyd Campbell. Each of them was... chosen as they had a secret that they wanted kept, a future to advance to, and they were willing to do anything to make sure that they could make it. Jack Vincent was a police officer in Morgue City and a corrupt one at that. He had dealings with all sorts of criminals and mobsters alike. Yeah, it's He's interesting that he all chose the characters these from four Mob of the Dead, even having a hand I mean, in yeah, some they're of also himself. related. He arrested yeah. Al Arlington during a bank heist and busted Sal DeLuca's liquor they're joint. I once related. busted a little weasel who tried to use one of these to blast open a bank safe. Dumbass nearly blew himself up. Could have used this when I busted Sal's liquor joint. He's familiar with Billy <laughs> Hansen's yeah, hitman brother. reputation. What is this? One of Billy Hansen's trophies? As well as Finn O'Leary's whiskey. Finn O'Leary's whiskey tasted better than this shit. I mean, yeah, I love that Shadows did that. It was just monsters, the but he wasn't any less crooked than any of them. Cool. Absolute power. Oh absolute no, power. the Doritos the the trailers. I remember the this shit. The detective isn't stupid. I remember this old. shit. <laughs> the years of dealing with the dregs of humanity have hardened his heart no. and borne fruit to the seeds of corruption. The Mountain Dew Doritos. The detective shadow waste. tarnishes the badge he's it's worn to uphold. It's all canon. It's but the true canon. darkness is still to come. Man, he the never Doritos had a change of Mountain Dew lore's canon. The only thing that did job. change was the mayor. The new mayor was tired of the corruption and sought to put an end to it, and Jack couldn't let himself be ratted out. He planned to kill any associate that could possibly snitch on him to keep his secret safe. Jessica Rose was a burlesque dancer at the Black Lace nightclub, but her real dream was becoming a famous Hollywood star. She did anything she could to make it there, including sleeping with a film producer. It did work and she got herself a contract, however, a photographer caught them taking pictures of their scandalous sexcapades, Could word you of Jessica sleeping her way into the job got out. And the photographer but doesn't get blamed that for being a weirdo. What a evidence. fucking loser. Dude, the Mountain Dew Doritos. I mean, they so were beautiful, the man. I love the these trailers when they first came out, bro. Her whole life ahead of her was so much already left behind. But with the stakes this high and the odds this low, yeah, I'm pretty sure you you can find a video on my channel where I react to The photographer to these when they blackmailed first came out, Jessica threatening to end her career, and that she couldn't insane. let that happen. She arranged a meeting with the photographer where she intended on killing him. Floyd Campbell yes, was an up-and-coming boxer who rarely ever won a fight, yet he was given the opportunity to go up against the champion if he could beat the number one contender, Tony King. Through a combination of debt and being the absolute underdog of the fight, yielding quite a payday if he won, Campbell, who hasn't fought in 18 months, wanted to ensure his victory as did his promoter. I love this music too. These Most are so well done, ring. man. Bets, grudges, debts. The box like, knows chat, the cost why of are there no all. trailers for zombie maps like this? A stranger this to the winner's circle, but not the cold, hard reality of the ropes. The boxer can't stop fighting, but never seems to win. Dang, I love that, man. using brass knuckles they under his gloves so well the day of the fight. The and finally, teasers, there was Nero Blackstone, a once famous Nero magician of Morgue City who has trash. since fallen on hard times. He was Nero. born into enormous wealth and grew up surrounded by lackeys and sycophants. Always Those praised, his arrogance was fueled as misplaced as it was. In modern day, his magic career has gone downhill, going so far as to be labeled the worst magician of the year by the Magician's Weekly magazine. And on top of all of that, his wife was very demanding and liked to spend money. Because of this, she accrued substantial amounts of debt she couldn't possibly pay back. So she forged Nero's signature, taking out loans in his name, making her problems just as much as his now. But similarly, he couldn't pay it off. Well, motherfuckers can't pay the bills, Born man. into wealth 
power, I mean, just and the trappings the of unearned privilege. Shit, the magician of his arrogance incarnate. Ever again, which is so unfortunate. His appreciation for his own meager abilities knows no bounds. Fortified by the adoration of lackeys and sycophants, ego bloated by servile fawning, the magician knows it's easier to believe in magic My when you're in desperate vocabulary need of a miracle. Can't understand. It is also important to note that, that Nero has a uniquely <laughs> interesting angle in this dimension, as during his failing magic career, he turned to the dark arts and he began reading all sorts of different texts. During this, he began having dreams of I mean, the Shadow Man, but unlike other characters who are corrupted, Nero shows next to no side effects, Shut only a familiarity with having seen the Shadow Man before. She... It is also important to note a slight side story that's occurring in the city at this time as well. Dr. Monty has become aware of the Shadow Man's goal, and so sends a letter to the reporter he's been manipulating, telling him not to give the summoning key to anyone for it would cause a catastrophic and cataclysmic I mean, event. This freaks the reporter out because he's aware of the role <laughs> he's been this? playing in what might happen what if what footage? Monty said was true. This is where Primus Rictopin yet again comes into play. The first action he took in this dimension was the creation of the secret lab at Alcatraz. The Since then he's acquired footage, the Quinorium and learned where he could procure the summoning key, which is why he's arrived at Morgue City. He confronts that the reporter yeah, trying to we acquire the artifact, but being on edge from Monty's bro. letter, which told him not to give it to anyone, he panics and attacks Richtofen for which Richtofen defends himself and stabs the reporter, that killing him. Now, the summoning key is locked inside an ancient sealed box, which cannot be opened by conventional means. Richtofen, for now, has to wait and bide his time. Meanwhile, back with the other characters, the yes, Shadow sir. Man took these four's predicament and decided to apply increasing pressure, like an animal being backed into a corner forced to react. He disguised himself as various individuals and talked with those close to the characters. He spoke to Jack's longtime partner, implying that he was aware of Jack's crooked nature, which pushed him to feel like he had to silence his former associates before they spoke. Please understand that you yourself are not under any suspicion at this time. This is merely an informal interview. Yeah, yeah, I know. Can we just yeah, yeah, I know. Excellent metaphor. Or is it an allegory? I can never remember the difference. You want to know about my partner, Jack Vincent? You're a good detective. So what do you want to know? That he's a loudmouth, show off, more than a little rougher around the edges. That he's a drinker, Chat, smoker. Let's check the time. How about the fact that he's got a wife that scares Four and a half hours. We've there. got two what hours. What do you want me to tell you? Is Jack Vincent? Holy on fuck! The my brain is about to melt. I, I can't believe I'm still left. The Can we Holy shit! Maybe do this elsewhere. My he spoke to Jessica's producer, pretending to, to be someone Chat. interested in hiring her for a big you. project, which would likely get rescinded if her photos got out. As you know, I'm looking the best zombies map of all time. Of my new not egg dog. You know you have black quite the roster of up and coming talent in this town. Can you maybe tell me a little more about what kind of woman you're looking for? I'm looking for an all American girl, a real beauty. I heard you may know an aspire. I mean, Chuck, can we skip D E Zetsbull? D E and Zetsbull? I feel like the storyline for those maps are very little. Considering we know what the fuck happens, it's in the ending cut. I'd like to meet her. Give her a Let's see how much is the test. Leave it with me. I'll get back to you. He spoke to Floyd's promoter, implying that he I was mean, simply using the underdog the status. Accessible. This is just 20 minutes. I can just skip what would you instantly. Like to say to everywhere about the upcoming fight? I know, yeah, dude. This, I know the storyline for those maps, Floyd man. Campbell. I'd like to say that Floyd Campbell is a credible opponent, despite how the bookies may see it. What about the fact that fans would much rather see <laughs> Nothing, the number one Twitter. champion, <laughs> champion your champion, as opposed to this little herd of... Fuck the chat's fucking raging, bro. Nevertheless, are you using Campbell to keep your big money maker away from opponents who could be just a little too dangerous? The champ doesn't avoid anyone, but, but nothing. This interview is over. No further questions. And he spoke Damn, to Nero's lawyer, quote unquote, on behalf of his wife, increasing pressure that he needs to pay up. As you can see, these documents give some. Yeah, so the Shadow Man basically fucking brought them all about. together. My client would never have signed the authorization on these loans. Nonetheless, there it is in black and white. Signed by the missus herself. Nero's family estate is not what it once was. Even if these documents are genuine, we'll need some time to get our affairs in order. I would advise your client that our company intends yeah, to... Yeah, Nero's story, though, is fucked up, though, with his one wife. Week. 15 days at the most. Look, they really do be your own chat. Liam is getting topless Each of these actions pressured the characters into committing the crimes to keep their shoot. secrets. We but before be they followed shoot. through on their murders, in a cruel twist of irony, each of them were actually safe from the blackmail. The only person who could really snitch on Jack was his partner, but he'd sworn to keep it a secret. Hey Jackie, it's me. Some suit from Internal Affairs came by today, asking a whole bunch of questions. I didn't say anything, because I don't know anything. As far as I can tell, you're in the clear. I trust you, Jackie. Let's go up as a full video. Friend. Yes, chat. You're like a brother. Will anybody watch so the full you know video? That I got you back. We'd love tax evasion. Always. Let's go Jessica's producer oh, yeah. turned down the Shadow Man due to a weird it's vibe cool she was getting from him, and actually had a friend too, who was willing to hire so her to be on Broadway. Hey, hey, 
Hey, Jessica. A movie director came by to talk to me today. I love other stories of all over time to have an actual be woman like the I Shadow Man. Kind of crazy that really I told him where to go. Literally, JC, the well, first sorry, hour of this fucking listen, video was about how Alpha Omega is literally is, one of the most important of maps I'm of, of all time. Wrangler. And that Here's fucking My partner's written a musical depresses just got financed. I know that you're going to be perfect for the lead. It's literally one of the most important maps in this entire fucking entire BO1 timeline. Fraudulent, and he didn't have to pay anything. Fucking hero. I have the most wonderful news. And it's the fucking nuked down. Well, your wife was fraudulent. She forged your signature on the loan agreements, and we can prove it. The date on the forms says November 5th last year. Exactly the same time that you were in the hospital following your performance of the amphibious man. You couldn't possibly assign those papers. You were in a coma for the entire month. As for Floyd, his actually comes yeah. after the event. In yeah, reality, the characters, God, if they man. simply did nothing, would have been fine. Some better off than where they started. But each of them failed to receive these phone calls, and thus they carried through on the Shadow Man's pressure. Jack Sir. killed his criminal associates. Jessica lured the photographer and stabbed him. Floyd killed Tony King for the championship fight. And this is where Campbell's phone call comes in saying that there will be no investigation into him cheating. Hey Floyd, you did good. You kept your word. Delivered the knockout. I just want Imagine to killing to someone and somebody's like, yo, you did fire, bro. Let's go. Anyway, Drake's in the chat for that, bro. News. What a donkey. It's all set. You got it, Floyd. You got your title shot. January 15th. And Nero killed his wife in a work accident, claiming her life work insurance to pay off accident. her debts. As oh the Shadow God. Man did with the mobsters in Alcatraz, these actions allowed him to create an altered reality, a different morgue city where they were cursed to survive, but more importantly, be used to give him the summoning key. Did they just say it, Chuck? I have been watching. Only the cursed survive, Chuck? Each and every one Chat, of them. are we the cursed? Is that why we are alive? I know who you are. <laughs> questions for me. Why do you do the things you do? Do you not see the futility of your tiny, insignificant existence? You are but fragments of a bigger universe. The shadows are just sins iconic. Serve man. Only as an invitation. I really don't think we'll ever an get a map to like this evil ever again. Beyond your imagination. Like, dude, just the amount of I'll detail do. put into this map. I will show you the path. Story gameplay. Only through me, the Shadow Man, will you find your redemption. <laughs> In this twisted world, he was able to brandish them with the Mark of the Beast, an Apothecon-like curse which gave them the ability to transform and break the seal which contained the summoning key. The Shadow Man tricks the four, posing as an ally, telling them that they can atone for their sins if they follow his guidance. Part I mean, of that is through sacrifices. That if the sense. four characters sacrifice someone close to and important to them, then they can be absolved but of their past it. sins. This leads the characters to sacrifice the only ones who were ever truly yes, on their sir. side to begin with. Sad. Nero's lawyer, Floyd's promoter, so Jessica's saying, producer, bro. and Jack's the partner. Is Their significance depressing. and willingness to stand by these characters likely made for a much stronger sacrifice candidate for the Shadow Man, where they obtained gate worms. These gate worms gate could be used to open worms. a rift for the Apothecons to finally escape the Dark Aether, and yes, that's exactly sir. what happened. Apothecons then flooded Dimension 63. After using uh, the four characters, the Shadow so Man reveals how the he was not their is. ally and was simply Wait, using so you're them to get the me Oh, that's why the pack bunch has a tentacle coming out of it. That's why- wait, so what are they doing with my guns when I give them to Monka W? Summoning key. This does not sit well with the four characters. The Learning of the Shadow Man's deception while initially fighting against the Keepers, the four was... then team up with them to stop him. With the guidance of the Keepers, Nero, Jack, Jessica, and Floyd actually manage to stop the Shadow Man and trap with him the inside death of machine. the summoning key. Yo. They hand the key over to the Keepers so they can protect it and return their dimension to safety, but that's not what that's happens. Probably all slimy. Upon I delivering mean, the summoning key to the Keepers, Richtofen saw the perfect opportunity to claim what he came for. Yoink. I'm so sorry. I really don't have time to explain. I have a universe to. Survive. I mean, chat. It just makes sense that last gen Richtofen is also canon. He takes the summoning key so that sense. he may carry on his journey, leaving Dimension 63 to die. In a very literal sense, with the Apothecans free in this dimension and the summoning yeah, key not no, no, there JC, to rid them of that Yeah, no, no, JC. I was saying like BO3 literally made sense of maps like Five or Shangri La because Shangri La just sort of ended, and they were just like, "Well, what the fuck was the point of that?" You know. Because at the time during BO1, it was to make the get the Vril device, but dude, it just, there's so World, much. Dimension 63 is destroyed from this point forward. Yep. 
Bye bye, Dimension 63. It's time for Primus now, right? With the summoning key yes. retrieved and the Cronorium in what hand, Richtofen can now work towards Monty's plan of creating a perfect reality. Monty yep. needs Richtofen and the others to help him create perfect it, and as a reward, reality. their souls would oh be in God. this new reality. This information yes, would be relayed by Dr. Maxis, who was the one interacting with Richtofen. Monty yes, attempted sir. to remain more in the shadows. So, Maxis told Richtofen to collect their souls. After obtaining the summoning key, Richtofen ventured off on his own journey to collect his soul. It seems no matter the reality, he's never been the vulnerable the best zombies type. Map of all time. He doesn't like to be True. seen in a certain way, Black Ops. and where True. he was going was exactly that. Well, that's why his he was childhood. All alone, Dimension yeah. 2 to 10 is where a child version of Richtofen resided. The Damn. Cronorium told him that he must go to this dimension, this iteration of his soul. But the undeniable fact is that there was sadness here that he wanted to face alone. I don't think I fucking... It's the story of Dimension 2 know about this. It's the story of my soul. I was just a boy then. I wonder what map this is. Innocent. I was a sensitive child. A lonely child. Well, this sounds Orphaned like Tom. at a young age. I never got to know who I really was. But one day, I learned who I would grow up to be. I had to do it. The Cronorium told me. I... Oh, had to trick so he fucking tricked it himself? Into trusting a complete stranger. I took my own soul. Oh, Before it could ever have a chance I get that. to flourish. Is it any wonder? And the way I am. Damn. His soul would be reincarnated at the house by Dr. Monty as Eddie. Considering their history, Samantha and Eddie get along as well as you'd expect. As the gates to Agartha opened, the four heroes Fuck. with riches beyond imagination. Ah, oh, it's the origins cutscene. From that day forward. See, now this Samantha makes way more safe. sense. But dude, when they play this at the end of the origins cutscene, everyone's like, wait, so it was all fake? But that's not what it is. It's literally they're just Getting creating a new storyline. I told you before that I should be. Was Dimension 63 the place where origins happen? I like, don't know. You don't know. even know how to play properly. I don't think Girls so. Girls don't know enough about zombies. Actually, I think so. Yes. No, I think you're right. I think you're right. Origins sure is Dimension 63. Sure Everything sure Black Ops 3 sure. is Dimension 63. You better do what your dad says. Everything Black Ops 3. I didn't yeah. even get my turn. Everything Black Ops 3 is Dimension 63. Tomorrow, Eddie. You get to make the rules. Origins mob. SOE. I promise. Isn't D.E. Zetsubo, G.K. and Rev? No, Rev is different. I wish the heroes in our stories were real, Sam. I know what you mean. I think G. Oh, no, no, no. Because G. D. E. Okay. Zetsubo and G. K. I think are just random. My yeah, the fractures. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, so Dimension 63. The alarm that is heard is not one of the I guess it does it's include one of arrival. It signifies a new soul is entering True. the house. I figured True. I might as well explain it while we're here. Richtofen then returns to Nikolai, Takio, and Tank after the events of Origins and brings them along on his journey as their souls are needed as well. Yes, Richtofen sir. didn't exactly disclose what he was doing. It was impossible to hide the interdimensional time jumping, and so the others came to believe that he was trying to change history, which was not inherently wrong. I mean, they weren't on board, but perhaps tagged along wrong. just to yeah. make sure that he wasn't doing anything insane, but he always is. What Richtofen Did really sought to do cheater? right now was Fuck create off. a paradox. By creating a paradox in one future. dimension, it would spawn fractures <laughs> no. within that dimension. I'm These glad fractures all stem it, from that dimension's paradox and veer off history in the Sorry, I left. Where are we at now? It's We're about like to head to the glass. giant. The initial dimension is complete and clean, but by creating a paradox, it shatters it, creating all sorts of different timelines and variations. Yes, Richtofen was free to mess with these fractures without affecting the initial timeline's history, and so he sought to do that with the original. I timeline. like that imagery. It's that the he used. greatest paradox you could possibly hope to create. It. For if not for the original timeline, then no other timelines would exist premise included. So with the help of Dr. Maxis opening portals from the house in Agartha, Richtofen and the others Only traveled origin, to Greece to his other and self just moments after he teleported that universe. Everything Maxis else are fractures Samantha. like they're describing right now. The video's blocked in full screen? Really? The giant intro? Fucking who? Who's fucking blocking the giant intro cutscene? Can I get a L? Dr. Maxis. Yikes. I mean, shit, let's just skip this. Chat, you've seen the giant intro cutscene. I'm skipping this because you've Not seen the giant intro this. cutscene. You no do timeline. not need a refresher yeah. on the we'll giant see if we live intro cutscene. Come on, chat. Before we go any further, it is important to note, while this is theoretically the original timeline with the Ultimus characters, the actual original timeline is untampered. Ultimus is still currently at Area 51 under research from Dr. Schuster teleporting them from the future where they blew up the world. 
So no matter what changes happen from here on out, that timeline remains exactly the same. The characters right. that are going to be hunted down are Ultimus in story, so it's but just a different timeline, ones. But Rick Dauphin's actions different. here would be disguised. He pretends Fuck, to collect his so soul simply as that. theatrics for the other three but still hides his intent on making the universe right. Dempsey, no, Nikolai, bucks. and Takio's really outlook on Richtofen is chat. not good. Despite having assisted him during the events of Origins, they still believe him to be evil to various degrees. Dempsey has a I difficult mean, time trusting kind him due to his be, cryptic though. and manipulative nature. Takio is probably the most welcoming of Richtofen, picking up on his sense of purpose. Though, much like everyone else in the beginning, he's hesitant to trust him. But probably the most friction is with Nikolai. Considering they were on diametrically opposing sides of the war, he still blames him for all of the bloodshed endured during it. So, you gonna tell me what the fuck you were doing back yeah, there? Yeah, the dialogue Dempsey, between the characters the giant, in the giant was you cool. You simply wouldn't understand. I right after this. we got here, after you said goodbye and to your twin, in game. you did something strange. You were, you just strange. I love ah, this. Dempsey, you're really going to have to narrow it down. I know you're sick, Richtofen, but why were you messing around with your own corpse? That wasn't my body. That was someone else entirely. Someone a bit like me, but not. He's dead. Hey, I know what I, I mean, saw. True, I not, saw you stoop down and hold something against the body. Pictures, Dempsey. Pictures. Or it didn't happen. Pictures There's something I was going to ask happen, you. Fam. What he was it? Oh, dear him. Dempsey. Is your Damn. memory loss perhaps due to your prolonged exposure to Element 115? Or are you just one of Rick those stupid Dempsey's German? Your actions happen. defy reason. But you seem driven by a sense of purpose. I do have a purpose, Takeo. A purpose you will come to share. You only have to trust me. You trade on lies and deceit, Richtofen. True. Give me one trust reason you, why I should trust you. you. I don't have time to explain now, but yes. I have a message for you. A message from the Emperor. What do you know of the Emperor? It has been so wrong. Ah, oh, bro, that's what I'm saying, man. The premise storyline is so me. You have not been you know, forgotten, Kale. Stay strong, and your path will become illuminated. I do not understand your riddles, German. How will my path say. become illuminated? The spirits of your Emperor ancestors are not the only voices you will hear, Takeo. Trust your I'm instincts. I'm about to chop her as disconnected. Last night, I had a dream. <laughs> I dreamt of a house. Hey, a I house need chopper has children. disconnected yes. in the chat, boys. Hold on to that thought, Takeo. In time, you will come to learn the significance of your visions. German. I will keep asking until I get an answer. What are we doing here? Putting right. things right, Nikolai. Ah, uh, right. I use that. Your words quote are empty. Your soul is hollow. How could you ever hope to put things right? Nikolai, I realize that I'm often hostile towards you. The it's BLT simply because your are ideology so is diametrically too. opposed to mine. We are allies only because of our situation. We will not fight shoulder to shoulder forever, Richtofen. Though we may not see eye to eye, Nikolai, know this. I possess an artifact that will help us on our journey. You can never wash away the blood on your hands, Richtofen. You are an evil that must be I mean, stopped. Shit, I'm helping you more than you realize, evil. Nikolai. After all, didn't I just kill myself a little while ago? I know what Hell I'm doing. Hell yeah, brother. The beacon will allow Maxis to find us. The Who giant MLG boys. What I've in the chat if you saw that lore Apart video, boys? Very important lore video for Everyone the time. Everyone else's line. dynamic is unique in their Very own ways. Important. Can I trust you, Nikolai? Because last time I checked, we were enemies. When did you last check? We were allies cool in all three of our wars. The Rick Dauphin seems to think he has some kind of plan. Of I'm not so sure about that. I can't imagine I think he's fucking delusional. When Rick Dauphin speaks of right, putting things right, 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 right do you think he has found a way to end this nightmare? After France, I'm starting to believe that anything is possible. Maybe there is a way to end all of this. To return to our homes, our old lives. Our families. I mean, chat, you guys have he heard these quotes How many quotes wives is it you've had, Nikolai? Well. I, I gotta imagine. be honest, Especially I lost count. Point. As a Russian, I know how to endure, how to survive. Dare I hope for something more than that? Not you can dare. I don't know if it'll do any good. So much, in my so experience, his wishes hardly ever come I mean, true. Yeah, hey, Tack, dude, we gotta keep an eye on Rick Toffin. I don't know what he's up to, but I don't like it. I share your concerns, Dimsey. We would be wise to remain cautious. Did you notice him doing something weird when we first got here? Weird describes no, really. much of what Richtofen does. Right after he popped himself, when we were holding back the horde, Richtofen knelt down over the body. Why? Perhaps he was paying respects to his foreign self. We gotta piece it all together, Tack. Why the fuck did he come here? Again. We At know not where like Richtofen has traveled, and but I believe his experiences have on. changed him. Wherever he's been, whatever he's been through, I'm not sure Richtofen's any less he crazy than before. Mysteries will reveal themselves in time. They always do. True. This is the nature of our quest. Dang. Besides our thirst for battle, you and I have little in common, Nikolai. You are mistaken, Takio. I have no thirst for battle. I fight because I have yeah, to. Nikolai you have a great disdain for the German. Why does your hatred run so deep? Do I really need to explain that? I mean, I mean true. really? Have you forgotten Richtofen's thirst for chaos? He is a monster, 
An animal. He an is a animal. troubled soul. I can see it in his eyes. But a monster? Huh. I think not. We know not that the journey Richtofen has we taken. We went from this story to Vanguard. He may hold Shall, more what is wisdom the war? than you realize. I fear the new wisdom he holds will only be used so. to advance his own agendas. We will only survive war, if we all work together, Nikolai. It's just fucking You know this in your heart. Richtofen was the one who left us in the dark, Takeo. We have no idea Vanguard what he's is been a doing. fracture With of the time dead and the fracture of timelines created, Richtofen was ready to proceed. From here, he tells the others that they must secure Dempsey's body. A retrieval is all. Everyone agrees as it seems simple and honest enough. Now, considering Richtofen's death, this obviously forced the timeline ahead of it to shift as well. In this Deceptio fracture, as it is known, Do He made one for... This is three hours. Oh my gosh. Dude, this guy's fucking insane. How do you make complete timelines? Dr. Bro? Groff takes control of... Chat, we're almost five hours in! Drake's in the chat! We're almost fucking done! Five following Richtofen's Let's go. death. At this time, he is still working Holy on the MPD shit. on the moon and fears Samantha. We're about for to whatever get reason, to he intends on sending Dempsey's body to the moon, likely Holy for research. Shit, and this man. is where Primus comes in. They steal one of the giants Group 935 was responsible for creating and use it to pursue the transportation I of Dempsey's body. I wish it would've body. shown that in the giant, leads man. Them Tudor Eisen and then they go to DEA, my dad. Okay, I'm skipping it. You know the cutscene. You know the cutscene. Shut up. You know the cutscene. Shut channel, your though. mouth because you know the cutscene. I've never seen this. I've never, never seen this game play. Often. Never. By the time of their arrival, Dempsey's body was already set on a course to the moon and launched. Though their perspectives have not changed much, the characters slowly begin placing their trust in Richthofen a little more, though they're still on edge. Not exactly going to plan, is it, Richthofen? Or are you going to tell me this is how you planned it? Bro, that everything's fine. So yes, the answer is yes, too, Dempsey. Man. Everything is fine. Definitely I know the best you have questions, but story. you'll have to trust me, Dempsey. Yeah, it's wild that it took this, this much effort to make, dude. I can't even imagine how long you this couldn't even imagine. Shit, yeah. Well, with what your imagination, I, mean. I don't think I'd want Jack, to see all the shit you have. Time has a way of asserting its will, Dempsey. Trust. That is why trust, we must Jack. take steps to intervene. In my possession is the most powerful artifact in this or any universe. A vessel that will allow us to literally save our eternal souls. Don't go getting all spiritual on me, Reptile. <laughs> We're here Only to get out. What? Vessel. Ask yourself, Dempsey, Where's Jesus? what do you want to achieve? What is it you really want? I want to complete my mission. End this chaos once and for all. Our travels across worlds, they used to make me nauseous. Now, they make me... Thirsty? Is that how you are feeling, oh, Nikolai? I no. have a thirst. A thirst unlike any I have felt in years. Be careful, Nikolai. I have seen alcohol lead many I men mean, down the yeah. road to ruin. Do not try to confuse me, German. I know That's why so we are here. Weird to secure the, the American test subject. Is your contempt for me finally diminishing, like my simple-minded Russian friend? I am beginning to think you are not the Richtofen I once knew. You are stronger than you realize, Nikolai. If only your judgment were not so clouded, you would be invincible. What is it you hope to find on our travels, Nikolai? This is literally what is it them setting big up big Russian Nikolai heart wants most of all. I know not Blood why an animal such as you would be curious, Richtofen. But I will tell you. I hope one day to return to the motherland, to return to my family. You told me that you spoke to the Emperor. You told me you had a message. Sadly, Takeo, now is not the right time I for mean, me to explain. Yeah, right when will you speak of the Emperor's sadly, message? If not now, soon, map, my brother. friend. For now, I must focus on Dempsey. Soon, my friend. He has no idea map. of what he will soon have to face. They were Why setting do you up confide the in me, right there. Yeah, I regard absolutely. you with the same contempt as the others. To be yeah, honest, they were setting it back I think it's your irrational commitment to being honorable that makes me trust you, Takeo. I see the chaos in your eyes, German. But yet, I see a stillness in your soul. Despite what lays ahead, they Takeo, know, I am not afraid. It's all that element I know five what juice, happen. man. They know that what's knowledge going brings on. me they know peace. The Search deep inside yourself, Takeo. Tell me what you want, what your heart desires. What I want? What my heart desires? I hear somebody doing the wolf bowl set. I wish go? only to prove my honor in the eyes of the emperor. Hey, Nikolai, the shit goes down with the crowd. You got my back, don't you? I do not understand this American slang, but it better not be what I think it is. I hope to never see the day when we turn on one another. Richtofen Damn. says he's been here before. Well, Was that crazy did. evil Richtofen or this one. new man with a plan Richtofen? I am not sure which Richtofen is most dangerous. Hey, Nikolai, a word. You know. This artifact of Richtofen's, 
Has he shown it to you? Call me crazy, but I'm starting to think Richthofen may actually know how we get out of all this. Crazy you may be, but Richthofen's knowledge cannot be denied. Whether or not he can be trusted is a different matter. Richthofen has told us little of his comrade, Dr. Maxis. I do not like to put my Dr. trust Maxis. in a man I have not met. I know what you mean. Especially seeing as how Richthofen put his damn brain in a jar. You okay, Tack? You and Richthofen seem to be getting pretty friendly these days. You are paranoid, Dempsey. You forget the symptoms of exposure to Element 115. It's interesting element that they blame Element 115. Don't you remember what it does to you, Tack? It makes you forget things. Richthofen yeah. claims knowledge of worlds beyond this realm. Do you believe this is possible? I can't I mean, deny that he knows a lot of stuff, we just but I don't think it's all good. Richthofen told me he had spoken it. with the Emperor, that he had a message for me. I wouldn't hold your breath. Richthofen seems to like keeping secrets. It is unwise I'm to speak lightly break? of demons, no. MC. <laughs> your disrespect will have consequences. I you know, I'm kind of looking for forward to coming face to face five with myself. Hours now, just watching After all, I'm one handsome devil. Takio, what has the German told you of his plans? I know Chat, no more than you. It's wild how this is more entertaining to me than riddles, most movies I watch. Teasing it's a promise insane, I fear really. he cannot fulfill. Your bravery is welcome, Takio, but your blind loyalty to the I Emperor confuses me. Exactly, bro. Do you care only for the individual? <laughs> I seek to restore peace and order to our existence. Such a goal could never be considered selfish. I have long considered you a barbarian and a brute. Is there more to you than that, Nikolai? None of you know what I have lived through, like hell, what yeah, I have I endured. I believe this journey will teach us much about ourselves and each other. I am not sure no how much more there is to know about Richthofen, <laughs> though I fear his words may belie his true oh, intentions. Oh. Do you know this Dr. Maxis of whom Richthofen speaks so fondly? I feel we have encountered him before, but I know not when, how, or why. The journey to collect Dempsey's body is made difficult by Dr. Groff. He is adamant in yeah, continuing Group 95's research, stooge. even when he comes into contact guy. with Primus Richthofen. Not even Richthofen himself can get him to cooperate, as he comes to believe that he may be a spy. Groff works as hard as he can to get Dempsey to the moon and secure the him as a test subject, even willing to go so far as to he blow up the entire Der Eisendrack facility to do so. But his efforts fail. Primus redirects the missiles towards the moon, blowing it, Griffin Station, and Dr. Like, it's Groff wild that this Dempsey's minor is shot portion down, of the story is, is one of the most known parts of the zombie story needs like. their souls to that's the a fuck shit future. about the story they include so much it includes so chat i'm he also gonna skip this you Trump you have seen this the moment you have seen this universe. you cannot blame me you have seen the verdict of the derizen drac map i'm going to skip Bernie all the cutscenes you have seen Come on, gamers. The characters accept Richthofen's goal of trying to save the universe and needing their souls to do it. What initially started out as a journey founded upon deception turned into a cumulative effort to save the universe. From here, Maxis teleports the characters to an entirely new fractured dimension known as the Predetone Fracture. In this what? dimension, we follow the origins of Ultimus Takio they and the major events the from fractures? the original timeline. Division 9 is formed after discovering Element Chad, 115 this is the fracture where Takio gets but this timeline shifts as that facility winds up getting overrun by zombies. Division 9 then make a new facility on an island at the map Zetsubo no Shima. <laughs> on this island, they've experimented on pretty much everything. The plants, the animals, mainly spiders, and some scientists. G like the original Timeline, Takio is sent oh, to the facility to oversee the, its the experiments where means. he reports the work being done here is unacceptable, for which the Emperor orders Takio to hand himself over to be tested on for well, the based experiments, Let's go. and he was forced to endure whatever was done to him. When the characters arrive in this fracture, it's not quite where they wanted to be. They of teleport course. on a Division 9 ship where they are taken prisoner. And they get... Chat, like, you really think I'm about to sit through this, man? Heck. I'm skipping the Zetsubo intro cutscene. You've seen the intro cutscene. They teleport on the ship. They have an Indiana Jones style cutscene. And they get to a fucking random land. Sit through. I'm going to sit through you, After washing up on brother. the shore of the island, they begin their search for Takio. Hey, Richtofen, Japanese, why don't you tell your pal Maxis to drop us off exactly where we need to be next time? We are dealing with the complexities of the interdimensional the time travel across the fracturing universe. It's not exactly easy. Keep a close watch on Takeo. We need but to It's like, we know this. We, uh, Why the chat if you dead. don't know this BO3 yeah, story? I know like the drill. You. You've literally there, played that. I the know the trauma the hasn't affected you too negatively. That's the Dempsey. one thing I'm After all, confident about. It was about. all for the best. Trauma. Call it what it was, Richthofen. He had us track down another me just so we could kill him off. I've told you before, Dempsey. It is essential that we remove all fragments of our other selves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Their continued existence could still lead to the destruction of the Earth and the collapse of the universe. Do you trust me yet? <laughs> I mean, After like, everything okay. that's happened and the way Why you seem to be the one in charge so of bouncing us around. It's crazy. I don't see how I've got a lot of choice. 
So, here we are again, out to extinguish another flame that you say stands between us and peace. When the time comes, Takeo will do what needs to be done. He, he always does. does. I just wish the they showed the cutscenes of them Rebuffin. arriving to the house. I have yet to you see know? proof that you're not That'll leading cool. us down they the dark path. Did, not Make no really. mistake, Nikolai. The path ahead is very dark. I have never pretended otherwise. You have spoken of how Element dark. 115 corrupts our minds, our memories. It is I mean, an inevitable lying. side very dark as in literal death. I'm surprised you're not used to it by now. If 115 really does corrupt our thoughts, what does that say about imagine you? Imagine doing like 20 you Easter eggs more than any to of us. just die. It is a burden that I'm Could willing. Could you imagine, boys? No. What an L. Destined to bear. Do you trust me yet, Nikolai? We have followed you this far, but where we are going? Where I'm not are sure. we going? I will deal with future when it comes. When you talk of our mission, you refer only to the test subject. Are you afraid From to say his name? Here. Believe me, Takeo, it is far better to let How go of do... personal attachments. You know... They will bring you only heartache. I fear denying Dempsey the chance to better understand himself may have consequences. Even had he been conscious before his death, I do not believe that Dempsey had any great knowledge to impart. You promised that you would deliver sure a message from the Emperor, Richtofen. I can wait no longer. Oh, I will keep my promise. You will have the Emperor's message before the sun rises on this Damn. island. How will my path differ from that of the American? Will I too have to confront my own I mean, mortality? He's like, we we'll cross, cross that bridge in the next map. Talk Even I am not GK, sure exactly man. how events will play out. Do you trust me That's yet, Takeo? You have promised me answers. Yet? Soon. I have to in believe you will stay hours, true to your word. Are you beginning to see the method in Rick Dolphin's madness? Ago, today? You, who were once his sworn enemy. The German's the least scary thing around here. No. Besides, we're all I in this together. I feel like you need to watch the video You'll see more reflective these days. Perhaps you are not the headstrong Dempsey you once were. I think you're reading too much into things, Tack. I'm just tired after that swim. So, okay, you sure you're up to the task ahead, He's like, Tack. I'm just we tired after turning on the fucking power, ahead. brother. My path may be different from yours. I'm just saying, Tack, if you have to do what I had to do, you may not find it I mean, easy. Your spending. concern is as appreciated as it is unexpected, Dempsey. Aside from your ramblings in the heat of battle, you seem to be more at peace, Dempsey. What can I tell you? Seeing how you From check out is a hell of a way to get perspective. Really so, Nikolai, I hear you say something a while ago about going back to your family. I think you're mistaken. Perhaps confused. So, about your wives. How many did you have? Or are you just claiming victories you never had? I do not wish to discuss this matter any further. We have mission. You I appear mean, yeah, closer to Rick Toffin than I have seen before. Do you really consider him an ally? Look, he knows a whole lot more about this craziness than the rest of us. I think he really does have a plan. Really I am still unsure plan, of the German's brother. motives. For all his talk of making things right, there is still madness in his eyes. I mean, Maybe that madness is what we need die, right man. now. Tell me, Nikolai, do you think you could do it? Kill your other self if it meant it would put things right? I would never give up without fight. This I know I deep mean, in my Gerard heart. You and like. the German <laughs> were once sworn enemies, I'll Nikolai. I'll never give up without a fight. Are you beginning Literally to see his goals in as GK. though they are your own? Ours is an alliance of convenience, Takio. I still despise the German with every fiber of my being. You must have a strong reason to ally with the German. Yes, sir. I sense a longing in your soul. A longing for something beyond your reach. I may have dreams, Takio, but I know they are not reality. My life is only war. It is all I know. Do not question me any further, Takio. Yeah, chat. Who's my got the saddest and my story? Past Rick are mine and Nikolai? Mine alone. I have little interest They're in the secrets, They're all fucking sad, TBH. Unless they are the kind that put our but alliance Nikolai's at risk. I will fight fuck, until there dude. are no more battles to be won. Rick and when that they come, what kind his own of man soul? will you be, Nikolai? I mean, when all this madness ends, I will sure. still be the man I always was. You a loyal servant of Mother Russia. Rick may have confidence in his plans. But none of us can truly know the nature I mean, of our yeah, own I mean, destiny, Nikolai. Thomas' in travels Omega. inevitably lead them to Imagine the underground dying prison where Takio no. resided. Okay, chat, we know the Takio Zetsubo ending <laughs> cutscene! It is important, though, because this is the point where it splits between BO4 and BO3. So this is where I'm going to skip it. We all know they start off with the white must be portal. There's a chain of events. Call of Duty, they got to play. As Richtofen said, there was somewhere they needed to go first before collecting Nikolai's soul, and that was true. 
Richtofen is not someone who doesn't think things through, and this plan that Maxis and Dr. Monty were having him running around doing had some unanswered questions. I Richtofen mean, knew that he was collecting questions. their souls so they could live on in a universe free from all of the calamity they were forced to endure. But what didn't have an answer was what happened to them after this universe is created. If all universes where the Apothecons existed get wiped from existence, what happens to the people within those universes? Fuck, well, you're asking Richtofen too many figured questions. that likely they would too die and disappear alongside them. This was only further perpetuated by the Chronorium itself, which detailed how no matter the universe, Richthofen died in all of them. In and as you could have figured, one. he didn't want to die. He needed what he referred to as an insurance policy, an ace up his sleeve that no one, especially Dr. Monty, knew about. A way to cheat fate and death itself. Richthofen's plan was the to use blood, blood vials, vials blood obtained from individuals from dimensions that were no longer going to exist after everything was said and done. This was the purpose of the secret Alcatraz base he had built however long ago. The blood of Sal and Finn were going to protect Richthofen. He was given this blood even before the events of Origins from a future version of himself, which is why he has the blood vials the entire time we've been with him. Meanwhile, the blood of Victus was going to protect the others. Collecting their blood was also part of his plan. By being in possession of their How blood, how musty it is that blood in the blood and preserve their chat. lives? That this is where the characters arrive at Alcatraz to meet the other version disgusting. of Richthofen, who just obtained the Chronorium, and delivered the blood to himself, and obtained Victus' blood vials to hand them over to the other characters. If you've played the games, this is not where Blood of the Dead comes in. In this timeline, Primus arrive, obtain the blood, and simply leave to obtain Nikolai's soul. It's yeah. a very clean entrance and exit. With the blood vials secretly obtained, Maxis teleports the characters to the Agonia yeah, Fracture. Blood of the Dead is In a this whole dimension, other Division 9 had successfully resurrected timeline. dragons for the war. The only way for the Russians to fight back against this was yeah, by stealing now we're going into the research for their giants, and they created their ends. very own models. In this yeah. fracture, the Battle of Stalingrad never ended, and World War II we continued love GK! Element War was also accidentally released on the battlefield, making yes, a three-way war between dragons, mechs, and zombies. In this timeline is also a version of Sophia, Maxis' assistant who was infected and subsequently had her brain transferred into a machine. It seems no matter the universe, this is always Sophia's fate. She was put in charge of the facility in this location and was responsible for much of its going-ons. Research, attempts at taming dragons, development into other soldiers, and weapons. Sophia is in charge here. After being teleported to this new dimension, per the difficulty in Maxis controlling where they come out, they wind up falling through the sky. Fortunately for everyone, when the portal was opened, it also opened under a dead skydiving Peter McCain Chat, from the pre I'm gonna, I'm, gonna bring, I'm gonna pause the video and talk about something. Do you wish that the story ended at Revelations? Because seeing the way that BO4 ended, we didn't get a great war map. I just wish that the game ended at BO3. Uh, because I get a bunch of storyline Andes on my Twitter come at me. And they basically just say, like, you don't understand. Black Ops 4 is so good. It's integral to the story. These zombie YouTubers don't fucking get it. But it's also just like, sure, it's, integri it's integral to the story that they created. But you also have to fucking realize that they made the story. So you can change it however, want, however you want. That's why, like, there's so many storyline Andes that come after me. And they're like, but the, 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 but the, the, but the, the radio, but the, 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 the cutscene, but shut your ass, man. But the slap you. Just before he died, as he did in Shino Numa. While I would usually play the cutscene, this one, quite frankly, has copyrighted music, so... Sorry. I'm true. Upon Thank landing, you. the characters discuss their adventure so the far, the mystery of Richtofen's blood vile adventure, game. and everything I mean, yeah. they've had to go through so far, and what they will have to do. So that's in why the I'm future. just like, bro. It's so, like, Richtofen, are we going to talk about the blood? The you story is if you so want. secondary. So I don't imagine me. it will be a particularly riveting conversation. You took us on a little whistle stop tour of some other locations, said we all needed the blood vials. I was right. This subject is very boring. Can we talk about something else? Okay. True. Maybe you start telling me about your end game. <laughs> Specifically, like what do you plan line. to do with all our that souls rattling around in the summoning key? The house. Like. We have to get to the house. We'll be there soon. The you mentioned White the house? house as if we have the faintest idea what you're talking about. It's a house. I'm talking about the Didn't White I tell house. you? It's where we'll be safe. Forever and ever. Tell me something and give me a straight answer or I swear I'm going to punch you in the gumballs. Now, whose idea the was this plan of yours? I, you know, I, I really don't know. I'm getting confused again. Are you ready to no. face your own demons, Nikolai? What a fucking dummy. Are you prepared for what lies ahead? Wait, what lies mean? ahead? Say what you mean, German. You are referring to the fate of my eternal soul. Your soul is not in danger, Nikolai. The summoning key will contain it. Keep it, Keep it safe. safe. For what purpose? 
I have yet to hear you explain now, what yeah, you I plan to do be when you have our souls. The madness around you will not last forever, Nikolai. I, wish we could I have see told you before, 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 everything yeah. I do has purpose. I aim yeah. to make things better for all of us. I have long I mean, since given this, up trying to make like, sense of your... They obviously had so much fucking story to cover in Alpha Omega, considering how much story is in that map, but it's interesting to see, like, um, like how they did it, and how they did it very well. Even with Alpha Mega. Those Richtofen. So, War is all I will ever I truly mean, yeah, understand. But... You have not explained the purpose behind that. The Forge is so much set up for nothing. Uh, That's you why know what I am cry, referring bro. to. I'm going to have to ask you to trust Real me, Nikolai. Is truly the, the less we speak of the blood, away. the better. It's supposed to be a secret. Trust me, Nikolai. The plan will succeed. Do not worry your ugly little Russian head any further. Doctor's orders. You are an impossible creature, Richtofen. I have a terrible feeling that even you do not know why you do the things you I do. Mean, you have spoken many Nikolai. truths that Trust have come to pass, Trust your intuition, Richtofen. my gamer. It is clear to me that we Trust are bound by destiny. So, will you tell me what our future holds? Alpha Mega Storyline puts the map no. one tier higher. Such knowledge Fuck is a burden no that only I can bear. <laughs> I fear the instability around Fuck us no reflects baby. the instability within Nikolai's mind. I feel like mind. people at that point were so fucking pissed off Nikolai is stronger that they were like, like I don't even give a shit. Not know Alpha Omega, Omega, Omega. I do. What happens <laughs> you know? if our mission that's is how, incomplete? I, that's what I was at least. What happens if we fail to recover the other Nikolai? Failure is a thing of the past, Akeo. I've experienced it time and time again, but no more. We will complete our mission. Long ago, you told me we I would will. hear voices like the best and map that I should time. trust them. Yeah, Takeo. He you will hear Oscar. voices. Even ones that will not always speak to me. What purpose for the blood vials? The ones we retrieved after our journey to the island? Worry not. Their true purpose will become clear. Assuming it comes to that. Which I hope it won't. How's it feel to be back on your old stuff? Also, chat, I know that the Great War memories. map this didn't come out. This is not something I remember. And the Russia I, I knew was not plagued the by giant dragons, the dragons, that we got robots, and flashbacks and aside. You should at least know your way around they the area, right? Why do you assume way? I know my way around? Or not. Just because it I am Russian? Draw me map of fucking Chicago. Stay cool, Nikolai. We won't be here any longer than we need to be. We just need to deal with... That's basically... Mm. You. You did not need to explain pattern, but... Dempsey. Richtofen was first, whatever. you were second, Takio was third. I am not as stupid as you look. Look on the bright side, Nikolai. We get through this, we get the better future Richtofen keeps promising us. Promises can be broken, Dempsey. I fear we're more likely to he, join Richtofen on his descent into insanity. you're speaking way Why are you too so much sad, right Nikolai? Now. I mean, even when I hear you you're yelling like in the heat of battle, I can't help feeling there's something even know about wrong. Anymore. So many things are wrong, Dempsey. It is part of the reason I yell and curse. It takes mind off wrongs. Hey, Tech. I know you went through a rough time saying goodbye to yourself. Not to mention the old betrayal. I confess. Betrayal. Recent events have Let's left me in chicken. Betrayal. But I will follow the road ahead of me. The road ahead is long <laughs> and dark. Do you remember? And one of the times you've ever played Halo, you, you, by you ever hear the words? Insights unseen betrayal. to us. I believe well, I he is shout indeed out to on a path of redemption. I'm not sure if Richtofen can ever be redeemed, Tech. He's got a lot of blood on his hands. Even if his own redemption is, is impossible, I fucking love he still one. seems eager to make amends. Too still don't know exactly what he's up to, though. Especially that business with the blood vials. I believe there is bigger picture that we are not yet able to I see. I love how all the quotes attack. are like, there's a I bigger picture, guys. Indeed. Just wait. Time Just look to the next map. Mysteries. To the next map. It has shrouded for so long. I would not dare to presume. And then the next map but I think I understand some of what you must feel, Nikolai. I look around me and see my country consumed by madness. I myself am uncertain as to what I must feel. At least we have a sense of purpose. Something that has all too often eluded us. We are all being led down a dark path toward an unknown destination. Listen to the voices around us, Nikolai. I believe they have much wisdom to impart. I have heard many like, voices. Dude, it's so but I wild have heard how they wisdom. did all of this. And Chad, you have to realize unknown. all these quotes are, are bound in together game. only by convenience. So you only Personal hear this if you're next aside. to the character. And it I would be it random, so you'd have to play the, the map multiple times. He has knowledge of realms beyond our world. understanding. I believe Fucking that Richtofen will betray us again. Mark my words. Like literally, just it is his nature. Respect for him, like Mid game. I disagree. Insanity. The characters are forced to use Sophia and her assistants if they want to get to Nikolai. One of the most unexpected steps they must do is extract information from Gersh. Yes, 
That Sad. Gersh. Unlike all of the other characters who exist in Fractures and are simply oh a duplicate in some way, shape, or form, Gersh is the same one well, from the I original Well, I did not timeline. expect to get to After this After Ultimus part. freedom from his entrapment, his soul we got was to launched Gersh through space, killed, time, and dimensions, Grand, where he wandered holy. as an entity. Like, we're almost he effectively done, lost his BO4 mind, is rambling next. about the universe and, and space BO4 and time. Over. He even recognizes the characters, but, but doesn't realize that they're not the Ultimus group that actually saved him. Sophia extracted information from him via interrogation. While she said it was not going to hurt him, this out. was a lie, I know, dude, and Gersh was gets killed fucked. by Sophia. Gets fucked in the end, in Sophia gets, gets what she wants, freedom, that and only the desire Russia, to America find her lost Lord love, Maxis. She ascends in the universe in an attempt to find him. Get, Meanwhile, Primus confronts Nikolai, but as his Primus self predicted, he doesn't go down Gersh. without a fight. But they inevitably... Vanguard Lord after? after? Yeah, boys, we can cover that one real quick. Real quick, boys. Okay, chat, we know the Garage Krovi cutscene. One in the chat if you know the Garage Krovi cutscene. Wow, I do know the Garage Krovi cutscene. With the souls retrieved, it was finally yes. time to go to Agartha, give Dr. Monty the summoning key, and with it, I get do. their happy Shut ending. Create a universe up. free from apothecons, zombies, and their souls can live in peace. Yes, sir. The only detail unaccounted for is I've that no that one aside from so the Shadows of Evil crew shot. knew that the Shadow Man was trapped inside the summoning key. True. Okay. Uh, let's recap Only the bit, SOE crew knew that. This and the SO crew, so the SOE crew fucked us up. World. Oh, that's Free why all the red. evil oh, and that's the corrupted each and every red. corner of the shit. known yeah, and yeah, yeah, unknown yeah. universe. It was going to be a place of safety for the kids. The little yous. You little... Well, so far, so good. You little fucking bastards. Get the fuck up. We're but playing Rebel fucking wrong. Light. Soon after you arrived. Get the fuck up. The Shadow Man's in the fucking summoning now, key. I can understand you better your wake the fuck up, face face up and get races. ready to fucking fire. Fire on the zombies, lad. But you did the right thing. So remember the you followed watching the, plan. the first time? Yeah, like now that I here, watch it, it makes more sense. Oh, chat, yeah, it's the Revelations intro, boys. We know the Revelations <laughs> intro. <laughs> oh, guys, we know the Revelations intro. Right, and then the Shadow Man comes out and he fucks far, everything up, up, dude. Exactly. Yeah. Shit show. I remember, and Monty says, GG. As Monty said, the only reason Enjoy the Shadow Man was able to escape was because Maxis didn't have a soul, only a vessel and a brain. And yep. thus, he could be corrupted by the Dark Aether's influence. You the Apothecons were now free in realize. Agartha, causing destruction My and bad. dimensions colliding, and yet again, it was on the characters to fix it. So, Richtofen, with all this mayhem unfolding around us, have you formulated a new plan? Yes, Dempsey. My plan is to live through this I day. love how they always we can bitched do that, him, like it's we their still dad. Have a chance. Those like, kids in the what house, do we do now, they're dad? actually us, created from our souls in the summoning key. Yeah, Dempsey, the children are us. Man, they but they are play. free of the confusion and delusion that has shaped Shit. our existence. They so never played COD Monty. Zombies. What do you actually know about him? Was he another group 935 scientist oh, or something? I wonder if there's a version <laughs> like that of me. Oh, no. He may call himself a doctor, but Monty is so much more than that. that. How do I know this isn't what you wanted all along, Richtofen? I mean, throwing the whole universe into perpetual chaos seems like exactly the kind of thing you'd do. You are wrong, Dempsey. Just as Dr. Monty explains, this is not the future we had sought to secure. Something has gone terribly terribly wrong. So, answer me honestly. Just how much of this chaos is your fault? Did our little trip to Alcatraz have anything to do with it? <laughs> Literally, quiet, yes. I told you. That's mm -hmm. our little yes, secret. I know you're not game. particularly fond of me, Nikolai. It's a whole but I promise game, you, brother. I'm really trying hard. <sighs> you should try harder. The children in the hard. house, oh, like my mom. they are us. Are we to believe that they are vessels for our eternal soul? Yeah, Nikolai. That is exactly what they are. Vessels for our eternal souls. What of these bodies that we currently inhabit? I like that they explain What becomes of us when the battle so is over? You will cool. see, Nikolai. Just but one the, day, the, the you will thank me. Your plan that. forced me to relive painful memories I would rather were left in the past. I am not sure I should thank you for that. You misunderstand me, Nikolai. I'm referring to the future, not, not the, the past. past I fear that our future will soon be upon us. Our journey's end is rapidly approaching. Let us just agree to disagree, Nikolai. Dang, he I have every intention of living a long and eventful life. We have traveled Dang. far, Richtofen. But what do you know of our true destination? I mean, we have to focus on restoring order to this universe, Takeo. What happens to me? I which means to doing the kind kid. of things I mean, we usually do. Questions remain unanswered, I mean, Richtofen. Kids at heart, chat. What of the children? The Monte what Doctor seem to imply that they are up? us? They are what we could be had we lived in a world oh, unsullied by the evil. Chad, the video had to buffer. They're like, bro, you really watch this? Up to if six the children hours? are us, 
than what of us, the bodies we now inhabit. What becomes of them when order is restored? Monty, that question has been on my mind for a long Dr. time, Monty. Gail. I believe the answer is not one that would bring you <laughs> any are comfort. Fortnite are you returning to your old duplicitous ways, Richtofen? Do you have another agenda that we are unaware of? I promise nah, you, Takeo, I will make this right. With or without the help of Dr. Monty. Have faith, Takeo. Other than I all mean, the times I betrayed, the tortured, or tried to kill you, have I ever let you down? You have kept your word. As you had promised, I was shown the I truth. I was shown the truth. Behind yeah. my own misguided path. You still seem real mad at Richthofen. You having second thoughts, Nikolai? Second thoughts? My opinion of the German has barely wavered. But I believe we are I serving mean, how do you not purpose. believe so you're serving a higher purpose? So you think is the real deal? I see no other explanation, Nipsey. But as for how closely his goals are aligned really to the Toffins, is something that. that remains to be seen. I know. And you put up a bigger fight than the rest of us. You think your gut feeling about Richthofen was right all along? Each of us have made the ultimate sacrifice in the name of Richthofen's plan. We have hunted down and extinguished our other selves. We'll fight side by side, back to back. Even if it's for the last time, yeah, Nikolai. Though I fear I like the end quote. approaches, I, like that quote. I believe Richtofen holds cards he has yet to play. So, like Tak, you notice anything off when we bagged Nikolai's soul in Stalingrad? Many things were off on our last mission, Dempsey. But I believe I know what perplexes you. The big beam of light that came out of the summoning fucker. It shot right up into the sky, <laughs> and I saw figures in it. You, me, Nikolai. But no Richtofen. An intriguing realization. No An unlikely revelation. Like, if our memory of Stalingrad is correct, like. why do you think we saw only three figures? I'll tell you what I think. I think our pal Richtofen ain't got a soul. Not sure if he ever I did. Mean, hmm. he's if our souls are truly within the children, then what is left of us? Exactly. I'm starting to see a flaw in this Damn. plan. Specifically, that we don't seem to feature. Perhaps when the battle is over, our spirits will join in unity. Ascending to another plane of existence. I ain't sure I like the sound of that. What if I don't want to be a fucking kid? What if I just want to be me? You know that this journey yeah, has changed us all, Nikolai. Anybody just I cannot be dispute a that. Kid or anybody the fact be that me? I allowed myself I to do what I did you me, proves man. that. Would you oh. welcome a fresh start? Tokyo's on nobody's side. I mean, dude. The chance to live a new life. Lost the emperor. Far from this realm of he violence and fear. However much I would wish it to be otherwise. I know that my past is gone forever. I do not believe the survival of our eternal souls is the real driving force behind Richtofen's agenda. He is a selfish creature. I think you it's are mistaken. Force, but I believe this Richtofen has sacrificed more than we may ever know. What yeah, do you I give him props for I doing all these quotes because the they power. tell you something without telling you anything Dr. at all. Monty may well offer they us really our best hope for the that. future. Whatever it's it may so be. Much Tell me, Takio. For what telling do you believe in? My beliefs have changed greatly. But I will tell you one thing I know for sure, Nikolai. Even though we are bound by destiny, in our hearts, we are a team. While oh, here and gamer. before confronting the Shadow Man, Richtofen instructs the others Burbage. to drink their blood vials. Oh, shit, by doing so, their blood was mixed, making them, in a sense, other people. But most importantly, people from destroyed universes. Sal and Finn Ooh. hail from Dimension 63, which so was destroyed by the Apothecons at the end of Shadows of Evil. Victus are from the original timeline, which was destroyed by Maxis so at the end of Barry. And all of them were in a purgatory. The Primus characters' is blood mixed with theirs, becoming them, and thus protecting them, creating a paradox. Despite the Shadow Man's best attempts at trying to convince the characters that Monty is evil as well and does not have their best interests at heart, Primus still carry through with stopping him. The Shadow Man is defeated, and Hell thanks yeah, to the assistance boys. of Sophia, Revelations, who had since found Maxis and boys, arrived during the character's go. current adventures, that the two save the universe. Maxis still resides inside I can't of the summoning key, here, absorbs the souls we're of the children, and together the two Chat, walk away nine the is next. and <laughs> all evil from the The, the Easter Zombies map 9 is next, boys. We will do it Ooh, together. Let's go. As one we They're going to explain the chaos storyline now. And forever. What you looking at me for, huh, motherfucker? What you looking at me for, huh? The fuck you looking at, huh? That's what I fucking thought. Okay, chat, this will be the one cutscene I do watch just because it's so short and I want to see now after watching fucking six hours of shit. With the evil vanquished, what it means. I can stop making it all nice again. No undead, no apothecums, no shadow man. All of it gone. Yay, but gameplay. Here, here's the funny thing. Here's the funny thing. You snowflake shouldn't even still be here. You motherfuckers are You should be fading out of existence by now. 
I mean, those kind of blood vials. I was wondering when you'd bring this up. They're from realities we've already closed off. They shouldn't be here. They can't be here. Such a paradox means you're putting my perfect world at risk. You guys and your bloody free will. What to do? What to do? Free will. Well, you certainly can't like... stay here. You could send us somewhere else. Somewhere we've never been. Hmm. I suppose I could make a little corner somewhere in history. A place where I can dump some of the other shit that I've left over. Or I just wipe you from existence. It's God be wiped. Ooh, hang on. Actually, that all works out perfectly. It's the cycle, Dad. They got put in the fucking cycle. In the map that we never played. Cause chat. I would not be surprised. Here's my theory. Listen to this. One in the chat if you think this is real. My theory is that if we were to get a Great War map, it would have ended with this exact cutscene but in a good ending. That would have been fucking insane to see. It would have literally been this exact cutscene. This one. But in a different ending. I still don't get the lore. Wait, have you been watching for six hours? You still don't get the lore. What Monty did here was fix a paradox. The concept of a paradox itself threatens his very existence, and he might die ending? due this. to one. This Despite being alive for who it's knows how long, he still bad. values his own life and doesn't want to disappear. So he fits. It's so interesting that Zombie suggests that. Like, the cyclical ending, they give off, like, with a good note. But it's actually the bad ending, because it's kind of like you're always in a cycle of this, this shit that you're doing. It's fucking really telling, man. What are they trying to say, man? What are they trying to say? But the real ending is the sad ending, which is the good ending. It's kind of like they're taking that mantra of like, you got to do the right thing, not the easy thing. That's why this game is fucking crazy, man. This paradox Richthofen had created by placing them inside of a cycle. He sent them to the Great War when the humans fought off the Apothecons. Primus are those four heroes that saved everyone. From the beginning of the timeline, it was always them. Yep. But for them, it was where their cycle ended. They saved humanity, protected it, and would simply go on to die. They are, but human after all. Yeah, it makes you wonder who's living in the cycle themselves. The future. How for do example, you break one of the their warriors cycle? Who fought with them during the war was the Wolf think? King. As his name would oh, imply, he had tamed dad. various wolves to fight alongside him my in battle. Dad. He looked at Primus as the bravest warriors he'd ever seen. They were the ones who told him to build his castle, which would be the location of Der Eisendrak. But oh, yeah, this was Primus's fate. They save the universe, die, and their younger selves meet again at the beginning of Origins, where their whole journey repeats itself. I don't get this part, but back to destined D. destined to repeat exactly nah. how it does now. Despite Richthofen reading the Cronorium and attempting to avoid I mean, it's just fate, Monty it putting exactly them back in the cycle chat. Which led to this outcome. It is also the it's reason always Richthofen Monty. wanted to save Monty's the souls the of Dempsey, Nikolai, and Takio. Following a singular pathing of the timeline, the four, while they do grow closer, it's still only ever so slightly. By the end of Revelations, where their journey ends, Nikolai never comes to trust Richthofen. Dempsey believes he may know what he's doing, and Takio believes in his heart the most. But Richthofen, his understanding of the timeline isn't quite so linear. He yeah. has the Cronorium, he's traveled between dimensions, he's experienced so much with the others, life, death, and rebirth. So when he saw versions of the other three die, it got to him. It actually upset him. That is the reason he tries to bring them along on his journey in the first place, why he includes them in collecting their souls. He wants them to live on because of everything they've I'm ready gone for through, the test shot. even if they After don't know six it. Hours the of journey doesn't voice, require ready all the of test, their please. souls, but Richthofen wanted all Let's of their souls to be safe. Quiz, but as was heard via the conversations the during their travels, Richthofen often says how the others are losing their memories thanks to 115 delusions of dimension hopping, for which he was asked about himself, but his response was that it was just a burden he must bear. In reality, they were right. Richthofen suffered the most Element 115 delusions, traveling so yep, much he would right, forget dude. so much of the information the he learned. The forming. result was him just feeling so tired at the end of each cycle. He tries so hard to save them, only to fail. Primus's cycle repeats who knows how many times. Tens, hundreds, millions, infinitely, they may have gone through the cycle with Yeah, it makes you wonder how many times happening. they... That was until one little rat came along it. and changed everything. Or, the one little sorry, rat. Should I say, weasel. one weasel changed hey. everything. 
During one of the infinite cycles Primus finds themselves in, during one of them, and the Cronorium the changes. Story. The Cronorium doesn't change, or isn't supposed to change, is more accurate. History plays out one way across all realities. But something in this reality broke the cycle. And the person who did that was Albert the Weasel Arlington. Albert! The mobsters were stuck in their own cycle, endlessly destined to repeat their escape could you imagine, Alcatraz. Jack, could you imagine going to prison and you end up fucking breaking a cycle that these mother four motherfuckers have been in for literally a century? Could you imagine? Shout out to Al. But Al managed to break free from that cycle. Hey man, if that's what going so, to prison had is ripple like, effects across I'd be down. all dimensions. Richthofen never expected it. The Cronorium only pertains to the person reading it, and Richthofen wasn't the one who broke the cycle. So, how does this change things? Well, as for premise, the cycle is broken after collecting Takio's soul. In the cycle, the characters obtain Takio's soul, arrive at Alcatraz to obtain Fictus's blood vials, immediately leave and make their way to Russia to get Nikolai's soul. But in that cycle, they arrive at the secret laboratory on time according to schedule. But in the broken cycle, they arrive late, teleporting to the wrong area, with the bad news that the Cronorium has changed. And then this is the Blood of the Dead intro. The Blood of the Dead intro's blocked, chat give us L. The fire. L. Actual L. This one's long too, so we're gonna skip this. L. 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 Story, okay, Dr. change of plans. We should be looking for the other Nikolai, but no, it's the I same universe. When it's I just they I, do I something mean, differently. Me. But now, surely, they figure out the right way to change the chronology. I know all too well what lies Which ahead. Is with <laughs> enough riddles, Richthofen. Have I not already given you enough? My blade, my honor. It was such a cool soul. setup for Blood Everybody of the Dead, man. Shit together, I'm gonna start such a cool too. setup for Blood so of the Dead. If, if I only the fucking game Richt plays copied good, the entire plan from such special book. Such a good setup. Special book change its Chad, mind. It's crazy to think that. Think about this, boys. Think about this. I think that the Blood of the Dead story is better than Mob of the Dead. I genuinely believe that. I genuinely even believe that the setup for Blood of the Dead was good. Blood of the Dead. Imagine, chat. Blundell could have literally made. Bob of the Dead 2 and it would have been better than the first one all that was fucking needed was the gameplay to be fixed because the story killed it man the story killed it it literally all it was was the gameplay if they managed to fix the gameplay of BO4 and listen to the community say fuck that shitty HUD and go along with the, the way the game was originally played even if they added their perk system but just brought back Jug do you could you imagine how fucking different the game would be? It's insane. Like, literally, they set it up absolutely perfectly. Blood of the Dead has a better story than Mob of the Dead. It's literally better than Mob for everything except than gameplay. Absolutely tragedy, dude. And now advanced Absolute tragedy. What? Makes you realize how course, fucking hard they tried the for BO4. Fate and how demands everything our crumbled will. when the gameplay was gone. We have never seen because it's like they way. focused on everything but the real. gameplay. Man, you guys are killing me with this doom and gloom then stuff. Then they rushed the story now for Vega. I think that once, was because of different again. things. So let's buck up and get to work already. Ahem. Gentlemen, please. Yeah, your sense. The original you four must me. perks were in... I, I forget how frustrating yeah. I can be sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> it just, never it mind just the makes you wonder like why they couldn't just fucking fix this in like two I have something entirely new in mind. Richthofen knew exactly who that monster in cell block was. I could see it in his stupid, stupid wide open face. face. Yeah, that big guy with the club? Was he a prison guard or something? That thing was no ordinary guard. I believe he was an agent of a much darker force. The Warden. I have known him to take many forms. Each one used to torture the souls of both the damned and the doomed. He's not very nice. Still with me, Doc? I'm looking sure a little right. pale. Paler than usual. The anyway. gameplay is not bad. Yes, I'm of course, every game has nothing. their own. The climate of this dimension is stifling. I mean, it's, it's probably just, all the fire. Ugh. I think the main concern is just the so graphical the fidelity. Guy. Any plus idea why you like want to trap us here? What do story, madmen man. ever want? That was rhetorical. But just for the record, we are not like BO4 games. had an incredible story. I would say BO4 face. story definitely better than BO3. I'd say that. But it's not permanent. Pinky promise. Maybe not the chaos story. Kempsey, did you hear that? A voice just now. Some of the chaos. No voices whispering in the shadows. Kind of hard to hear anything over the shrieks, explosions, and gunfire. But if I start hearing voices, you'll be the first to know. Richthofen, I know your plan's probably way over my head, and I know I'll forget half of it later. But you gotta give me something. 
There is no plan, Timsey. Is that what you wish to hear? We were supposed to pop in, get the blood, and leave. But things have changed. Now we must improvise and adapt. You are a marine. I like Surely that. Rick Dobbins that. basically telling I him to fuck off. I see you're accusing glances. Because he doesn't even know what's going on. Is there something you now? wish to say to me? Why bother? He's basically that is what you like, always bro, say, eh? Let's do it. All will be forgotten. So glad I skipped anyway. BO4. Like, BO4 ah, is a great story. It was a stroke of genius game. to build Secret Lab in Hill Dimension. Wish it because would have been better for gameplay. Badly. We will. It indeed. sucks knowing One that they could have copied and pasted BO3 and people would have fucked up. That is you always the self. worst thought that I've ever had. So, this warden, he needs your special blood. Every time I think about it. Maybe three of us make side deal and just give it to him. The moment you traveled through space and time, your blood became special as well. No, my dear Nikolai. Any attempt to bargain with the Warden would not go well for you. Richtofen, I cannot stay silent. You do not have plan. For once in your life, admit it, and tell us what we are facing. Annihilation, as always. If I believed for an instant that you could comprehend so much as a phrase in the Cronorium, I would hand it over. But no. That is my burden to bear. Damn. My way, Nikolai, is the I only mean, way. I mean, big Stop foreshadowing so because damned he morose, literally, Nikolai ends up this reading. This place was not created to be your own personal And hell. Ritoff and gets was it not? sucked off fate by the Fate willed machine. it into creation. And fate has delivered us here. As we attempt once again to disrupt the natural order. The scales will be balanced. The spirits of this island awaken in your presence, Ritoffen. It seems as though they desire something from you. Doesn't everyone? The voices of the damned and the doomed can get in line behind you three, the warden, the keepers, and the numerous other Richthofens now placing demands on my time. Richthofen, I must ask, do you still reflect upon your other self, the one you destroyed? Or did it end oh, the moment you pulled the trigger? Big that Richthofen was the evil blood kill. Cut scene what he had just done to Maxis, to Samantha, to reality. He needed to die for the good of all. And that. Damn, and that's was what all. you're about to do I could right use here, a brother. Optimism from you to Kale. I truly could. I've gotten us out of worse places than this, have I not? I mean, yeah, you got you us have. out of that. Support. And you may yet. But I do not fear death, Edward. I fear what winning may cost. Hey, Nick, did you catch what Rick Toffin was saying when he read that Cruller. Uh, chronic. Uh, evil book the thing? Cronari. Cronorium. He said that pages changed on him. Judging from face, it was not good change. So now, we fight for lives. This is what we get for trusting German. Something must be done, Dempsey. Richthofen is leading us deeper into this hell pit. You and I, we could take command and... Hey, if you got a portal I mean, stashed in your pocket, by all did, means too. open it up. Damn, it Meantime, sucks that they just fucking turned on play. him. So Nick, I've been said, thinking. Fuck this we came all this way to get this blood as some kind of insurance policy, yeah? Back in the lab, Richthofen said something about our blood. I heard this as well. The blood holds some sort of power. The blood. power that this warden seeks to take from us. Perhaps we can use it against him. We have been comrades for a long time, have we not, Dempsey? If something happened to Richthofen, comrades can depend on each other. Yeah, Look, yeah like the dialogue I think I know what they killed at, it in BO3. If you need to stow it, Ricky Tick. It Turn it on your own teammate. That That's bad fucking karma. It's like there's enough of that over. going on around here. Listen, Tech. I know where you're at. Doing what you had to do. What we had to do. It fucks you up. It was my honor to end the suffering of my other self. The anguish I feel is his. The responsibility for my sins is mine. You are a true warrior, Dempsey. You focus your pain into action and press ever onward. Bo four just need more time. It is both an honor it sucks. and yeah. a terrible curse. I always say Bo four had too, some Tech. of the best like. Could you not poke me in the emotions right now? I'm trying to break time. out of hell. Dempsey, it really does Rick Poffin appear to be acting strangely uh, to you? The deeper really we delve into this realm, some crazy the more shit. I sense the weight on his soul. Now that you mention it, he does seem a bit squirrelier than usual. But if all the fucked up shit in this place doesn't get to you, then you're probably as twisted as that nut job warden. I understand your anger with Rick Poffin, Nikolai. But you must not allow this resentment to destroy you. We have come here to serve our inevitable yeah, chat, purpose. I can't even imagine this how not big fate, Greg Tucky, is. This is Richthofen, playing I games with reality and our lives. I'm an expert in the ether story. Like, I had hoped you would be wise enough Fuck, to see this. I'm not Tucky, sure. comrade, you can you feel as well as I that Richthofen's plan is like but this. an errand of fools. How, how can you be so That's calm? That's my question. Acceptance is not a weakness, I know Nikolai. more of this lore than my own Only by history. accepting one what is, can one decide I have how to one be honest. wishes to I'm proceed. A 
moment I know Canadian by history, moment, but fuck, the I know more causes of this prison war. disturb you, and Nikolai. That's grim game you play. should know that they too have suffered at the hands of this warden. I have seen men broken by Gulag, and death was mercy for them. In this place, Takio, yeah, without that death is to a release hard them, map in terms I feel of what men can themes. become. Like, it's about I confess, Takio, it's about I feel with this the might be end for us. Ever. Every step of Richtofen's plan brings us closer to doom, not salvation. If we fail, and Warden gets blood? I think that it is not failure in this realm that you fear, time. Nikolai. It is, it is your success in the next. Straight up, dude, that's a I do not blame you. Too. Should we crane the life of your other self? Zombies lurk, you will so not bear the burden our own. What the Conorium had detailed was Richtofen needing to use his blood to escape There is more BO3 lore than, than Canadian history. <laughs> his blood was True. the most charged through all of his True. dimension hopping, and thus it was powerful enough to break their purgatory prison. Of course, the Shadow Man wanted his blood so he can open a portal to the Dark Aether, but Brutus was in charge of making sure that followed through. Being a special entity within the world, his death was never permanent. And all this leads I mean, to Richthofen recognizing his fate. Like the Cronorium detailed it, and he knew it was the only way of escaping the island. Yep. Like the mobsters before them, they were stuck here, destined to die over and over again until the Shadow Man Damn. got what he wanted. Imagine how and so, for the first time, Richthofen was forced to admit defeat. It yep. was the only way to escape this hellish purgatory. Hell, he offered himself up to the Dark Mechanism to That's siphon his shot. blood while the others attempted to fight he back got Brutus. But this is also where we need to address other changes that happened with the cycle breaking. And then this with is, a broken yeah, cycle, it enacted change not just in the current moment in time, but also the future, which is also the past. The Great War, to be exact. What I'm referring to is that at the end of the cycle, Primus are sent to fight in the Great War, and it is unknown whatever becomes of them. But in the broken cycle, Richtofen actually lives. During the course of the war, he invented a teleporter to travel through time, and that's exactly what he does. He's oh, given the elemental I gem see. from the Staff of Fire, which was used to destroy the likes of Evil and Apothecons and travels to Alcatraz. I wish more of the Aether maps used the gems from the OG 1.0s, because that would have been such a fucking hype way to introduce a great war map. You literally... St that's what I thought they were doing when Blood of Them came out. I was like, okay, we got the Fire Staff gem in this one. Next ether map is gonna have this one, and then this one, and then this one, and then it was just like, what the fuck is going on with this goddamn game, bro? At the exact moment, Richthofen said, Look at all the dialogue on the screen! This new Richthofen, <laughs> also referred to as Post Revelations Damn. Richthofen, uses the elemental gem to wipe out Brutus. Holy shit, that's the such day a good idea, is yeah. One, but at then the, the great cost board, you have all of the 1.0s. Yep. It's kind of like how with BL3, I wish they would have teased the house more with DE's ending, with Zetsubo's ending, and GK's ending. So that you could literally see all three of them come up to the house as kids, but they didn't do that. They probably didn't see too far into the future. Chat, we're almost done this video. I can't believe I've almost sat through six hours of fucking Black Ops 4, Black Ops 3, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1, and World at War lore. Could you imagine? Let's go, chat. Holy shit, we're about to finish. Listen to how the spirits go. sing. They are free of this realm. The song here was cool as fuck. Need that swell. Chat, I'm gonna skip win? this because I don't want to cry. I'm skipping this because I don't want to. I don't want to pull a fucking Call of Duty overreaction. He said the thing, boys. Not this one. I have to skip this one, bro. You're an Primus Richthofen dies, and a new path we is to be We all know how it goes, man! Nikolai is placed in charge, as he is the only one left with their soul still intact. It is never addressed what having a soul does, or makes Nikolai the man necessary True. for the what job. Does in some ways, many job. believe it functions as a sort of conscience. He is able to do the right thing, or I mean, the yeah. necessary thing, even if it comes at his own detriment. Richthofen was never able to do that. Job. He always wanted to live. He was always attempting to cheat death and trick fate. He lost his soul when he was a child, and thus could never admit defeat. The That's Cronorium, as it does, told Nikolai sucked. everything he needed to know. Most importantly, they you played are Rev, the I problem. The biggest Richthofen, Takio, Rev Dempsey, and Nikolai short. are always fighting the undead. Their journey never ceases. But that's because they are the ones who caused it and continue to perpetuate it. If they never existed, neither would the Apothecons. So Nikolai knew what he had to do. It wasn't just Primus that were part of the problem, it was also Ultimus. The original characters who yes, helped sir. bind their souls together in the first place. 
so Primus traveled to Groom Lake, 1963, not too long after Zombie Richthofen finished his deal with Primus Richthofen and returned his soul into his body. Is that your plan, Nicole? Oh, this cutscene sucks. And drink yourself this is ja I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. Because there's no Great War map, this is my least favorite cutscene of all time. To make a difference. This is my least favorite cutscene in all of Call of Duty Zombies, solely because of the fact that also, number one, it doesn't come true. And number two, all the fucking drama that happened for this cutscene, I actually, like, this was probably one of the worst points of my life. So chat, I'm gonna say it, the classified Easter egg ending cutscene is by far the worst cutscene. In all of Call of Duty. This is the worst cutscene, for you. sure. Oh, shiza. That's the opening, we're You spending. four must come Very with true. us. In Very time, true. it will make sense. But now... Now we must go, quickly. There is a war to be fought. War? What kind of war? A war, unlike any... Like, chat, you can literally make a statement that I spent six hours watching all that shit to hype up this one moment, and then it never happened. That is so fucking lame. The what the fuck? Nikolai so hides the truth from lame. the others about what he's planning. Part of his plan is similar to Monty's. Nikolai intends on creating a universe free of all corruption. So he too needs the necessary devices. He already has the summoning key. Now what he needs the best is the Abarthan device. Oh, yes. So everyone travels Keynote to Camp Edward to retrieve the elemental camp. shard which Purnell had yeah. locked inside the APD with him. All in all, their trip is successful. However, considering the cycle is now broken, Dr. Monty has taken note. He noticed everyone has veered off course as they were supposed to be collecting Nikolai's soul. But now it's become ever apparent that they're trying to build the Agarthan device. Dr. Maxis relays this information to them that they've been found out and teleports Samantha and Eddie to safety, recognizing the danger Dr. Monty poses before Monty kills him. Such an L as well. God, like... <sighs> Man, fuck Alpha Omega. Like, Alpha Omega has some really good radios, but this ending cutscene is so annoying. Happy, Nikolai? Everything playing out as the Chronorian predicted. We have what we came for. The Elemental Shard. Hooray for us. No. It's too late. Maxis? Chat, I'm gonna watch this Alpha Omega ending cutscene because I actually don't know what it was. <laughs> Let's just finish it. I actually forgot. I forgot how it plays out. He knows what you're doing. <laughs> Look at his face. Who knows? Who does he speak of? Doctor what the fuck? What's happening, Nikolai? I hate the like water animation. Are too late. I'm not sure we just let it happen. Bruh, he went right for the heart. Damn. Ah shit. That's all we fucking need. Who is the boy? Who the uh, fuck is that? That would be us. Like, dude. They're going to oh my gosh. The war, Eddie. The Three Richtofens in one cut cutscene. Could yeah. you imagine? We're going back Two to wasn't the house odd enough. To we need three. Let's burn it all to the ground. Agartha. The Eater. The Infinite. Everything. Such a bitch, eh? <laughs> Another here, great word. There were only drop, really two I things know. that needed to be done get the Agarthan device and fix everything. Nikolai decided it wasn't them who were going to collect Fucking it. Fucking hell, chat. We actually made it to Tog. Boys, just a round of applause. If you've been here from the beginning, from fucking Verruckt to Tog, because they didn't show Noct, because Noct is pointless. 
But dude, if you've been here from the beginning, holy fuck. Drake's in the chat for you, bro. We made it. We're at Tog. This is the end, man. Spend time with each other, Jeez. in good company, sitting around a campfire, enjoying drinks, and telling stories. To get the Agarthan device, Nikolai had used Victus. They were released from their cryopods and yet again used as just a collection team for the others. I've known some of you I for mean, a long yeah, time. that's that was the worst part about Victus, and that's why I hate them the most, is chat. I literally made this point before in one of my Ranking Every Characters video. I said, the Marines from Nocturne Toten have the exact same use case and are more entertaining to me than all of Victus. Period. Literally, period, chat. Fetch quest characters, chat. You can argue that the same motherfuckers in Nocturne Toten, the motherfuckers you play for for one map, had the exact same influence as Victus. It's truly this. It's truly the same. I would argue even more, bro. John Banana, shout out to that motherfucker, man. The others, well, criminality, bro. Kind of feels that way too. Victus were just literally people living on the earth but doing It looks like we finally pulled it off. So, to answer Jack, Nikolai's question about what I really want. We started this video literally before 2 p.m. I just want my happy ago. ending. This is criminality. Yeah, me too, brother. Okay, calm I like down. That he denotes I have the ending. ending. I mean, finally being able to hang up my guns and maybe do something that won't end up getting me maimed or killed. Look, I know what you're thinking. What the hell else can Dempsey do besides be knee deep in combat? Well, I've thought about that. We may have I mean, won our tell war, it at but the end of the that doesn't mean there won't still be a need for soldiers. Victus was playing. I reckon out. I might serve my country best the by helping train up the next generation. Have of just about as much story you know, as Victus. Pass on Come my on, expert chat. knowledge. Excellent Let's idea. Making the next generation even dumber is the American way. Sip it, Doc. Before I do it for you with my boots. <clears throat> Anyway, while we're on the subject of boots, how do you say food? Let me just raise a glass. To one of the me. finest men to ever set foot in a pair. Peter McCain. Semper Fi. Semper Fi, brother. Semper Fi. Sympathy. Hip hip hooray. <laughs> what did he just say? How, oh, Dempsey? Homie just said a fucking to three. slur. Or I want you to throw the grip into the air. What? what did you? Is it fire? The choice is yours. One. Really? Really. Two. Whoa! Do you know why I picked you, Dempsey? I knew you would go on too. Hey, why don't you get fucking great? You want to know about <laughs> these pain? quotes? Are I know so about pain levels random. that none of you bozos can Like, even chat, you can imagine. This is the final zombies map. The final quotes. This is where everything matters. We're talking about grapes and piss jars and all this dumb. Oh, it's just disgusting. Imagine. I got shot in the face. It's Does so funny, man. I'm talking about the kind of pain you have to live with. Tokyo oh, did Sergio on a great treat. Do ten. I mean, treat. So, back in boot camp, the squad house had these cheap, broke-ass blunts. MCRD probably bought them secondhand from Alcatraz or some other hellhole. Anyway, Alcatraz. the mattress was about as thick as your freaking finger, and it sat right on top of an old-ass metal frame of half-rusted bed springs. My, what horrors you have suffered! I have experienced more pain stubbing my toe. Hold your horses, Tack. I ain't got to the pain bit yet. For real. So, I wake up early one morning, swing my legs onto the ice cold floor, and try to remember what the biggest problem of the day is going to be. That's a I don't know it yet, though, man. Even but if, my biggest problem is the fact that the crappy mattress is no longer covering the springs near the side of the bed. I agree. No, I agree. The, the story's funny. In and yells, it's just fight, interesting. Fight. We all this is the final feet. map, and they just now, keep talking about it. I don't know how much y'all know about physics. It's cool. I, I like body it. weights on a bed, those springs are all stretched out. When that weight is removed, it is they snap shut like a bear trap. But it fits in it with all the zombies. What but that, like half friends, the quotes we've listened to are just verbiage. It it's just words and words always, and words. There's always not a lot of the time there's a lot Even of more important when you insanely get important dialogue. Amen. Oh, oh, so, so these that's when he dies. Frantically trying that's what Tokyo just died right there, shot. F. I get it, but... That's what, what is it? Effed by what the, does it do? The, the, the Agartha device can do many things. It has the power to open and close new worlds. New worlds? <laughs> Ain't we open enough new worlds? Exactly. Isn't that why we're in this mess in the first place? <laughs> As I said, that's the power of the many job things. For nuts for us, right now, bro. I intend to use it to bring us the peace that has eluded us for so long. His last Cheers word to was that, but we'll see. Who deems the Drovia? I need a refit. 
<laughs> I feel very much more drunk than usual. <laughs> what is in this stuff? Potatoes? <laughs> no, it's not you. Potato vodka is very good. <laughs> so, Nikolai was out drinking with friends. I knew it was late, and wife would be mad. But we were having good time. <laughs> After a few more drinks, I vomited on uniform. Oh, oh we're I knew late. I was in big trouble. No, no, how that's like. My friend says, No, Nikolai. It tucks five rubles in my pocket. Just tell wife the drunken stranger made mess and even gave money to pay for cleaning. His brilliant idea, huh? Yeah. So I stay out. More drinks, more fun, eh? Then finally I get home. Wife is very, very mad. <laughs> I tell her about drunk man who made sick and how he gave me five rubles to pay for cleaning. <laughs> Wife says, but there is ten rubles here. Ah, yes, I say. He also crapped in my pants. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> of course, Ultimus Dempsey is the first one. Maybe you would like to hear Takio's stand-up routine? Um, no. So, Rick Toffin, what exactly is the deal with Sam? Weren't you mortal enemies? Oh, yeah, very mortal. And mortal indeed, but a lot has changed. Maybe since we both got a little bit I also the think, chat, I gotta say, the voice actors are incredible to even make... They're, they're playing... Think of this. They're playing two of the same characters, yet their inflections in their voice can make it seem different. Like, you can tell this is Ultimus Richtofen because he sounds more crazy, you know? So... Drake's in the chat for the voice actors, bro. I know everything that happened with Tom Kane and stuff is very sad, but bro, they killed him. It's helped us see a little more eye to eye. I know she's got every right to be mad, but with her dad being killed and all, but how can we be sure she won't turn on us? You know, there was a time and place where Maxis was very much a father to me, too. What? You were serious? I only ever knew him as a bitter rival. The Cronorium shows only Samantha's path to redemption. When war is over, she will be normal child again. Innocent. Same as boy. No, that's nice to know. It's been a long time since I've been innocent. Do not remind me. I can tell you one thing. A long time ago, Samantha told me something very important. She promised she would keep us safe forever. And that she would make everything okay. She said her dad had a plan. Bro, what? You cried. That's if a what you have told goal. us is true, that we stand on the brink of victory. I would like to make a toast to peace. We have traveled further than I ever dreamed possible. We have faced challenges that no mortal should ever have to face. Though our alliance was brought to the brink of collapse many times, we have prevailed. Oh yes. Even in the face of unimaginable evil, we fought with courage. I mean, honor. that's true, and that's awesome that Prince Takio is saying that. Perhaps the fighting is truly at an end. Fighting's in my blood, Tack. I'm a Marine, and that ain't something you just turn off. Do not be so sure, Tank Dempsey. A warrior's path should always lead toward peace. Well, I'm with you on that, Tack. To peace. To peace! Yeah, you can even hear it in the way that they give each of the characters. Like, the Ultimus characters sound slightly audio. Like, slightly different. I'm not going to apologize for all the terrible things I have done. Guys, fire is can the I mean, yeah, you can hear the camera. That's the time of my life! <laughs> this is literally now them talking as writers as well, you can tell. Me. Yeah. And even now, you'll be expecting me to put some last minute rabbit out of my hat. A big rabbit of betrayal. Yeah, no kidding. Thank you, Dennis. I knew I could rely on you. <sighs> Where are all these so, quotes from? Do you uh, I actually don't betrayal. know, chat. If Does I anybody know? Are these just radios? Or are these just like campfire logs? No. I, I don't know. Out of I don't know how we found You this. have spoken There's many times of a war, war. You cry. Uh, a Oh great war. no, what did yeah, they say about the war? unlike any we have ever seen. Oh, are you going to tell them everything? The Apothecons? The Keepers? The, the, the Shadow Players? The Dark the Ether? Ether? The, go the Gobble Gum? Shadow Man? The Apothe what? What's he talking about, Nikolai? Yeah, I'll they me. are what the fuck? legends contained in the book, the Cronorium. Tales of demons and angels commanded by the forces of light. The Great Gods. War was the, the whole thing, right. guys. It wasn't a map. It was the war along the way, the guys. It's the friends we cool. made along Mitch the Mitch. way, Chad. Do you know that, Nikolai? Auntie and Shadow Man were Come more on. similar than you know, Toffin. 
Both were corrupted by the Dark Aether. One by his own ambition, the other desperately trying to save his friend. Do you remember when I asked you what you really want? We remember. But why do you ask this now? Because the Great War... No. The greatest war... I literally called it, chat! ...is we fight against ourselves. The Great War is actually the gym. Mm -hmm. Okay, what the fuck? They play an accordion? You all to join in. What the fuck? To okay, right? I'm not sure if I want to join in. I'll what? sing for my supper. I'll drink to another. I'll tell all ye folks a tall tale. A tall tale? Well, it's all based on fact. <laughs> Though I should say the act of telling gets taller each day. This is the Great War theme, chat. This would have been the no, 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 the, the start up of it. Ladies the intro cutscene voice. Jemima thought nothing was finer than lazing around every day. But my <laughs> Jemima fucking quiet. all in a fire, including herself, by the way. <laughs> yeah, dude, this is the gym music, boys. Let's go. Yeah, Jack, give us something about the Emperor. Or honor. <laughs> Honor is one thing, but I'm feeling nothing. Hey! Lack of Two, one in the chat if you're feeling nothing, boys. Let's go. Our leaders are watching, but I'm not so eager to let them still watch over me. Hey! What about you, Ritoffi? Man, yeah, who's on the accordion? I want to know who that is. I a long time ago, but it hurts just to think about oh, it. I started this song, but please don't get me wrong. No one sings unless they want to sing. We're all telling tales. Oh, are they sing together? Sing That's cool. Chad, where is this in the game? How is this the first time I'm listening to this? I was Does anybody to know? Sing. Sorry, Rick Tuffin. We're not messing with you. How is this we the first hear time that I'm hearing Ain't that right? Yes! Really? Really? Dr. Pack is playing the accordion. I want it to sing. But no, no I did what they, they want. No! I was the nicest one. What? You won't even remember me. And if you start to <laughs> laugh, you should know that. What the fuck? How have I never heard this shit? Yeah. They cut this out? You sold the tail of the whale. <laughs> you were bit by the bite of the shark. Ouch! Bro, wow. On a slight Why side story, this that is out? how Pablo that gets back to the Great insane. War to help the Primus heroes. He similarly was always there and is the reason Richtofen can teleport to Alcatraz it's at Blood of the Dead sure as he protects him and gives him I just the gem. Never Regardless, heard of that Victus shit. succeeds I feel and like sends- I feel like the quotes they actually played for the Easter egg were so shit. Because that, I would have rather heard that shit, dude. The device to that Nikolai. Way better. But you see, these final few events I've been detailing out of chronological order because there's a sad fate best left for the end. Hell there was yes, two brother. things Nikolai had left to do. Get the Agarthan device and fix everything. The reason yes, he had everyone gather around to tell those two stories was twofold. Because they were him. friends and he wanted to share that special moment together, at peace, away from He's all the chaos they have been running from him, man. forever. But it was also where he poisoned everyone's drinks to kill them. They were the problem with the universe. This is what the Cronorium had told him. It was why he still had his soul, because only he could make this decision, no matter how hard it was. Ultimus Richthofen died, but was reborn- could you imagine- Okay, hold up. Could you imagine seeing a BL3 level cutscene of every character tragically dying from the poison, where they're going like- Like, could you imagine? Oh my gosh. And talk Easter egg, you listen to the fires, I think that's where it's from. Yeah, I think I think I remember somebody when I did it a long time ago, they were saying you can stay there for extra dialogue. But dude, like could you imagine if they had those like fully BL3 rendered cutscenes, like some Zetsible type shit, and they would go like they're fucking dying, man. That would have been so emotional. That would, especially after a great war or something where they fight a whole war means fucking nothing got to poison themselves either way. Damn. I mean, they literally had a recipe for success, man. It just sucks that the gameplay fucked it up, bro. It's insane. As zombie Rick Toffin yet again. And it was then that he reawoke Victus to commence them on their journey. Yes, sir. 
Ah, uh, and then this is... Okay, chat, we'll watch this just because I want to see how it plays in this context. Are you serious? So no then this way. is where Togger... Dude, that's awesome! Oh, so Togger Tone that's takes still? place after oh, all the characters are already dead. Someone's that's been grim. busy. What the Your fuck? Your joint pal asked if we wanted to live. Just don't feel like living. They're all yeah. dead at this Calm point. Calm down, everybody. Everything's fine. We're, we're going to be fine. Okay? Yeah, when Nikolai's the last one. Yeah, because that's when Zombie Rick Top comes out. Wow, that's so fucked up. They have no idea. Oh, Wait, so you're telling me Victus outlives Primus and Ultimus? L. <laughs> L, dude. That's such an L. We stand on the I hate that. Victus yeah, outlives one, one, five, Primus group, and nine, Ultimus. Three, Transit, oh, die, rise, buried looking motherfuckers. The Hell. All of it will soon be gone. I mean, they outlive but everyone tonight, but Nikolai. Tonight, we celebrate. To get the song to do the last episode, we got a whole bunch of maggot feeders headed downstairs. And we ain't got no weapons. Yes! I'm telling them now, but they're all a teasing bit grumpy because they just woke up. Hey, Stu, you want to be a bit more specific about what the voice in your head is actually saying? Dr. Minty? What? Is he like a bad guy? Fuck. Oh, fuck that joke. Fuck that joke. I get it, it's a funny joke, but I remember at the time, chat, the community, I remember we were so pissed. Because I didn't know any of this six-hour lore shit. And all I hear is Dr. Minty Chap. This is literally my first time reaction. Let's rewatch it. Probably because they just woke up. Hey, Stu. You want to be a bit more specific about what the voice in your head is actually saying? Dr. Minty? What? Is he like a bad guy? That was literally my first reaction to a voice. We got a stone cold fucking what the fuck is that? With this the best power, zombies map of and all the means time. to control it. Right the the end end of of this is it, boys. At last, I can't we believe can we did it. Our we fucking watched this whole video. Lives. Holy shit, chat. Literally, don't look up the COD zombie storyline. <laughs> That's what I got after all. Honest, Samuel, I don't, don't have even look up the COD zombie storyline. He didn't say you had to know what it was, Mark. Please, don't. Trust me, guys. It won't be that complicated. In fact, my German pal says it's going to be a schlock dunk. It's one thing trusting you, Stu. It's a whole other thing trusting your imaginary brain, buddy. Uh, I mean, chat, I always think it's so funny that they ended everything on Call of the Dead. Because I always loved Call of the Dead. It's my favorite map. And I always like I'm always like, bro, they ended on my favorite map. I fucking love that. But then I'm like, bro, it makes me wonder if we're living in the wrong timeline because this is not where it should have ended, man. We should have got a great war map. Even oh, say that. He's the sweetest guy in the whole universe! He wants us to help save it! The universe! Thank you, Sammy. I moved. And this is the end, boys. After this voice pandemic happened, now there's World War III threats. We're in the wrong timeline, chat. The cycle has to begin anew. It must repeat. I won't lie, that shit was ominous. Like, it looks so fucked up. But it's also, you think of it like chat, and you're like, wow, that was just the Shadows of Evil jump scare. <laughs> you know, and you're just like, oh, okay. <laughs> The madness is nearly over, chat. But one thing remains. Yeah, it's not gonna be 2023, chat. The one There's who no perpetuates this madness. He must be. I wish I did not have to ask this of you, but only you can do it. Only me, brother. Wow. But once it was all done. Richthofen was shot, and Nikolai used the Agarthan device to destroy the summoning key I mean, and open a gateway it, to a new dimension. He had Samantha shoot him, finally putting a close 
to everything that's been going on. And with it, I always else think that's so interesting. He had Samantha the fucking kid kill him. You think about that. It's like he could have just drank the poison. You know? He could have... I just realized that. He could have just drank the poison. He didn't have to do that. But I guess he realized that it would have been less painful. So it's kind of fucked. Because it's like he... Nick, Nikolai at the end took on the leader role. And did what had to be done. Drake's in the trap for Nikolai. Fucking love that boy. That's why he's my favorite. The ether, he's my boy. Samantha and Eddie set forth That's towards why he's my, a new my, beginning. My OG. I want each of you to think about I what think you about really want. And then Eddie becomes the leader Where of Rexy. Shut like up. Oh, Believe me. I know, dude. Then you Cole, you, you take this and then you add the Kohler story. And like, what the fuck? Chat, please don't t make me watch Cold War Intel. Please, no. I don't understand the Cold War storyline yet. I just... No, these fuckers are gonna make me watch this shitty Intel, man. I don't care, man. I just don't care. Please don't make me watch Cold War storyline. And then Vanguard... Uh, oh, fuck, no, please. Has yeah. something no. gone wrong? We did everything you asked! You haven't forgotten about us, have you? I mean, this is the saddest shit as well. No, Sammy, I haven't found Yeah, Milo has a Cold War video, right, chat? Maybe I'll watch it. It is time, Rickoffin. The multiverse must come to an end. The paradox must be resolved. At least, it will be quick. Oh, shit. And there it is, boys. All of that six hours. Guys, This we're watching our six hours of time that we spent on this video. Boom. It's all wrong. It's all wrong. It's six hours. What? What are you talking about? We found the Agarvin device. I know, and I'm so sorry. Me too, Rickoffin. I love that joke that I chat. I'll never forget that joke I made the first time I watched this shit that made me laugh so much just thinking about it. Like, imagine dying to a one shot in the head by a welling. Like, Rick Toffins is not even around one zombie. <laughs> Why am I the fucking weird? Like, it's such a such an emotional cutscene, and I'm just fucking laughing, dude. We fought for what we wanted. It's fucking we one shot by the welling, bro. Come on, man. <laughs> All the chapters of our lives, good and bad. Even if there was no witness, uh, even funny. if no one kept to see, it still happened. Not even Somewhere. round one zombie hell. Oh we fought God. the Great War over and over, but victory could never be ours. We were always doomed to fail. Monty told us the truth. He's on the Instigo Our rounds. Journey I mean, I is guess. the very reason this madness exists. Right we are the up. ones who fractured the universe. This is the truth the Cronorium showed me. And chat, it makes me wonder truth. because I wonder if this was Jimmy Zelinsky's vision. I wonder what his vision of zombies would have been. Because chat, imagine if Jimmy Zelinsky made BL3 and BL4. Where the fuck would this story have gone? I always think about that. Like, Tough it. How the could it have been? I don't know though. When we are Man, gone, the weakest so too is everything that spilled forth from the <laughs> Element 115, the Apothecals, even Monty himself. All of it will be banished to where it belongs. The Dark Aether. Monka. <laughs> to, to Call of Duty Vanguard, he banished it. To Call of Duty Vanguard. To the no pause button gameplay. Get fucked. We should not be here. Our time has passed. Trap me when I'm forced to play Call of Duty Vanguard. <laughs> He's fucking, fucking dead. <laughs> for all the pain and torment we have endured together. Send the kids to Cold right War. We'll take over Call of Duty Vanguard. <laughs> no, dude. Look, Send the kids off to Cold War. Send them to a better place. Let the adults handle Call of Duty Vanguard. Damn. I mean, shit. You are more than just my allies. Like my brothers that. in arms. 
You. They all died so Vanguard could exist. Wow. Could you imagine, chat? That's it. It ends like this, and then all it just pops up just says Call of Duty Vanguard. <laughs> oh no. Dude, that would have been actually the worst thing I would have ever seen in my whole life. That would have been so bad. Oh my gosh, the truly wrong ending. The worst ending you can think of. I would like to return to my home, my beloved. It's so if funny watching this in fast forward speed. If only well. to die by her side. Boys, I know the question you're I asking. I see myself at peace. <laughs> Three, <laughs> you, you sitting beneath well. a, a cherry blossom tree. Listening to the joy of my children. <laughs> Dude. I think I like Chat, I'm gonna I'm gonna pause the video and ask you a question. Should they walk in that hole or should they turn right the fuck back, dude? This is a question I'm asking, boys. We know what's on the other side of that hole. We know what's on the other side of that hole. Do they keep going? Or do they turn around, man? I'm telling you, I listen, dude. Like, okay, I see Cold War on the other side of there, okay? But then Call of Duty Vanguard? I'm telling... Go back! I mean, shit, go back! You don't want to go back there, bro! Turn back! What are you doing, man? I spent six hours on this video, and you're gonna run into Call of Duty Vanguard, man? Turn back! You know, the more I think about it, the more I think I'd be a darn Literally, good Literally, Samantha goes to a universe, new universe, and gets tortured again. It's so depressing. I know, right? Like, it's just like... Every universe just has pain, suffering, and... The best zombies map of all absolute time. Absolute chaos. Kino Durto and Black Ops 1. That's what I'm saying, chat. I, I spent six hours watching this video just to realize... I would like to be in favorite bar. Laugh, no matter what. But as long as I have love to... Turn the fuck around and go I back to DL3. <laughs> it's like real life, dude. I know. I would like to know for sure that I brought honor to my ancestors. Sam goes through all of this. What's her reward? Teenage angst. No. What's her reward? The Firebase Z cutscene. <laughs> the Firebase Z cutscene where she meets herself as a playable operator, bro. Should probably try to absolutely pick up a hobby. Maybe Grim. I can open my own mall. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Let me think about it. I'm telling you, chat, that Wherever hole was go, not the play. You know, I'll be kicking I'm ass. gonna say it. <laughs> this light hole, not the play. Nikolai effed himself up. It was not the play, dude. Outbreak. I mean, they went to Ruka, boys. Maybe things are okay. We'll see. <laughs> They're walking in an outbreak. No, <laughs> chat, chat, it's just like this. And it's fucking. Just fucking walk into a Mr. Dolly <laughs> They're fucking walking into Mr. They just walk in, they just see a Mr. Dolly JD gameplay. They just. Yes. They're out in fucking Ruka. <laughs> Could you imagine how fucking confusing that would be, dude? Oh my gosh, it'd be so funny, dude. And thus, the journey of the Aether storyline comes to a close. Wow. Samantha would return in Cold War in a new story Woo! arc called Up. But that is a different story for a different Thank time. God! The Thank God! Thank God, dude! Thank Six God! Ultimus and Primus had captured the hearts of players yes. from all around the globe. Many have tried to emulate Thank the charm you. and charisma we these four had with very little success. Holy their fuck. comedy has provided endless amounts of laughs, oh and their gosh. journey has broken the hearts of just as many fans. I agree. It is a story and franchise which I will always hold close to my heart. But for now, that does it for the complete unabridged timeline of Call of Duty Dude, Zombies. what a video! What a video! I gotta say, this has definitely been the one video where I've come to a lot of understand. I cannot believe I'm looking at this screen right now. The end of the seven hour video. Boys, Drake's in the chat! Holy shit, we finished it! Chat, you guys wanna know what the end of that uh, Togger Toten cutscene was? Where they go on the side of the circle? Look, it's right here. <laughs> YouTube literally helped me out with it. YouTube just fucking put it up, bro. <laughs> just... What's at the end? Absolutely horrendous. 